Um, hey, True Believers England team here, and uh, we are going to have an auction tonight. We're working on the setup. This is obviously the new house. Uh, I am not uh, completely set up yet. I don't have everything. As you can tell, I don't have the, uh, the comic book stands, which would actually raise the bottom row up a bit. And uh, this is a temporary way we're going to be doing for a little bit. Um, but there you go. That being said, I'm kind of excited. Uh, a lot of, uh, but we're. I'm still. I'm still kind of uh, working from the hip here, and um, hopefully tonight we uh, we do well because uh, you know we're, I'm trying to get some new books in, and I just won an auction, so it's one of those. Well, <laughs> you shot yourself in the foot. Now let's see if there's a medic. All righty. Uh, <laughs> The bottom row is a little bit cut off, uh, as you can see. The, um, until I get those comic book stands, that's the way it's going to be. If you want to see a book up close, just uh, just ask, really. Um, and uh, we will do what we can. Thank you very much to LK for uh, helping me out today, as well as the evil black cat. Hey, good evening, everybody. All right. Evil black cats uh, too busy writing jokes in the uh, in the chat to say hello. <laughs> what up, folks? All righty. So there you go. Let's get this thing started. Uh, starting off here, we've got. I don't know why I have these out of order, but A is Supergirl number eighty. We've got Supergirl number twenty eight, Silver Surfer number sixty nine. And then a couple of sci-fi from the 1980. We got Spanner Galaxy number one. We got Star Hunters number one. On the bottom row, we've got the Return of Cal L. This is after his space battle. Uh, this is the Batman Spawn variant cover. Uh, then the uh, issue three and four of a mini series called Superman Red and Blue. Um, next up, we've got Sabretooth number one, and then yes, that same old Conan annual number ten. I've been trying to pawn off on you guys for a buck each. Uh, bidding it is starting at a dollar tonight. Um, is, uh, are you going to take the goes? Yeah, I'll do it. All right. As soon as LK says go. Um, also, this is a, this is the live chat. If you want to talk about anything, we will literally talk about anything. We've uh, just about. I'll overdone the uh, Ed Pisker stuff, so I'm willing to avoid that if you don't mind. But otherwise, yeah. Well, we can talk about how the X Men launch is almost DOA. You mean the comic book? Yeah. Yeah. No shit. I mean, uh, each, the, each each creative team they announce seems to get worse and worse. I mean, the only the only one of, of honest interest for me would be uh, Jeff Thorne, although. The, the X-Force book just doesn't sound that appealing to me, but you know, I, I thought some of the things he tried to do in his Green Lantern run, you know, weren't, weren't bad. I, I know some people didn't like, you know, the direction it went into, but he's at least a legitimate comic book fan. I can't say the same about Stephanie Phillips and, and Lansing and Kelly. Stephanie Phillips is one of, uh, I've, I've said, I like her. She is, um, She's good for the first four issues, but she hardly ever knows how to stick a landing. She is the most... Yeah. <laughs> Although I do always get two uh, comic book writers mixed up. The one that did Black Widow. That is that Kelly one. Thompson. Yeah. That's I, Kelly okay, Thompson. no, that's the one I'm talking about. I like Kelly no, Thompson. No, no, no. You are talking about Stephanie Phillips. You're making the, the, the one that did the Eat the Rich miniseries. That, that and, is Stephanie Phillips. Okay, yeah. Stephanie Phillips. Yeah, I actually like her stuff, except uh, she's never really stuck the landing on any of her books. She did a zombie family, family mo uh, comic book I liked until the la last bit. It's just, yeah, she just never can. But leading up to that, I actually think she can have some good ideas. There's a with Stephanie Phillips, in my opinion, there is a lot of untapped potential. Now, the way they treat uh, critics, I think that there will never be improvement on her end because uh, anytime anybody criticizes her, she's going to yell misogyny and all that kind of bullshit. So I do not see any kind of improvement coming from any of these uh, people, but. Yeah, what you mean? She's, 
<clears throat> she, she's basically a chat GPT with a lobotomy. Um, when you when you hear her do interviews, they're the most generalized, non-specific information. It was like I, I left. Oh, welcome to twenties to the twenty twenties. I've heard so many people think that somebody sounds so and profound when they literally say nothing. We need to end racism. Yeah, of course oh. we do. Uh, you know that kind of stuff. It's like yeah. The the announcement or the the press release that went out with the announcement of the Phoenix book coming up. Her quotes were the most general that you got, and just nonsensical that you think that she hadn't even bothered to read the Marvel wiki on Jean Grey or Phoenix yet. Yeah, it was, uh, okay, I was kind of thinking it might have been the, uh, well, we went out there as a team and we fought as a team and I believe that's how we won and it was, okay, dude, yeah, we've heard this interview before. You know, yeah. you don't really, you say, you speak a lot, but you say nothing. One of those things. Where is my yeah, social oh, yeah. media? I need to time these things. Yeah, I mean. Oh, well, we, we got, uh, like, we yeah, got two bids from Jim. Let me, I'm sorry. Um, I just noticed this. I'm going to go to the We got two bids from Jim on A and B getting those Supergirls. Um, try something new, kids. Give the, the, We got some first issues on Spanner Galaxy and uh, and Star Hunters. Do that. I like the Superman stuff. He's, uh, Mark Wade's writing the Superman stuff right here, the uh, Kal-El. Um, and he had been doing well on the world's finest. Sabretooth's a lot of fun. All righty, you got Supergirl. Silver Surfer when he was a uh, Silver Surfer. Yes. <laughs> or I should say when it was Noren Rad. Wait, did they replace him in the book comics? No, not yet. Oh uh, yes, but if that movie's successful, yeah. Oh, do you I know about know. popular trees and their propellers? I do not know what you're talking about. Gail Simone has become mid-level. Well, she hasn't written anything but tweets in a long time, so I can see that. I, I got to tell you, I am a, um, in general, I'm a, a Gail Simone fan. You know, it's, it's kind of like Frank Miller. You know, you could say, did you just bring up Gail Simone and Frank Miller in the same? Yes, I did. Uh, it's kind of the same thing. You know, they did some good stuff in the past, but what have they done lately? Can you still call yourself a fan? If you don't like any of the new product, am I still a Frank Miller fan just because I like what he did on Daredevil and Dark Knight? But I absolutely freaking hate what he's doing on Dark Knight these days, and I, I just haven't, uh, yeah, haven't had any need for it. You know, I like what Frank Miller did, but I, I guess uh, you know, I guess yeah, so you could be like that, right? All right, it's been uh, it's been five minutes. Let's get the uh, one minute warning and then the stop here. So far, no love for any uh, anything other than the two Supergirls. Um, if you do come in late, by all means, uh, if you see something that has not been picked up, give a heads up. All right. Oh, and I've pretty much got everything together now. Uh, I did notice something when I was handing out totals for the last two auctions, I didn't do shipping. So a lot of, if you did buy something um, and you paid what I, I mentioned, I, I didn't bring up shipping. I don't know why, but then again, I wasn't exactly selling. So uh, now we have a return address. I feel a lot better about that, but um, that is something I, I did recognize, but I did, I got everybody's books. that are all together. Um, and we're all set and we've got, you know, we're, we're going to move forward as if, uh, you know, it's a regular auction these days. Uh, her original Birds of Prey run was pretty good. Yeah, I liked it. I, I liked the Villains United stuff. I liked, uh, I even liked her Batgirl run. Teeny Howard is going to do a DC book. Well, she's been doing just, she's, yeah, I agree with LK. Just stop. Teeny Howard has been ruining Catwoman for a while now and Harley yep. as well. Yep. All righty, I've got to take the headphones off for uh, changing the books here. So I I got to get those uh, wireless. The bird's going in nuts on them, though. All right, I'll be back. Okay, once again, we got to stop. And Jim, uh, 
Jim has the uh, the Supergirls, and that is about it. Oh, and by the way, uh, these are the giveaways today. I found this Archie's and other stories, and I thought it was pretty cool because the these books are written very well. They're a lot of fun these days, and mainly I got it because it includes the uh, Jughead, the Hunger, where Jughead becomes a werewolf. And also I found uh, this. I think we had this here before. It's H.P. Lovecraft's Call of Cthulhu. It It's done up like a bound book. But it is a, it is a graphic novel, and it uh, it's a retelling of the of the book before. So there you go. All right, and those are the giveaways. Yeah, of course. All right, and let me get these down. These two are going into the box, and uh, oh, I don't have a floor to really to drop these on, except for just throw them over in the corner. Hmm. Because we're already on the floor. There we go. Hey, guys. I'm trying not to jump right in the camera here, but that's going to happen. All righty. Where do I put these? Uh, what? 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 It's not about you. Shut up. We're going to get enough chirping from that. Uh, we're going to get enough chirping today from the, what you call it, the, the smoke signal. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, I'm going to try to line these up here. We've got A. This is Siren number one. And that's from Malibu Comics. And it is autographed. And uh, you have a certificate of authenticity as well. And it says it's signed by uh, Hank uh, Kandahar or something like that. All right, there you go. And at B, we've got uh, Mike Barron's uh, creation. I don't know what he's going to do when he dies but uh, with it, but uh, here is the Badger. That's Mike Barron, right? I could be wrong about that one. Yes, Badger is Mike Barron, but I'm not I sure. I can't hear you. Thank you very much for uh, next. Uh, actually, the autograph there looks like Burt Young, like the dude from Rocky, but uh, I know that's not it. Okay, so anyway, we've got number 39. Recommend the Badger. Good, violent uh, comic book. A lot of fun there. Next up, we've got Marvel Knights, and this is the uh, free special edition from Wizard Comics. Marvel Knights Wave 2 with Black Panther. It looks like Black Widow, Daredevil, Doctor Strange, and Clea. All right. And then we have Marvel Team Up, number 147. And this is the Human Torch and Spider-Man, and that's going to take the E spot. Zoink. And here we have Cobra. And this is issue number two of Bronze Age book. And this is one of those things where, like, uh, they're brothers. And uh, if one of them gets hurt, the other one feels it. I guess that's a good super power to have. Uh, next up, we have Power Man and Iron Fist, number 116. I need to find something. Maybe I could boost them here. Uh, then we have True Believers, issue number one. Uh, this is Phoenix... Uh, Cyclops and Marvel Girl here. All right. Next up, we have Fantastic Four, The Coming of Galactus. This is uh, first appearance of Silver Surfer and Galactus. And then we have The Bizarre Adventure Story. It's a magazine. Most likely you haven't read it. So if you like the X-Men, give this one a try. There you go. Uh, bidding begins at a dollar each as soon as LK says go. All right. And uh, now, now I can hear you guys again. All right. Is, yeah, I'm going to have to get uh, some, uh, what do you call wireless, just to make this work. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Or just uh, get a cord extension. Oh, that'll work. I mean, whichever one's less expensive, although you can get some pretty inexpensive uh, Bluetooth and wireless uh, uh, earbuds or headphones now. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, Jim Sorensen out of the gate there with a dollar on A and G. All right. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's see. I'm trying to remember the exact thing about Siren because I, I read it. This was after... This was actually, I think, after Marvel had bought uh, Malibu. Um, 
and or right around that same time frame. Um, I want to say she she kind of had some some martial arts abilities and then got taken in an experiment or something. I remember there's a panel in there too about wait a minute, this white makeup's not coming off, realizing that you know she's now completely like porcelain white. Uh, you know, that, uh, and you know, it, it was fine. I mean, you know, it's, it, it's what it is, you know, uh, for, for a nineties, a nineties book. Um, I, mean, my, my top recommendation on there, just personal is, uh, Jay there, the, the Phoenix, uh, the Bizarre, Bizarre Adventures. Adventure. I, have, yeah. I have that Bizarre Adventures, uh, the actual Bizarre Adventures, uh, comic or, uh, magazine, I whatever you want to call it. Um, the, the Phoenix story is great. Uh, it's a flashback story because we see uh, Jean's sister at Jean's grave. Um, you know, so this is after she's given her life to defeat the Phoenix, and she's which time recalling a tale um, when she finally reconnected uh, with Jean after she had resurrected um, with the the Phoenix. again which time. Yeah, this would be the first, <laughs> the first, the very, the very first time. Um, I'm, and so yeah, I'll be right back to say if you can entertain. Yeah, yeah, and so basically the story is is so they go out on a boat. Um, they get you know kind of uh, uh, sleepy or whatever, and they wind up you know passing out and falling over the side of the ship. You know because they basically kind of got like drugged by this weird mist, and it turned out it was this this group of uh i think they actually were atlanteans but they were uh like uh they they weren't namor atlanteans um and, and basically they they changed their physiology so you know that they were stuck underwater to be the slave slash concubine of the of the leader and uh it, it's it's a good story because uh Jean basically uses her phoenix power to uh basically rewrite them at the molecular level so that they can go back up to the surface. Uh, Undead Quinn, what the hell are you talking about? They announced a Kelly Thompson's Atana book. Oh, dear you God. covered it. I did when because yes. I, I, I have, the, I black, have absolutely... the black label one. Oh, I, Still, well, I, I've blanked it out of my memory. I, I think it's probably been replaced by so many other bad titles that have been announced, and <laughs> that I've subjected myself to read. Yeah, the reason I know about it forgot. is because you told me about it. Okay, well, I, I haven't thought about it, and thank you, Undead Quinn, for bringing up bad, awful memories. I'm, I'm currently shuddering and wanting to, to crawl up in, into a ball in the corner here. Um, <laughs> do it after the auction. Yeah, I'll I'll do it after the auction. Um, yeah, the rest of the stuff, Marvel Knights. Uh, now that's the wizard. I think one half or preview of Marvel Knights. Uh, so I'll yep. definitely give you give me an idea. Spidey Human Torch uh, team ups are always fun. Um, you know, obviously the other True Believer books are 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 great. And so yeah, for for a dollar, yeah, you know. Jump out there. A lot of good deals for a buck up here. Yeah. Let me see here. Okay. There we go. There's Siren. At this point, though, it is, uh, it's been a few minutes. So if you want to put up the one minute warning. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. So Siren here, uh, Jennifer Pearson is the daughter of the Eliminator. As an infant, Aladdin experimented on her, trying to give her an indestructible skeleton. They failed and deemed the child useless, allowing the powerless child to grow with relatives. What they didn't figure is that she, that they had managed to cause a mutation, but the power did not surface until puberty. Jennifer eventually demonstrated heightened reflexes, strength, low telepathy, and telepathic control over any liquid in her vicinity. As a teenager, she became a thrill-seeking, classy cat burglar, um, and then she was reinvented as a mercenary. So. Technically, she would be a mutant. She could show up in uh, in a current X book if she were alive, which I don't know if she is or not. Which one are you talking about? Uh, Siren. Siren from Malibu. Yeah. Well, yeah, if they decide to use Malibu characters ever again, they 
Yeah, that well, but of... again, as I say, I think this is when um, Marvel uh, purchased Malibu. Let me look here. Da -da. Malibu Comics. Okay, maybe not. This was 95. Oh, yeah, no. Uh, yeah. Because yeah, uh, Taskmaster, because Taskmaster, Mad Dog, Diamondback, and War Machine show up. And there's a copyright uh, 1995 Marvel Entertainment Group. Okay. So, ah, I mean, I'm... yeah. So, because actually, if you look at page one, it's her uh, uh, trying to get away from War Machine. Oh, awesome. Okay, All so right, it's a good undead, mix. Undead Quinn brings us more bad news. It is not Kelly Thompson. It is uh, food critic number 15. <laughs> you know, there was one book that I liked by Mariko Tamaki. In that book. Well, actually, I didn't think her detective was bad. But, uh, yeah. God I damn. am Starfire, right? Uh, it, yeah, I love that one. Uh, that yeah. was... That was absolutely fantastic on a uh, level of obviously you know, what 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 were you thinking kind of kind of uh, good, but no, was I was here? actually talking about being super the Supergirl book that she did. I liked it. I liked the detective, but holy shit, that woman is not batting a thousand or a, or a ten for that matter. Yeah, she's just, yeah, a lot of suck going on in her career. All right, and we had uh, Siren, number one. And with uh, Jay, we have Phoenix. Bizarre. All right. And both of those are, god damn it, bird. Okay, at some point I think I'm going to take him upstairs. He's a little bit rambunctious. And, uh, yeah. Okay. I, I wanted to let you come down here. I did. I did. But no. No, you're just... Mm -mm. This this is my job. This is my job. This is what I do. Okay. Anywho, uh, let me uh, get the get these down. We'll get the next round up. God dang it, bird. When you hear me say that, it means he's pooped somewhere. I wish he didn't poop. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm going to take these down and get the next round up. Bum, bum. Okay. So we've got Siren and Phoenix Bizarre Adventures going to gym and everything else hitting the reject box. That's kind of sad. There's some decent stuff to try. Oh, no, it wasn't that. It was the uh, Power Man and Iron Fist. That is my bad. Okay. I don't know why I was thinking the bizarre thing. All right. Boom, boom. Cobra! Yeah, yeah, we get it. The good guys are Americans and the bad guys are snakes. Not that hard to understand. Boom, boom. All right. Oh, more hitting the rejects. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, one, two, five. Are these in any kind of order? Yeah, they are. All righty, kids. Next up, we have Batman number 443. There we go. And then we have Batman number 462. Next up, we have Batman number 562. This is part of the Road to No Man's Land storyline. That'll be at C. Okay, I'm going to have to get more of my fat self in the camera here to reach over here. Next up, we've got Batman Who Laughs, The Grim Knight. And finally, we got the Vow for the Cow, the Commissioner Gordon story. All right. Fall back, but don't fall over. Thank you. Next up, we've got the 1992 annual from Legends of the Dark Knight, the uh, wedding between Commissioner Gordon. I believe it was Sarah Eason. I could be wrong. Uh, uh, next up, we've yeah, got Legends Sarah. of the Dark Knight. 
uh, annual, and this is in the 1991 annual, and this is called Dual. All right, is that Magnolia? Yep, that's a Magnolia cover. And then we have Batman issue number 492 from the uh, Nightfall storyline. Okay. And we have Batman 495 from the Night Nightfall storyline. And finally, we have Batman number 500 from the Nightfall storyline. Bidding begins at a dollar each. As soon as LK says go, there is not a bad book up there. That is that is just speaking facts right there. You want to you want an empty this this should be the first to to absolutely go. Right here. I highly recommend all of these. Yeah, there's there's not a bad one. I actually, as much as I kind of resisted the whole uh, Dark Knight's Metal, I did like the different Batman solo books. Yeah, this was a sequel to the Dark Knight's Metal. And I did like the Grim Knight. Um, Batman Punisher, that is, yeah, that's a good way to describe this guy. Yes. And right. we have a bid on Jay from Austin and one dollar for A B C F G H from Jim. All right. Mm. So D E and I are the only ones that have no bids. And I'm just gonna assume that's because he has the, the poison ivy Batman there, which I think probably all of us I, did at one point. I'm going to assume that this crowd is not a fan of DEI. De uh, <laughs> we prefer meritocracies. <laughs> Actually, that's kind of clever, given the situation. I mean, that okay, got to give it. I got to give it up for him there. That is funny. It was. Okay, so first up, we have Austin with Jay. I, I've started doing things a little different here. I'm like, uh, just to save time. Um, hopefully it works. It's where I don't write the books down because that was so time consuming until you guys bid on them. Batman 500. Next up, we have Jim with A, B, and C. All right. And that is issues number 443, 462. And five five sixty two. Okay. Come on, bird. Settle it down. Settle it down. And then also a dollar on F G and H. Yep. I'm flipping over to write that down here. And uh, those were the L O T R ninety two L O T R. 91 and uh that is batman 492 okie dokies and so we need some love for as you said d e and i oh come on the grim Knight. that at least it should go well uh, Are we not liking the Scott I, Snyder nowadays? Uh, I, I, at this point, I think most people are just indifferent to Scott Snyder. I mean, I don't know what he's doing. I've never been a huge Scott Snyder fan, so uh -huh. I, he he doesn't cross my radar. Yeah, I was I'll, wondering. We have a bit on I. It seems like they're okay, and that is for oh, Austin. All right. Yeah, Scott so Austin has I and J. Snyder Scott basically uh, like had to one up his old stuff and just at the end he just raises the six too much that he can't like have a good conclusion to his stories anymore. Okay, so you think he wrote himself into a corner? Like he has to one up every story he does, and like after a while the stakes are just too high. Like. Well, with what happened with Dark Knight's death metal, or with metal where everything was connected and Batman becoming Batman was written in the stars and everything else like that. Yeah, one of the things, if you are, 
if you write the he was destined to be Batman storyline, and I get it, they did books like that in the nineteen uh, in the nineteen seventies as well. But if you write that, it's to me it shows a deep misunderstanding of the character. The whole point was is that there was this random crime, and he is now going to try and make sure that that never happens to anybody else. The randomness of it was part of the trauma that the traumatic uh, reasons he does what he does when you give this whole harry potter he is the one kind of thing i think it loses a little bit i think his uh his origin goes by the wayside and he's not exactly the same character when you do that i love the old ivy so do i um i like i like evil ivy uh and at some point in time like if oh you know, maybe i should do a an, if i wrote but if I if I had control, I would start showing that Ivy is an abusive uh, partner in the relationship. Uh, that would actually show that you know, and this unfortunately does happen that uh, women who are abused usually kind of stay in situations like that. Even when they go from one partner to another, they tend to find people who um, are abusive. Well, I mean, I would say more Harley's the abusive one in the relationship, and Ivy's the manipulative one. I mean, they're, they're, they're yeah. I mean, they're, they're both bad for each other. I mean, it's just yeah. Well, and that's but, the whole thing. They shouldn't be a loving couple that is uh, held up to any kind of standards, is what yeah. I'm saying. But the whole the whole Gotham girls thing took off, and now you know you can't do anything different because otherwise the the lunatics out there will you will read their heads off yeah and i say let them well but that's just me yeah well no, no. for breed of cat but, you know the problem is the lunatics are inside the building yeah they are in charge of the asylum what gets me is that the people who are supposedly in charge are, are people who've been around long enough that they should know what a good comic book is and they should, but they don't have the balls to step up and stop it. No, because they know they'll get thrown out in the butt the minute that they, uh, you know, they like, like I said in that other stream, like the moment CB Sabolski started, you canceled their beloved series. That's when all the Akira Toriyama things came to light. Mm hmm. And he he shut up, and he has been a collared dog since then. Yeah, yeah. The, the timing did. was Let's too convenient the, uh, to one. not be a calculated move. Hey, one slick, long time. Oh, hey, one slick. Good to see you. Okay. Trying to stay ahead of this particular game. All right, we are on lot number three. Everything but uh, D and E, the Grim Knight and the Commissioner Gordon have love A, B, and C with Jim, as well as uh, F, G, and H. And Austin has I and J. Barring any last minute bids, before we uh, before we say stop. Uh, yeah, had another bot in in the hospital. Bout well, shit. Hope you're okay, man. Uh, yeah. going to the hospital all the time. Might want to check into some new hobbies. That's wow. Hope you're okay, man. Yeah, I think it was the animated series that kind of started it. Um, started, I, yeah, there, that was the just Harley and Ivy, Harley and yeah, Ivy. That yeah. was just them being friends because lunatics didn't have a voice back then. Well, you know how uh, the uh, L the um, LGB community is Alphabet and was, mafia. yeah. Uh, you know, it's like, oh, they're friends. That means they're lovers, which yeah. makes me yeah. wonder: Do gay people have friends? They don't. You know, is that's what's going on here. It's just yeah, that's the understanding. Yeah. Um, because yeah. I do remember uh, a friend of mine. He 
he actually believed any straight guy could be tamed. And I said, yeah, not any dude. And of course, he, he uh, gave me the respect, or at least he gave Gail the respect. He goes, well, I would never go after you because I have too much respect for Gail. So <laughs> it wouldn't work. All right. Um, Bruce Tim was the first shipper. Yeah. Really nice, dude. Sorry to hear that one, Slick. Yeah. I'm glad you're glad you're here. You know, absolutely, absolutely glad to glad you're here, man. Uh, let's see if I remember it right. Harley and Ivy were only in two or three episodes of Batman. Yeah, but that's all it took. That is a dumbass bird. Will you freaking stop? I felt it right down the back, right down the goddamn. Well, at least it's not on my head. All right. What? Okay, that's the that's the problem when you have uh, when you have a pet bird. All right, we got to stop. Let me read this off again. We've got A, B, and C going to gym. We have F, G, and H going to gym, and I and J goes to Austin. Let me get these down. Get the next round up. Yeah. Well, the thing is, I mean, that that's a hallmark of these lunatics is they don't believe that you know. People can have these two close, the close, close platonic relationships. If you know somebody cares for somebody oh, deeply, this time better oh, this. more then, books are being sold. Yeah. Hey, can you put up the two dollar banner, please? Sure. Yeah. When I went into the warehouse to find the, or the storage, I grabbed the nearest box, and it turned out a lot of it was the $2 books. All right. And there's some new ones. Like this lot right here is uh, pretty new. I, I found a comic shop. I could get a few. But here we have Brave and the Bold, issue number 151, Batman and the Flash. And then we have Brave and the Bold, number 193, Batman and Nemesis. Okay. And then we have uh, DC Comics Presents, number 45. And this is Superman and Firestorm. The Apparently, movie. they go up against a 1990s hip-hop group. Crisscross, gonna jump, jump. Next up, we have Action Comics, number 554. Hey, look, it's Siegel and Schuster. And finally, we have, oh, well, not finally, but for the top row, we have issue number 381 of Superman. Nope. Got bro. Next, we have part of the Doomsday Death of Superman storyline. This is The Adventures of Superman, number 497. Superman, you skull bash. There we go. And then we have Superboy and the Legion of Superheroes, issue number 252. And I do want to show that top bit right there. I noticed one of the staples is very high on this book. Next up, we have Superboy and the Legion of Superheroes, issue number 251. And then we have uh, Legion of Superheroes, issue number 254. And 256. Bidding begins at $2 each as soon as LK says go. There you go. 
Uh, yeah, there's going to be some bronze. There's going to be some uh, some copper, some 1980s and such. Um, of course, we're looking at a whole bunch of bronze. Um, I am actually bidding on stuff. Unfortunately, I haven't had a chance to get new books in the last, uh, what? how long has it been? We've been moving now, three weeks, a month. So that's what tonight is about, and uh, tonight is going to help um, get books for next week, which will hopefully get me back on buying a lot more copper and bronze books because um, I am looking at uh, a collection as well that is right now sitting at a reasonable price, but fingers crossed. Sometimes at the very last minute. They go nuts. I was looking at one that had not. It, it was it was weird because it wasn't like important Bronze Age books, but it was a lot of the stuff that you might see. See, you know, the uh, Marvel two in ones, the Coles, the Kangs, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, and right at the last minute, it was like around a hundred, and I was like, okay, I'll put one hundred and thirty on this one, and. Uh, in the end, it ended up going for $250, and I was like, I can't, not at this point, because it's still a little bit iffy about how these are going to go. All right. Uh, let's see. That Brave and the Bull and Nemesis set, uh, there uh, set up the JLI involvement in Suicide Squad, and JLA number 13 says, Jim, I'm not sure there was a single female protagonist Bruce Tim didn't have a go at uh, on Batman. Having a go at means something different in my neighborhood. Okay, and Jim says two dollars on everything. So it's the Brave and the Bull, except for A and All right. So we got Brave and the Bull, Batman Nemesis. That's issue number one ninety three. All right. And then we have uh DC Presents, number 45. And C. Next up, we had Action Comics, number 554 at D. And then Superman, number 381 at E. I'm liking saying this because I could just remind you guys what's up there. Okay, and uh, for those of you who might want but don't know the number, it's issue number 151 is A uh, with a flash. All righty, and then uh, let's see, no F, but G is uh, number 252 of Superboy and the Legion of Superheroes. And then H is 251 because I didn't put them in order. And then we have 254. And then on E, we have issue number 256. All righty. All of those are with Jim at $2. 250 is the next bid. These are some awesome books. If you, if you have not given Legion of Superheroes a try, this is one of my favorite books as a kid. All of them are, are worth your time. Actually, so are the DC Presents and the Brave and the Bold. This is just a damn good lot. If Eric were here, it would be lot of the day so far. Let's see if there's any love left for the Death of Superman book. Speaking of deaths, where is Eric? Um, well, the way it's been going is they just decided they're going to do a reading every night now. It used to be, okay, we'll, we'll not do this, we'll not do that. But, like, when I stepped aside, they were like, hey, get the get the time, get the time, go, go, go. So, um, I guess they're doing a reading. Yeah, well, I don't think it's a reading every night, but I know they had to add them scheduled for Friday and, and then Saturdays mm -hmm. when the, the, the auction moved. Yep. Oh, they didn't move. No, they definitely didn't move it on Friday. They just uh, RDB decided, heck, I'm going to go for Saturday now because <laughs> I wasn't uh, 
I wasn't doing the auctions on Saturday. Uh, the the have a go phrase was intentionally vague when I wrote it. Yeah, have a go means to uh, bang. <laughs> that's, that's how I've always known it. Uh, oh, my goodness, is that a smoke alarm chirping on the stream, not the bird, the actual alarm? Yes, you know what? I was at Walmart. I was at Walmart. I looked at the batteries and said, do I need batteries? No, I got batteries. I'm okay. Yeah, and then I walked away, and I, and I was like, because I was trying to remember, what do I need batteries for? And then I got home. I shut the door, and I heard, Cheep. I went, oh, yeah, uh-huh. That's why it's in the title. I actually have acknowledged the fact that I've got a chirping uh, smoke alarm in the title. So what's up? And yeah. I've got a bird. So. Apparently, they have a reading today and tomorrow. See? Told you. It's uh, it's just about every day now. So, but hey, they, you know what? Good luck. Except for on the days we're competing. <laughs> That's evil to say. <laughs> but uh, I, I don't know. I don't know exactly what's the protocol here. They're friends. I hope they do very well. Um. Right now, they are competition. Yeah. Well, you know, probably, you know, eventually kind of like, you know, two, two different audiences. So, uh, Oh, Rhaegar, yeah, don't help you just because of the chirping smoke alarm. It won't drive you that that insane. Oh no, it's not. It, it won't drive you any more crazy than the actual bird, anyway. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Actually, I don't. I got to admit, I don't hear it as much as uh, as I should. I guess it's just yeah, it's background. I'll take care of it when I can, and when I remember. <laughs> Some neighbor just let it beep. I'm not, not lying. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, people will do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there you go. All righty. It looks like we should be ringing up that uh, one-minute warning in the stop. I don't think there's going to be any bids for uh, A and F, the Batman Flash. That one's the... I, I get it. The Death of Superman is kind of like the uh, one of these things is not like the others book, uh, but the Brave and the Bold. I'm actually surprised at that one. That one didn't go. Hmm. hmm. I didn't eat dinner, so I'm trying to. Uh, I got a bowl of grapefruit in front of me. Been losing weight, kids. I hope it's uh, I hope it's for because I, I've been eating less and moving around a lot more rather than like you know cancer. Well, I'm sure that's I'm sure that's some of it. Yeah, <laughs> well, you know, it might be a fifty fifty mix. You never know. Um, you never know. Um, yeah. Yeah. No, cancer is bu right now. Cancer is busy trying to catch the real killer of OJ Simpson. Right. <laughs> that's awesome. Buddy. All right, uh, so we got the one minute warning. We're going to get stopped soon. There is uh, no love for A and F, the Brave and the Bold 151. Uh, the rest of everything else is claimed by Jim at $2 each. Barring any last minute bids before LK says stop. All right. LK already said stop. Okay, I already said stop. All right, there you go. Uh, let's see, I should start writing these down some more here. Okay, and uh, it is, uh, as we sometimes say, okay for everybody to bid. Um, there you go. Well, don't ride the wire down, you little bird. You won't get caught. All right, we've got two rejects. And then we've got... The rest of them going to gym. That is a good haul. Zook. All right. Actually, it's kind of running neck and neck here as far as which uh, 
which box is filling up better? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Oh, huh. okay. Next up, we have Free Comic Book Day. This is uh, Tilly Walden Clementine issue. This is the first appearance of Clementine in comics, being the character from the Walking Dead games. There we go. Next up, we have uh, a book from Sigma Comics called Calico, and this is issues number one and issues number two. So this is a two-issue set. Next up, we have issue number one from a really good uh, follow-up to the Marvels. This is Code of Honor. That's issue number one. And then we have uh, issue number three. And this follows this uh, cop right here throughout the Marvel Universe and through a lot of the stuff that happened in the 1980s, including, uh, goodness, the one where the, the that was in the X-Men, the devil comes up or something like that. I can't think of things. Inferno and other things. He also is, uh, we find out he's the cop that meets the Punisher. There we go. He runs into the Kingpin. Kingpin tries to bribe him. Throws a thousand dollar bill at him, and he kind of figures he'll never be corrupt so long as he never spins that. Next up, we've got from Wizard Magazine, a special edition The Spy Who Shagged Me. There you go. Read this freaking book. All righty. Next up, we have uh, from Tom Payer and Steve Dillon, the Adam Special, double size comic. I always like that cover, by the way. Next up, we have special wizard edition of Kiss Comics. There we go, there we go. And then we have an actual wizard magazine, and this is a uh, special exclusive Batman focused wizard. And next up, we have Heroes Illustrated issue number six with the uh, Alex Ross cover. All right, bidding begins at $2 each as soon as LK says go. All righty. I think I might have that hero illustrated in a box somewhere. Yeah? Do you save those magazines? Uh, I, saved, I saved a few here and there. Uh, I've got a couple of wizards because they had interesting articles. Speaking of the cop that meets the Punisher, isn't he going to be in the TV series very, very soon? The Punisher, yes. And the cop that meets him, if those. Well, okay, yeah, I get what I was saying. Uh, maybe it was very vague, but there is a very famous scene of, uh, well, I don't know how very famous it was back in the day, where a cop um, corners Frank Castle and. Frank Castle kind of has this moment of, do I fight him? Do I shoot him? Do I? And he just decides to take off, you know, not confront the cop. And um, that was a thing. And that, that's what I was referencing, that there was that. Alrighty. I have a short box full of Darkness Comes books. Mm. Yeah. Uh, well... Like I said, I got everything together that was in our house, and I tried to put all to, all the uh, books that were won over the last two weeks together because uh, I was in a, ho a hotel. And, of course, uh, I told the story about how they um, robbed us legally. We, we are $600, we're $600 down, um, and we were homeless for a bit. And that's uh, – I was just – not in a position to be able to ship books out. But then I realized as I was going through the, uh, I was watching the endings. I never, I never put shipping on the, uh, on the pages. So whoops on that. Uh, yep. And we finally got a blue sky today also. Well, that's good. You know, they'll start showing up more frequently. I think we... <laughs> blue I think sky we talk... as in the weather phenomena or blue sky as in the fun stuff from Breaking Bad? Uh, the weather phenomena. Uh, the Breaking Bad thing 
Uh, we did find that neighborhood. No. I was kind of surprised because it's like everybody is so chill here. There's no aggressive people. And uh, I realized I might be the aggressive person in this because <laughs> everybody's so chill. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Well, you'll you'll come across something called Midwestern nice. Okay. Yeah. You know. That that seems like it's uh, not real. Well, I mean, it's again, it's it's a little bit of that chill. You know, sometimes it might come off as a little passive aggressive. Um, you know, not you know, big and like direct confrontation. You know, sort of thing. Yeah. Oh. But yeah, the Midwest is Midwest has a lot of nice folks in it. Yeah, so far we're actually there. There are good things about the move and everything. Um, I have ex like I have experienced a flooded basement. I would like that to get fixed, and I, I they they said they're bringing pumps and such because uh, we had really bad rain and. Uh, you know, I want to use that as a storage and a laundry. We got a laundry room down there. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that can't happen until that gets fixed. But now it also tells me that uh, I should get some sort of shelving, some metallic shelving, just in case, and don't put anything on the ground. Yeah, metallic or, I mean, heavy duty plastic. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, check out. Uh, I'm trying to think the discount stores. I don't know. Oh, I, I know. I know. Ollie's is in the Midwest, but I don't know. If oh, we got one around the corner. Yeah, okay. Um, I know they. I know at least mine has had different uh, shelving, uh, you know, units or you know, shell plastic shell stuff uh, for a while. Um, so you can do that. Um, yeah, I mean, I will tell you too, though, I mean, especially, you know, when and it dries out when you get into the summer, you'll love having that basement because it'll be nice and cool down there. Yeah, I'm thinking I want to bring the show down there um, if the internet can reach it. And I was thinking maybe getting it, trying to find, I, I found an HDMI, HDMI cable that was 50 feet. I'm hoping I could find an Ethernet so I could just plug in the Internet from there, you know, um, so the signal is good rather than relying on a wireless. Yeah. Um, well, uh, go to go to monoprice.com. OK. That's that's basically my go to place whenever I'm looking to uh, buy buy cables. Um, they usually have some of the best prices around. So I. I guarantee you i mean the 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 50 foot hdmi yeah i i think you're okay with that i know there is a i know there's a signal loss with hdmi when you get to a certain a certain length and i think i think 50 feet is within the limit um but oh yeah you can get 50 100 200 foot uh, ethernet cables that's not an issue Oh, nobody's interested in any of these, so let me bring these down. Okie dokie. That is a little disappointing, but tis what it is. Probably have a better chance selling these when I find issue number two. I was actually thinking of eBaying it, but that would add shipping, and that would just add to the cost of the actual books. It's, it is a really good story, though. And once again, if you guys go over, if you're jump, just jumping in, if you go over, you see something in the past lots, just give a heads up. Mm -hmm. Get it for you. All right, where is it? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. All right. First up, we've got the Infinity War number one. Mm. There we go. 
And then we have uh, the Road to Civil War. This is the Illuminati book. Next up, we have Magneto, issue number zero. We have Captain America, number 156. This one's been around. I actually ended up getting three copies in a collection. So I've been, uh, like, I had a really good one, and I think I sold that one for five, and then, you know, this is the $2 one. And then The Man Called Nova, number 19. Next up, we have Legion of Superheroes, issue number 312. We have uh, Grant Morrison's Green Lantern, issue number one. Season one, issue number one, as he called them, eventually. Next up, we have that same number one, but this is the variant cover. Next up, we have the Blackest Night number one, or no, it's the yeah Blackest Night one shot, and this is the director's cut. So I guess it's Blackest Night number one director's cut. There we go. And then we have Retroactive 1970s. This is The Flash. Bidding begins at $2 each as soon as LK says go. Yeah. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. So I just learned, did you know that they did a remake of uh, Don't Tell it, Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead? I saw the preview. It looks like hell. <laughs> um, I like the God. fact that uh, they were calling it a classic. I'm like, yeah, you're stretching that freaking word there. I mean, I enjoy Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead. It's a uh, guilty pleasure for sure, but this isn't one that – People are clamoring for. No, no, absolutely not. And at the same time, actually, I was starting to get, when I was thinking about it, I realized I was starting to get it confused with adventures and babysitting. I think that would do well. I mean, they would still, um, oh, I think they, they would I still think race swap it. But. I think somebody already did a reboot of that one too, or at least talked about it. Um, yeah, no, it's, uh, I, I do remember Christina Applegate, you know, being the lead and and don't tell your mom the babysitter's dead um but i mean just just the the little clips i saw the trailer i was laughing because the woman that they they cast in the christina applegate role looks like she's freaking 30. Uh, she really does <laughs> i mean I, I was just like okay sure go for it i don't care <laughs> <laughs> I I'm not going to see it any even if I bend and I I do watch it I'm not paying for it. No, it's uh it, it it'll be uh consigned 2 weeks from now in the in the same bin that uh the magical uh black people movie was uh was dumped into. I I was going with the house party and uh and the TV show remake of Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. I don't think none of those really registered with audiences. Uh, yeah, no, because I mean, they they literally just sucked all the fun out of those shows. Number one, um, but I got I have a prediction. I may be wrong about this, but I may be wrong. But when Magical Negroes gets to streaming services, I think it's going to do well at first. Mm. And Maybe. here's why, because this movie is so notoriously bad and it looks so horrible from the get go. I think a lot of people are going to watch this movie as a curiosity. I think it, I don't think it's going to be like, uh, oh, it's the new number one of anything, but I think it's going to do well, maybe just adequately well. But I think there's going to be a curiosity factor to this one just because. This is such an obvious bad idea. How did anybody ever greenlight this shit? Well, I, I mean, again, it's there might be a curiosity for a week, and then it's yeah. going to fade into obscure. Fade into absolutely. Obscure. That's what I'm saying. I think uh, I don't like. It's not going to break any records. People aren't going to watch it and discover it's uh, like Blade Runner 
wow, we missed that on the big screen. I can't believe it. Can you bring it back? No, that's never going to happen. But I think it's going to be one of those, uh, I heard it was so bad, I have to see. Kind of like Cats. Cats does not do horribly on streaming, streaming services. And part of the reason, and I had people come into the movie theater uh, when I was working at the AMC at Disney, people were coming in going, I heard this movie is complete shit. Is it true? And I would tell them, I said, yeah, yeah, you got to check this thing out. I mean, it's like, you really have to check this one out. Okay, so Austin says $2 on I. All right, and we're getting the blackest Cats night. Hate crime. Say again? Cats was a hate crime. It really was not good. And, uh, but people came in to see how not good it was. And Eric, how you doing? Says, uh, Two dollars on F, which is the Legion of Superheroes. That's a good choice. Um, right. That was issue two twelve, right? Three twelve. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it, it's so funny though. I mean, there, there again, there could have been a good movie there. All they had to do was follow the Undercover Brother formula. Oh my gosh, that movie is brilliant. I love Undercover Brother. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm. Well, at this point, I'm. I'm glad that we don't we're not getting a sequel right now. I was bummed that, you know, for several years that we never got the, the promised sequel. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, if it, if, if it were produced came out today, I, I would, wouldn't want it. Cause it's not going to have anywhere near the same level of humor and, and tongue and cheekness and, and what have you that the, the original does. Um, they turn Carlton into a cool kid, says Jim. I I didn't watch. I just know that nobody talks about it. So it's just that. Yeah. Yeah. Too bad the yeah. first cut of uh, Cats is going to be released. No. Like I I don't mind the uh, they filmed the stage show in the two thousands. That was kind of cool watching that. But that movie sucked, and it didn't get the point of Cats. No. Just like yeah. I think that the Wicked movie is not going to get the point of Wicked, I, I don't think I don't think it'll be cat level bad. I think it'll just be generic bad because, for the most part, Hollywood can't make good movies anymore. Yeah, well, at least Cats, um, at least uh, this movie over Cats, they have people who can sing. And I believe the uh, the one playing Elza, what is her name, Elzebub, or whatever her name is, uh, the Wicked Witch, she was on stage doing that role. So, okay, maybe there's uh, going to be some sort of decency to it. Let's get the one-minute warning. Uh, looks like only two books are getting any interest here. And that is uh, F for Eric and Boyd, The Legion of Superheroes 312. And Blackest Night, number one, to Austin, both at $2 each. Um, let's see, anything I would recommend up there? Well, The, the Flash. Uh, I'm kind of surprised the retroactive didn't go. That's one I would definitely head for. Um, the Illuminati wasn't bad. Bronze Age Captain America, sure. Uh, I haven't actually read that Nova, so I don't have any... Uh, any idea how that is? How about you, LK? Is there any other thing up here that you would recommend? Uh, I mean, probably it would have been you know A, B, and F uh, most likely. I, I remember that you know the Illuminati book being you know pretty decent. Because uh, I think I think that's a Bendis book, but I mean, again, Bendis doing Marvel was good. Um, you know, and, and that book was in his wheelhouse. Uh, you, you have to just separate, um, you know, Bendis Independent, Bendis Marvel, Bendis DC. Three, three different, three different animals. You no, know, like you, you just have to separate Bendis before 2013 and Bendis after 2013. That's a good division line. Yeah. I am England team, and I approve that message. Yeah, that's uh, that's a good divide line. But it's kind of, you, you want to know some, I'm, I'm looking at, uh, on eBay, I'm looking on it, it, basically anywhere that might sell boxes of collections and such. And 
I got to tell you, I steer away from Marvel anymore. Not unless it's 90s, 80s, 70s. That okay, I'm, I'm okay with. Even though, you know, 90s was the uh, was that era for for Marvel. It's just that I try to steer away because I have no idea what resonates with uh, with with you guys anymore as far as Marvel is concerned. Because a lot of times I, I've noticed this: if there's something going on with any of the creators of uh, any comic book creator, that bleeds over. It's like, uh, yeah, I, I, I want this from that guy, even though it was 40 years ago, because of what what they're doing now. Marvel is so horrendous uh, right now. I have no idea what to get from Marvel. Like I'm thinking, okay, is this good Marvel? Is it bad Marvel? I know anything after 2013, but even still, like in the 2000s and stuff, I I just found myself kind of veering away from it a little bit. But hey, who knows? All righty, uh, let me get these down. We'll get the next round up. Okay, and we had uh, the Legion with Eric and Boyd. We had the Blackest Night with Austin. Let me get those there, and uh, let's see the. Reject box is filling up a lot faster now. So, all right. Hey guys, here we are. Trying not to get in on camera on the auctions here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. Okay, so let's see. First up, do I have these in order? Yes, I do. We have Captain Canuck, the Canadian superhero. And this is... There's no such thing as Canadia. And then we have issue number five of Captain Canuck. Oh, by the way, thank you very much to everyone who made the... Uh, made the golden age of Canadian superhero videos I did, Modern Successes. And by that, I mean, you know, there's only like 500 views between them, but these days that's got to be considered a success. Uh, I appreciate it. That was a commissioned video. I had a lot of fun doing the research and uh, checking out these Canadian heroes. All righty. I didn't read up. That's issues number four, five, 11, and 12. Next up, we have a non-Canadian uh, captain, and this is Captain Marvel. That's issue number 56. All righty, and this is Starlin, so, you know, good stuff. All righty. Next up, we have Fantastic Four, issue number 253. And we have issue number 254. And here is issue number 255. We have issue number 251. Okay, yeah, those are a little out of order. And then finally, Marvel's Greatest Comics, number 83. Bidding begins at $2 each as soon as LK says go. All right, let me get these headphones back on. Join the conversation. Fun times. Uh, there we go. Here's some more Bronze Age and such. Uh, <laughs> check them out. <laughs> These are this is this is Tom Burns' run of Fantastic Four. Um, excellent stuff. Bird, you need to stop. Okay. Uh, I do like these right here with the two fifty fives, two fifty fours. We uh, Reed Richards gets kidnapped. They go on a, a quest to find them. It's just a it's just a great great time for. And you have two dollars on Jay from James Sorensen. All righty. Awesome meeting. Okay. And uh, let's see. What do for Marvel I kept out after Civil War says so Jim? Yeah. I think I, I think I might have blasted. What, what came first, the Secret Invasion or the Civil War? I think it was the Civil War. Once Captain America got shot in the head, I was like, okay, I'm out. It just wasn't doing. He got shot in the abdomen. Say again? 
He got shot in the abdomen. Uh, who am I thinking that got shot in the head? JFK? No, no, is it? No, no. No, this it's the guy I knew named Ingrid, yeah. Yeah, I thought Cap got shot in the head too, or at least or maybe in the in the heart with an arrow. But who knows? No, basically it was first uh crossbones shot him and then a brainwashed Shan Carter shot him. Well, that's just rude. Yeah, and the worst and the other part was Sharon Carter was knocked up with Cap's kid at that time. And, wow. they, lost, they, and they lose the they kid. Think the, the Avengers 200 storyline's bad. <laughs> yeah, always modern comics are worse. I, I just, I, I go off on that. I, uh, I think that is a, a good place to be head wise. All right, I am uh, kind of shocked. No, no, no support for the Canadian superhero Captain Canuck. Wow, that that, that floors me a little bit. That, I was expecting like, woo, let's get big bidding wars over Captain Canuck. That's because everyone realized there is no such thing as Canadia. I agree. I I agree. It's it's a great fictional place. Um, it, it used to be a country, and then. Uh, Castro's kid took over. Yes, I'm one of those people who believe that he is Castro's kid. <laughs> Let's see. I watched the first episode out of curiosity. The all oh, the fresh prints. Yeah. Oh, what a, I, Castro go ahead. Was a proponent of masculinity, so his kid can, that can be his kid. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, maybe that's why he's in Canada, uh, because Castro is like, uh, get that fop away from me. <laughs> he can't throw a ball. I, I'm not. I'm not talking to this kid. Yeah, it's, maybe it was a case of that. All right, let's get the one minute warning. Uh, there's no love for these. I am shocked. Uh, I am actually also dismayed because this is what we got coming up uh, later too. So, all righty. Get the one minute warning. I would uh, go for the burn FF, but I'm keeping my budget with Bronze Age. Uh, I don't know what I've. Okay, I know that I don't have more of DC, so I got to apologize on that one, dude. Um, there's, there's no more Bronze Age DC, Austin. Open up that wallet. Yeah, um, I'm trying to look. I don't think I do. I, I don't think I do. Not the DC stuff. I'm trying. Uh, that's part of what I was hoping to be able to accomplish tonight. I, I need to make money off of old books in order to get new books. Um, I'm trying to get, but uh, yeah. in that case, two dollars on F. On F, Dickies yeah. from Austin Pierce. Sorry, um, Austin. I might even have to do Austin. drunk streams or something to keep this going. Because of course, not only this, but you know, rent. Yeah. Speaking of drunks, I have realized that. Heineken and Corona beer tasted the same. <laughs> also, I'm a little buzzed. Ah, okay. Let's see. That's nothing. I, that, I never got a taste for beer. Me neither. Just not my well, thing. Like, this was on sale, so I got it. And if people haven't noticed by now, yes, I do get drunk every time we do these long streams. <laughs> All righty, and F is Fantastic Four number two fifty three. What's the P? Two dollar. How much? Two dollars. Two dollars. I got spoiled for good beer. I can't drink cheap beer anymore. No, nope, never. I mean, when I when I was a kid, I drank it once um, because everybody's like, oh, it's so cool, it's so cool. And I downed one really quick. Went through me like a, uh, just, I, I have got to tell you, it was the best diuretic I, I've ever taken. <laughs> mm -hmm. But uh, the taste of it is horrible to me. It, it just, I'm not an alcohol drinker because of the flavor. 
I mean, if you've ever watched one of the drunk streams, I, it looks like I'm cringing because I'm not cringing because oh, it's powerful. I'm cringing because that stuff tastes like shit. Every time I, I, I took a shot, all I could think of is how god awful that stuff tastes. I just I just don't like the taste of alcohol. All I right. think the be, be, alcohol I prefer is uh, apple ciders. Yeah, that's my whole thing. It, it, the you gotta hide it. You gotta hide it from from me. Like uh, I could drink a mudslide or strawberry daiquiri or something like that. Um, pina coladas. Uh, my friends j joked around. I'm a girl drink drunk because any it, they would be like, oh okay, I'll take a, I'll take a beer. I'll take a beer. I'll take a beer. And I would have I would be the guy that they joke about in movies with the umbrella drink, but. I did also point to out the fact that if they wanted, me, oh, we're going to get drunk tonight. Okay. I would spend up to maybe $5 to get where they, you know, took 40 to get to. So, hey, I win. All righty. Uh, let's get the stop up and I'll bring these down. Uh, Fantastic Four 253 is with uh, Austin. Okay. And the rest are hitting the reject box. Okie dokies. Well, but you know, Cat, you're in the land of ales and stouts. You, you have you have some good beer that you can get your hands on. Yeah, but I'm also oh, you're talking to each other. Okay? A broke college student, so I do have to keep it at a budget. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, been been there, been there, done that. Yeah. Uh, what what's your what's your go to uh, hard cider? Uh, so far there is, uh, Captain Weston's, I think. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm blank. I know there's a couple, I know there's a couple, uh, decent British ones. My, my favorite's always been the, uh, the Amber, uh, Woodchuck cider, which got to be really hard to find a couple of years ago. Yeah. Um, I, I don't think I've seen that. Yeah, well, I, yeah, I wouldn't expect you to see that across the pond. That's going to be be a one one around here, or one one in the U.S. Because I think they're out of like Vermont or something. Uh, but yeah, there's only there's only one store around here uh, that that actually carries it. And I was so yeah. happy to find it. So far in my room with me right now, I have one Heineken. There's Corona. There is. Uh, oh. Uh, original Thai, Thai beer called Singha. Oh, okay, yeah, I know. I know that one. Yeah, that is warm, and that is going to go into the prison to be drunk in a later date. <laughs> and yeah, there is no, another had, one I've... that is warm and to be drank at a later yeah. later date. It's called Bira Bira Mori Moretti. Okay. Okay, yeah, no. next up, we're going to the $3 books, and I don't know what number this is, but here we have Buck Rogers in the 25th century. I have to look that up. <laughs> and so Warren. Right, and on Warren. B, we've got, uh, from Gold Key, we've got Walt Disney's Donald Duck with April, May, and June. All right. And, and I also we have from uh, Whitman. We have Popeye the Sailor. Another Warren. Uh, there we go. Or not, or not Warren. Um, and next up, we have Popeye Fine Arts and Humanities Careers from King Comics. I think that would make this a Silver Age, actually. King Comics? Mm. Let me check this out here. Maybe. Can check the date on this? Oh, nope, nope, it's 1970s, okay. 1973, I was three years old. Well, I became three years old. In it. All right. And uh, finally, we have Cartoon Tales, Disney's Darkwing Duck, Just Us, Justice Ducks. And it is a graphic novel. Um, just to give you guys a heads up, here you go. Let's let see what's in here. 
I said it is uh, it is a bit of a graphic novel there. All right. That's not one Aaron Sparrow worked on, is it? You'll have to ask him because he sure. said he did Shadow Rain. Let's go down to the bottom row here. We've got uh, Hawk World issue number three by Timothy Truman. Great freaking book. Highly recommend that. And we have uh, Superman Doomsday number one. Really love that book as well. Highly recommend that. One of the best books of the 90s, hands down. There's just no question, is The Spectre. And uh, this is issue number eight. Now, the um, this is a, a glow-in-the-dark cover. I don't know how well it works, um, it, but then again, it hasn't been out in the light too much. Next up, we have Judge Dredd, Crime Files, issue number four from Eagle Comics. And finally, we have The Defenders, issue number 75. There we go. Bidding begins at $3 each as soon as LK says go. All right, let me check the sheet. So the Buck Rogers there, that's that's a Whitman. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's enough uh, darkness here to. Yeah. Speaking uh, of. That's Buck Rogers number 15. I wanted to see if I could get the uh, specter to glow, but apparently not. Oh, well, case are wrong. Speaking of specters going towards and stuff going towards the light, where's Breen? Um, are they still doing their readings? Probably. Yeah, that's where that's where I would yeah. figure. He'll he'll come out he'll come over when they're done. Yeah. Oh, and it's about uh, ten o'clock, so I guess I'll do. I don't have a ton of uh, of uh, big dogs, but uh, I do have some. So I'll pull the, these uh, big dogs out and just touch their. Um, All right. So we have. Three dollars on ENJ from J James Sorensen, and Glinster puts three dollars on ABCD. Yeah. So, and uh, C there. That's the that's Popeye number one sixty seven uh, from Whitman, uh, published in nineteen eighty two. All right. Okay. We got the go. Oh, this one looks to be a little bit more successful than the last. Seven, number eight, starting the three hour books. And we have uh, a bit on J right away. The Defenders, number 75. Where do you go to, LK? Oh, on this board. Well, I've already got the Spectre. That's that's very good. Um, I mean, for something, I mean, you know, you can't go wrong with the Defenders that era. I mean, if you want something offbeat, go with a go with the Darkwing Duck, because uh, that was when Disney actually uh, cared about their properties, and you know. Yeah, uh, you know, maybe take a flyer on the Buck Rogers. Because I take mean, a it's flyer? 19, it's 1970s Buck Rogers, so, you know, good stuff. <laughs> yeah, might as well. Okay, so Glenzer says A, B, C, and D, right down to the Popeyes. All righty. No love for the dark wing. That is uh that's surprising to me on this lot. Like there's always one I'm, I would expect defenders to go. Jim Sorensen put three dollars on the dark wing. Hey, there you go. I was about to say dark wing was one of them that I that was, thinking was right was after the that was right after the go. Right after the go? I missed that. Yeah. I called it out. Like Jim put three dollars on E and J. Oh, I, I, I looked right at it. I missed the E. Okay. And Jim Sorensen on the dark one. Oh, I can't hear because uh, I don't have the headphones on. 
when when we first start up until I get the uh, like so the wireless or something like that which I think would be good because this bird's the same as twiddles he chews on the wires and everything does not have the good sense to electrocute himself I'm kidding of course I don't want my bird to get electrocuted Alrighty, and we've got Jim Sorensen with the Defenders. No love for F, G, H, or I. I surprises me. I thought there would be more uh, Judge Dredd fans in the house. You know, uh, I, I, that is just, that's one that actually surprises me. This is 1980s. Um, I, I just thought, yeah, this is, this is one that would go. Yeah, I mean, Dredd's a particular type of fan. Say again? Dread is a particular type of fan. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. But uh, yeah, I just thought that there would be more um, more interest in, in that one. I think that I don't think that came as a uh, in a collection either. I thought it, I think it was one where I found it in a dollar box or two dollar box or something like that a while back. And it's just uh, yeah, no love, no love for the Judge Dread crime file. Go figure. Maybe it's because it says it's a six-issue miniseries and it's issue number four. That might be. <laughs> oh, and by the way, once again, uh, every $10 gets you on our spinning wheel tonight. The giveaways, we have the Archies and other stories. This is uh, the Archies, the Big Moose story, and Jughead, the Hunger. Um, I, I do recommend these. The Archies have been written very well in comic book form. I'm not a big fan of the TV show, and unfortunately, people have tied Riverdale with the modern Archie stories, and I think that's a, a bad move. Also, we've got H.P. Lovecraft's The Call of Cthulhu in graphic novel form. So there we go. And those are the giveaways tonight. Every $10 gets you on the spinning wheel. I'm going to pop this. The GPS ended their first reading. Now they're uh, on their second. Yeah, that's another thing that started. Uh, a long time ago, like originally we, I made a deal with them that I wouldn't go on until 10 o'clock, give them time to do their readings. But then it was like, Hey guys, let's do one at 10. And I was like, wait a second. But, uh, okay. Okay. So uh, have fun with it. All right. And, uh, this is what it looks like on the inside. The judge dreads. There we go. So you're still getting good dread, Judge Dread fun right there. All righty, uh, good lot. So there you go, boy. I agree, sir. I think I think everything should be taken. We need somebody to give a shot to the Truman Hawk world. Pick up that glow in the dark specter, which is awesome. And of course, the Judge Dread. This has got some great friggin' art too. Tom Mandrake does the art on this. Um, here you go. Let me uh, let me show this off as well. This isn't a glow in the dark uh, comic. It's not like you open up and the art is uh, is glow in the dark as well. It's not all gimmick. And it, it this this book is just it looks awesome. It's got better some great better a glow in the dark book than a glow in the black light book. There you go. But yeah, as you can see, the the stories are awesome. The art is awesome. The book is awesome. Highly recommend. There we go. Okay. And, of course, uh, we've had the Superman here a couple of times. And, uh, you know, just a good one as well. But there we go. All righty. Uh, that being said, it has been a few. It's been actually seven. So let's uh, get the one-minute warning. And... Um, no love for anything but the defenders on the bottom and on the top. Glenzer has A, B, C, and D. The Buck Rogers, Daisy, Popeye, Popeye, and uh, Darkwing to Jim. Barring any last-minute bids here. Okay. And that's where we stand. Uh, Jughead the Hunger is pretty decent in the Frankabella cover. I know, aren't they? I'm a big fan of the horror Archies, and that's actually why I picked up this book 
when I saw it, I thought, oh man, I, I, it's a good way if somebody picks it as their, their uh, giveaway book, it's a good way to share some awesome stuff that maybe, maybe someone's a little bit apprehensive to try. Um, that saying, I guess you could say I have an agenda. <laughs> I want to, I, yeah, I do. I want to share out some uh, some good stories with people. Is that wrong? I don't think so. But um, the call of the the call of Cthulhu. I just think I, I just thought that uh, this would be the right crowd for it. So that's why I got that one for this. Okay. And uh, yeah, every ten dollars gets you a spot on the wheel. So by all means, join us. And that is two numbers. Uh, let's see. Do 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 do. Dark in my hair. I agree. I have all of them. Uh, yeah, talking about the Jughead stuff. Yeah, it's really good. Really good. All right, let's get these down. We'll get the next round up. Okay, and we have four hitting the reject pile, or the reject box today. I'm actually putting them in a box. There we go. And if you do see something from past lots, by all means, uh, say something, and I'll put you down for them. Glenzer has these first four books on the top, The Buck Rogers, Daisy and Donald, Popeye the Sailor Man, and Popeye Fine Arts and Humanities Careers. And then Jim... Jim Thornton has issue number 75 of the Defenders and the Darkwing Duck, Just Us, Justice Ducks. All right. And I just bumped into the box and had everything fall over. And uh, let's see, we've got one more $3 lot. How am I going to do this one? Oh, i got to get these in. Excuse me, guys, while I get these in uh, some sort of numerical order. Oh, hey, I do have, well, I think these are copper age. Sorry, dude. Uh, but we have uh, more Fantastic Four. These, uh, we have issue number 223. This is pre-John uh, Byrne. And then we have issue number 228. There we go. Uh, next up, we have issue number 229. And we have issue number 230. And here we have issue number 250. Oops. Next up, 257 with that awesome Galactus cover. This is one of my favorite covers of the Fantastic Four. Definitely of John Burns' run. Next up, we have the most maniacal superhero of all, the Green Goblin. This is issue number one. And speaking of green, we have uh, Green Lantern, issue number 132. And we have Green Lantern, issue number 133. And 192 with Star Sapphire. All right, bidding begins at $3 each as soon as LK says go. Uh, I was late to the party, but I ended up getting them all. What, what are we talking Oh, the, uh, the jug heads and such. All righty, let's see. So how about you, LK? Where do you go to? What's of interest? Uh, well, I mean, if I didn't have them already, it'd be the Fantastic Fours. Um, I mean, I'll second uh, 257 because uh, you know, we get Frankie Ray as Nova coming back. Uh, Galactus basically devours a scroll world, so that creates all kinds of conflict and, and what have you. It's just uh, good all the way around. Um, it's what um, sets up the, um, the trial of Reed Richards. Yeah. Um, you know, and then, you know, when you see, uh, uh, Star Sapphire, 
you know, on the Green Lantern, you can't go wrong with that. You know, yeah. I know I saw it. I saw a tweet uh, earlier or later this week, you know, somebody going, oh, you know, when I heard heard the eclipse, I had to get ready. And then he's holding up a, a purple gem going, you know, if you know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's funny. So, yeah, the... Yeah, no, it was a, uh, it was pretty crazy around here for the, for the eclipse because my area was uh, in the, in the full path mm -hmm. of the eclipse. So you had, you know, all the Airbnbs were booked up. You had, you know, hotels going for three and four hundred dollars a night, um, and then all kinds of stuff going downtown. And, uh, uh, but you know, it was good. I just hung out. I went over to my parents' house because they had a good good clean sight of line for it i've got to, i had too many trees in the way to 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 get a good look at it so uh but yeah it was interesting i mean just you know watching as the moon crosses in front of the sun it was uh uh kind of wild to wild to see yeah we watched it from our window um we were told it's going to be crazy it really wasn't but uh, we were told it was going to be crazy so we we're just like yeah okay uh, I'm just going to watch it right here, nice and quiet, quiet like. Um, I just, I don't trust myself being outside in an eclipse. Um, I would be like, what do they mean your eyes are going to burn out? Let me see. And, you know. <laughs> so, uh, no, nah, I was good where I was. And it lasted maybe two minutes of pure darkness. And I was like, yeah, yeah that seems a lot. I mean, people traveled for this. And it, I don't know, maybe... Um, I'm too jaded or something, but I was like, really? That's it? That's what you guys yeah. traveled for? All right. Well, I mean, the, the, the travel was for, you know, any any of the areas, you know, that were in the, the you know, the totality or the, the kind of the full the full path for it. Yeah. Um, we're, I yeah. think the totality here lasted over three minutes. So it was like three, three and a half. So, yeah, that's about right. That's and about was, right. Yeah, it, I mean, it, it was it was interesting because I mean, when it, you know, when it uh, completely covered the sun, I mean, it it got about 10, 15 degrees cooler. You you could you definitely yeah. noticed that when it went, you know, kind of dark, that it 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 cooled down fast. It was really amazing. And then, you know, uh, three minutes later, you know, it starts popping through. It was like, oh, it's warming warming back up. Uh, let's see. Did we have any interest here? Austin says F and J, the Fantastic Four. We were touting issue number two fifty seven, and J being the Green Lantern, and that is issue number one ninety two. Yeah. Well, and if you if you don't have it, E E is another John Byrne Fantastic Four two fifty there. Oh, that's an awesome one. Um, yeah. That is yeah, basically they, the the scrolls going crazy, huh? Yeah. Well, it, it, not not the. I don't think it's the scrolls. It's the um, gladiator. Oh no! It it turns out it's a. Uh, it, never mind. I'm spoiling. But yes. Yeah. Let's go with that. Yeah, you get you get guest stars though with a uh, Captain America, the X Men, Spidey. Okay, Everybody but, fighting. Good is stuff. there any love? Uh, my favorite Eclipse was Bonnie Tyler. Yeah, I like that one too. I like that one also. I yeah. prefer the green ones. Green Eclipse? Yeah. I'm just not getting that joke. I don't know. <laughs> uh, is that it? That's the... Uh, that's the... Uh... It's the Spearmints. Oh, okay. Um, All righty. So... It's been a while. Let's get the uh, one minute warning, and we got five dollars, and then we'll go to the. Uh, we'll do some big dogs. All right. That why the video was "Eclipse of the Heart" was a vampire song. Oh, okay. Mm. I, I didn't know it was a vampire song. And I've been hearing that song for what forty years now, so hmm, I did not know that. 
Alrighty, we got the one minute warning. Uh, only two books uh, of interest here. The not a, not a lot of love for the older Fantastic Four anymore. All right. Um, hmm. What can I do? What can I do? I need. I need some sales here, guys. This is not. What can I do to? Uh, I guess I gotta go. I got. I don't have a lot here. I just don't. Um, what can I put up? Because I don't like have big dogs tonight as far as comics are concerned. So I'm looking at my shelf and wondering what can I pull off my shelf here in hopes of uh, making some money. It's gonna be it's gonna be expensive, but hopefully you guys will be interested. We'll see. All right. Um, let's get the we got the one minute. Yeah, get the stop. Nobody's gonna buy these things here. Okay. All right. So we got the uh, Fantastic Four, and we got the Green Lantern. I'm worried as the uh, auction drying up. That's the big. That's the big worry here, because I have noticed the last uh, few. It just we haven't had a lot of people. Uh, we have a couple of people bidding, but and I was hoping it would actually grow. Um, you know, past the people we know. But that never happened. Okay, so we needed we got this. Huh. So now what I've been trying to do is there's some flea markets around here, and I've been trying to uh, and I've been trying to get into them. They're these uh, buy a booth kind of thing, and you put your stuff up there, they give you a code number. Mm -hmm. kind of yeah, I've been hoping I could, because if that is any kind of, you know, successful, then all right, it yeah, goes. Just, just make sure after you're done for the day, remember to bring, take all your posters with you. Ah, you remember that story. Thank you, sir. <laughs> uh, you, you, you remember the story about how my wife left... Uh, I had a Captain America and a Fantastic Four movie poster. The Fantastic Four being the uh, the Roger Corman one. And my wife left them. Okay, we got one, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so one of these isn't uh, isn't five dollars. It, it's marked. But uh, otherwise. Uh, let's see. For the top row, we've got issues number 608 and 609. This is the first appearance of Anarchy. And this is both issues of his opening story. All right. Um, for, i got to take the headphones off here. All right. There you go. I've been trying to pawn this uh, miniseries off with, with no success. But it's Ant-Man. It's issues number one through four. Very good storyline. Uh, this one is very much like uh, reading a Silver Age. Next up, we've got Grant Morrison and Mark Millar on uh, The Flash. There you go. And I don't think this this isn't New 52 Flash. This is uh, before all of the, um, the New 52 and all that. There we go. Next up... Uh, Book I forgot I had, but this is the Battle for the Three Dimensional Worlds. This is a Jack Kirby 3D book. It does come with glasses, so you can read it properly. Uh, now this is going to be ten dollars, but we have the Rawhide Kid, one through five. We did a reading of that, and it was a lot of fun. It is definitely a guilty pleasure kind of read. Next up, we have the Blue Foil variant of the Tenth. One half. This is the wizard one half. And then we have the Punisher, issue number one, from the Garth Ennis run. And then we have the Punisher, the prize. And this is a, uh, goodness gracious, double-sized. Uh, there's a, a prestige format is what they used to call it. All right. Next up, we have an uh, excellent story by Peter David, uh, Joe Fixit. This is issues number one and two. And finally, this was one of the giveaways last week. We got Batman number 66, volume three. Bidding begins at $5 each as soon as LK says go. All right. Now. Hmm. 
Okie dokes. Um, yeah, I'm wondering if I should do it, uh, like, uh, use some of the money tonight to do a drunk stream. Um, as it stands, like I said, we had 600. Uh, I'm, I'm responding to a lot of the comments I just got here. Um, as it stands, we got $600 ripped from us. So we're still playing catch up. Like, uh, and I wanted to try to expand on this and, and get new books. And I did something. That's uh, not stupid. I, I won a, uh, an auction. Um, and all told, it's going to be about $100 after the shipping and everything. Um, okay, then the phone bill, you know, got to pay, you know, got to pay the bills. So I was hoping to make around 200 250 and uh, we'll see. We'll see with the big dogs after this lot. See if you guys are interested in any of them. Um, and I do have a whole bunch of books coming up. So there you go. A lot of twos, a lot of threes. Um, and then a whole bunch of ones. All right. But there you are. And we'll see how this goes. But so far, uh, let's see. I got to tell you. Um, Go with the Garth Ennis Ant Man. I swear to gosh, that's that's awesome. The Flash was good around that time. Joe fix it. There's actually not the only book that I would say is bad is fun to freaking read, and that's the Rawhide Kid. I mean, that was a ridiculous freaking book. How about you? You have any pre uh, any preferences up here, up in that you would recommend? Uh, I mean, probably the the Punisher number one by Garth Ennis. I mean, that's uh, he he is a great writer for the Punisher. Um, you, you know, the Joe Fix It. I'm always the sucker for Peter David, and you know, this is you know going back to uh, you know areas he's tread before. Um, so that's solid. And I you know might give a flyer to the Batman sixty six. I I've heard good things about that. Yeah, I've them. read them, I, I, and they are a lot of fun. They really are. Um, I generally read the ones that are like Batman 66 meets Green Hornet, Batman 66 meets Wonder Woman 77. I've, I've read those. Um, but, yeah, they are a lot of fun. But let's see, 257, and it was Green Lantern 192 for Austin. Okay. And Glizzer puts five dollars on D. You know, I have a video game I was gonna uh try to sell. Uh, I was told it was worth about two hundred dollars or something like that. Maybe I should put that up for auction. <laughs> well, I I would probably wait till there's a few more folks that, that drop in because I you know yeah, that, I noticed there's not a lot of uh, there's not a lot of the usual suspects here, which is kind of sad. I mean, even if you guys can't bid, it's nice to you know have the views, and there's a lot more uh, than just the auction, you know, to support. Sharing is possibly the easiest and cheapest way to support the channel. Um, get it out beyond. The uh, beyond the shadow, yeah, yeah that would well, be really cool. Hmm. Um, boom, boom, boom. but right now I'm just kind of spitballing because I see, um, this is the way my mind works, you know. I'm like, okay, so we got a problem, how are we gonna solve it? Check out my hope. Oh, DJ revolves it, all right. We got Glenzer with a uh, five on D, which is the three dimensional Jack Kirby. Three dimensions of Jack Kirby. Mm -hmm. And Glenzer goes for five. All right, cool, cool, cool. Thank you. Uh, for you, if your wife uh, had uh, clean your mess lesson. Yeah. Um, and we're doing we're doing okay. It's just uh, I don't want her to have the burden. You know, we came up here. The only means of money is this auction, and she had a job at Walmart. Elizabeth didn't have it. She doesn't have a job yet. She's still looking. And um, so yeah, I didn't want Gail to 
have the full burden on her, you know, uh, and we've been doing very well. Um, we needed kitchen supplies and such. So I went out and uh, spent the last bit of my, I'm like on zero as far as the bank account's concerned. So it's like, okay, but uh, you know, we'll have an auction tomorrow. I always say uh, very optimistic. We'll have an auction tomorrow. Don't worry. Um, but yeah, I just don't want her to bear the burden of this, you know? Uh, she she has had to do that in the past. I've always had like gig economy jobs, even when I had a, oh, shoot, actually I'm negative 63. So uh, cents, not dollars, which of course, if that lasts by Monday, it's going to be $30. <laughs> but there you go. Okay. What came in? Something from PayPal? Oh, okay. I see what happened. I see what happened. All right. But uh, yeah, that's the situation. So, you know, hey, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm trying to remember what the game was, but it was a volume one, volume two, one of those like uh, epic sets that, that they were like, four or five discs things, um, star something or other, I think. But when I saw, um, when I showed it, everybody's like, holy shit, you know, that's a $200 game. I looked on eBay. Yeah, okay. So uh, I got to get that out there um, and put that on. All right, nobody's interested in these. So let me get these down, uh, except for Glenzer with the three dimension. Let me get these down. We'll get the next round up. All right. Um, don't bother with one minute warning. As it stands, I've just got to make it so, uh, uh, at the very least, if there's only going to be one or two books being sold, I've got to process these a lot quicker. All right. Get the books that people might be interested in in front of them. There we go. I might, I'm going to have to stop doing the giveaways. I tried to do the giveaways as a, uh, as a, in, uh, what you call it? Um, and starts with an I, I forgot the word incentive incentive, but unfortunately that's not going and it's just money going out. So, um, I think for a while, this will be the last of the giveaways. I just have to guys, um, cause it just raises the cost of the books on the day. All righty. So let's see next up. One, two, three. Are we on the no store on some three dollars? Okay. Now let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, kids, next up we've got Green Arrow number one. Uh, this is Josh Williamson from uh, last year. Excellent book, by the way. No, nope, stop chewing on the comics. Don't chew on the comics. Uh, then we have Batman, number 497. There we go. Modern Day Detective Comics. Uh, we have... Oh, some of these are Batman. There we go. Let me get these in the right order. Sorry about that, guys. 1080, 1081. There we go. And then we got the Batman. All right. Next. Oh, I'll keep those down. So we got some Batman, black and white. And that's volume uh, book three. And then we have Batman and Might Fall. Legends of the Dark Might special, it says. And then X-Men and Micronauts, number one. There you go. And uh, then we have Detective Comics, 1079 by Ram V. And here is 1080 and 1081. And next up, we have uh, Batman issue number 139. And this is from Chip Zdarsky. And we have Batman issue number 140. Bidding begins at $3 each as soon as LK says go. All righty. I think, I think that's the game, uh, Lunar. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds just about right. I'd support you on Ko-Fi Monthly to keep afloat. I... Certainly appreciate all of that. Uh, that would be very nice, as a matter of fact. Uh, also, commission videos. I am now working on two. I'm working on a wild dog one, and I am working on um, 
I'm working on uh, Cloak and Dagger. So I'm working on a wild dog. Uh, what is great about wild dog? And then I am working on Cloak and Dagger comic book origin. So that is actually one way that I would love uh, support for the channel. If you do a monthly, oh, by the way, that, I do have a new monthly uh, subscriber that puts them on the wheel. So uh, there you go. You get a free spot on the wheel if you are a $5 subscriber. And uh, there you go. That is kind of cool. That is kind of cool. Uh, just, you know, I know I don't have a lot uh, of, of subscribers there, but it is very nice when somebody does that. And uh, I, I really do appreciate if you uh, if you commission a video, it's um, it's letting me work for my money, and I appreciate that. There you go. Uh, let's see. Um, I got to tell you something. I, I have to be honest. I have no idea what's FGH and I about uh, and J about. I can tell you that the top row is filled with awesomeness. Even that that might fall, it's kind of crazy. It's a lot of fun. The black and whites have always been good. And the uh, and the X-Men Micronauts. Oh, wait, I was going to go to Big Dogs. I totally skipped them over those. So we'll do those after these. All right. And hopefully we have, uh, hopefully we have something going on. But I don't think so. You guys aren't interested in these, are you? And have I lost uh, Eric? Have I lost uh, Eric's Black Cat and LK? Uh, no, we're here. Uh, at least oh, I am. Um, you know, Black Cat kind of comes and goes. Nah, okay. I was just wondering. There's uh, I have nothing to talk about, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, uh, you've, yeah. been, you know, you've been doing a lot of stuff, so you've been away from, you know, the comic news and the in the pop culture culture news and stuff. I mean, I can, you know, I can tell you at least, you know, so far I've had the opportunity to check the first two episodes of Fallout. Um, out and enjoyed enjoyed both um, and for the most part the the audience uh, scores have been pretty positive on the show um, yeah you know again I think I think it was idiotic for Amazon to dump the entire series out at once um, huh. that you know that this is this is a series again where, evidently i guess whatever they saw they had no faith in it or, or whatever but i mean this is something that should have been once a week so that the audience could build and people could talk about it um i i think the fact that you know it's all out there it's gonna have you know it's spike it'll it'll grow some interest i think as people say hey you know you need to check this out but you're not gonna see the you're not gonna see the level of videos and things like that um out there because you know it, it's just you know the short window um you know I, I you just can't do that with you know these types of shows you, you should put them out weekly so they can build an audience um you know uh you know just the the binge format doesn't you know really doesn't work anymore in terms of you know building an audience i mean again look look at you know compare it to how you know, I'm going to give Disney credit here. Uh, X Men '97, um, one episode a week. People are talking about the episodes each week. Um, audiences, audiences building for it because it turns out, hey, guess what? This is actually good. Um, they haven't screwed around with it so far. Um, the the most recent episode, you know, massive roller coaster of emotions, and um, you know, the ending is something else um you know and that's that's the way to go uh, so, i'm yeah. not yet partaken of the uh, x-men yet yeah no well, uh, i i do want to i do want to check that out i just i just haven't pulled the trigger on it i'll tell you what i have watched that's in the uh cultural zeitgeist right now and that is uh civil war or at least i've watched half of it I'm uh, obviously, <laughs> I'm obviously not going to the theater for it, but not that I didn't want to. It's just, I was like, yeah, what's this thing about? Cause uh, maybe, uh, maybe Dalton and uh, LK and I could talk about it on the movie channel. You've, you've been on a couple of the movie channel things. So I kind of include you on that, but uh, 
I got to tell you, so far, not bad. Let me take these down. We'll get the next round up. Uh, I mean, at this point, I think I'm going to probably pass or wait for that to show up on streaming. I didn't really have much of an interest based on kind of the trailers I saw. It just, it, it looks, it looks dumb. It, it's, and it's not, um, Oh, like the one, um, uh, hunt movie, you know, where they, where they go to, where they hunt conservatives. Um, I forget what the name, I forget what the name of that movie was. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That, that turned out to be pretty interesting. And, and I, I was going to do big guys. It's actually yeah. the, okay. the oh, left a lot of bad guys of stuff here. Okay, kids. You guys see my hairy ass legs, I think, for a little bit here. Um, I don't have a lot of stuff with me. I haven't been able to order uh, big dogs or anything like that. So uh, let me do this. Let me offer this. Now, this is going to start at $100. Um, I have the Marvel Essentials. Here's Power Man. All right. And then uh, that's Volume 1. Here is Volume 2. All right. And then I have Iron Fist. I do believe there was only ever volume one. And this covers uh, Marvel Premiere 15 to 25, uh, Iron Fist 1 through 15, Marvel Team Up 63 and 64, and Power Man and Iron Fist 48 through 50. And it's issue number 50 that it becomes Power Man and Iron Fist. You get 50 through 72, 74 through 75. All right. These are not usually books that I'm very interested in uh, selling, but desperate times, desperate measures, and all that kind of crap. So we have uh, Rampaging Hulk, Volume 1. And here is Rampaging Hulk, Volume 2. That's going to be 50. Next up, we have uh, Moon Knight. This is uh, Moon Knight 1 through 10. Uh, let's see. His earliest appearances from Werewolf by Night, Marvel Spotlight, Spectacular Spider-Man, Hulk Magazine, and more is what it says right there. And then we have Moon Knight 11 through 30 in Volume 2. That set will be 50. Okay. Ah. Next up, starting at twenty five, we'll do showcase. This is volume one. This is pretty freaking big. Uh, let's see what do we got here. We've got uh, usually it has usually it has the uh, issue numbers and such. And literally, uh, I'm put off for offering these up because at this point I'm desperate. Showcase one through uh, do, 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 number twenty one. Okay, twenty five. Another twenty fiver is the Sea Devils. These are quite hard to come by, as a matter of fact, as far as these uh, phone books are. We've got Rip Hunter, Time Master. Uh, let's see, this is um, Showcase 20 through 21, 25 through 26, and 1 through 15 of his original series. Next up, we've got the Martian Manhunter. And this is, uh, I'm pretty sure from the tech Detective Comics, it doesn't say on the back. And then we got the Batgirl. Oh, these two would be 20, as well as the Batgirl. And uh, this one doesn't say either. So it's more the detective comics and the backstories and all that kind of stuff. And uh, let me see, what else do I have? Do, do, 
And uh, there we go. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I don't think I've actually got room for these, but uh, at 125. All right, I'm trying not to sit on my bird here. Let me put this. Can you see it up here with A? All right. Uh, let me see if I can't get this in. Hey, man, man, nope, nope, nope. Get away, get away. All right. Um, give me just a second, so guys. Sorry about this. Um, thought I was. Some of these are actually hard to find now. Um, so. Okay, four, five, there's six. It's number seven, eight and nine. And here we have uh, 10, 11, and 12. Good. Okay. Uh, here is issue number 12 of the JSA. It's, uh, well, volume 12. Uh, then we have volume number 11, uh, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and issue number one or volume number one of the Jeff Johns uh, Justice society this is the uh this would be the middle the second one um there you go ah okay and once again 125 uh if you need the prices or anything again uh ask uh bidding begins as soon as the case says go all right there you go all righty uh see if there's any uh any interest this is an act of desperation right here um that being said, uh, look, I need to get this business back on a paying basis, and sometimes you got to spend uh, to do. There you go. See if there's any any uh, any support here. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. You don't have to. Don't have to yell. Don't have to yell. Uh, let's see. Key phrase so far. Got, I need more than X Men to make me want to renew my Disney Plus membership. To me, it's all about the classics. That that's the reason why I've stuck with them. But it's getting so expensive. I I don't think I'm going to anymore. Um, everything. I mean, yeah, I could pirate. I'm going. I'm buying all my physical media back. And I just uh, uh, one good thing about Muncie is they've got a store where a couple of guys have just been going around buying up movie collections. So yeah, 125 there, Eric and Boyd. It is the entire storyline. It's all, all 12 volumes. So it's, uh, there's, there are a couple of them that are going to be, if you buy them individually, especially when you consider sh uh, shipping. Yeah, but roundabout 125. Obviously these would be going, uh, something like this and this would be going in their own boxes, and I'll ship them to you media to keep the uh, to keep the cost down. That's just the best way to do it. Yeah. Thankfully, you can send these media because there's no advertisements. That's one of the things that keeps uh, comic books from being legal uh, legally sent media. But there you go. Um, let's see, starting at the top, Sea Devils is, uh, 25, Batgirl 20, The Rampaging Hulk and The Moon Knight 50 each, uh, Martian Manhunter 20, on the bottom, 125 for the JSA, 
a hundred for the uh, Power Man and Iron Fist and uh, Showcase Twenty Five, as well as uh, the Time Master Rip Hunter. There we go. I don't have the computer power to sell live seas. <laughs> yeah, uh, but there you go. Let's see anything else I've got up there. Um, like I said, uh, these are these would be. Nobody's biting, so the tablet still works. Hmm. How about you? What what would you be interested? Uh, nope, I've lost both my co-stars here. All righty. <laughs> no, still here. Um, showcase. It's the uh, it's the original issues. That's why they're highlighting the Flash. Uh, actually, the big story behind Showcase is uh, Weisinger did want to do a. Um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, not a compilation, but you know, different stories, every issue to highlight new characters. And uh, people are saying, Hey, you should bring back uh, this character, that character, you know, the superheroes from the golden age. And he said, no, I've, I'm, I, I've got this story for a firefighter. He actually thought that was going to be the, the big new thing, you know, not Westerns, not uh, spacemen, but firefighters. And that's why you have that story for the first one, of course, by four. Um, there you go. Uh, you had the Flash. Okay, well, let's see. 1037, it's 1041. We spent four minutes looking at these uh, the books here. It's, uh, it's, it's a no. All righty, uh, let's move on then. Where is darkness when you need him? Oh, I don't want to put these back on the shelf immediately. Let me pull up one of the boxes here. Okay. Hey, uh, I remember this. This is like packing the move. Yep. Well, where can I? It goes in the reset box. Okay, Austin, no worries. Uh, thanks for hanging out, and uh, you have a good night. There you go. Okay, uh, let's see. What is next? All right, let's go back to the $3. This is the last of the $3 books. All right. And uh, let's see. First up, we've got Fables, The Last Castle. There you go. Really good story there. And we have four, issue number six, the Thanos variant by Donnie Cates. Then we have, uh, I didn't know this happened, but this actually existed. It's uh, Robert Kirkman and Mark Silvestri. It's called Pilot Season. This is a uh, variant cover of it. There you go. Actually, it was hard to find when I was looking that up. Next up, we have um, issues number one and two of Hardware. And finally, we have Generation X one half. There you go. And then we have Secret Origins, number 46. We have Luke Cage, number 13. Flash Comics, number 22. This is part of the uh, button storyline. This is Josh Williamson Flash. And then Stargirl, number one of the Lost Children. Did I not put up a... No, I guess I didn't. Okay. I didn't have another $3 book. There we go. Um, Hold on just a sec. I got some over here. Might as well give a shot to one, right? Here we have uh, She-Hulk number 10. There we go. 
Bidding begins as soon as LK says go. All right. Well, you have a good day, Dark Admiral. Have fun. Take care. Are we getting to that? No, it's only 1044. Here we go. All right. Uh, let's see what's going on, uh, kids. What, what is happening in the world of everything? So, yeah, I'm, I'm looking around. I'm not seeing a lot of uh, stories or anything. Like, nothing is going on. It's I even saw, uh, what's his name? Wes had to make some shit up to do a video today. Depends. Are you blocked by Tom Taylor or not? I am blocked by Tom Taylor. Thank you very much. Ah, lovely. He has been getting some threats. Well he's, well, he's overreacting to some people saying, like, they, Tom Taylor needs to go away. Tom Taylor needs to, you know. Go but is he counting those threats? Is, is that what the threats are? Like, somebody's like, uh, you need to go away? By go away, I mean go to where Breen goes. Uh, okay. And after or, uh... life. Okay, so we got three on the Flash Comics by Jim Sorensen. And then today he reacted to a couple of like weirdos posting images of his. They just took a picture of him and burnt it, and he's reacting to that. I would too. I mean, that is kind of sick. Yeah, and so basically now all the comic creators are backing him up. I, no, on this one, I've got I got a side with him, man. I mean, I don't like the guy's writing, but freaking hell! I mean, what is your what is your point of showing somebody a picture of you being burnt? Uh, other than we are trying to scare you, we're trying to threaten you. No, they they didn't directly like show it to him. Basically, they posted it, and he saw it. Yeah, well, you know what? I'm gonna still call it that. You know, it just. I don't yeah, know, they, they they are being pissy about the fact that Barbara is still bad girl and not Oracle. Oh dear lord! Like they are crying, no, where's our representation and blah 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 since twenty eleven, and they are getting worse and worse. Yeah. Well, that's the crowd they cultivated. Yeah. If you give, you gave in a little bit and now they've got to, and they say the same, they say that about us. Like, oh, well, if we give them an inch, you'll t well, they'll take them off. We can't, you know, they're evil people, but we're, we have not, we have not shown ourselves to be the evil people. There's no point to the violence these people bring up. It just doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. All righty. Let us, uh, it's been uh, it's been three minutes since the last one. Let's get the one minute warning. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, let's see, but I don't give Tom. Yeah, Tom is a douchebag. Let's not mince words on that one. But come on, there's no sense in threatening. It, it just doesn't make sense. Is it was it Tom King or Tom Taylor that was getting all the? He Taylor. says he said Tom Tom yeah. Taylor. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, they also hate Tom King because he was in the CIA and he helped with the Iraq invasion. They're just yeah. <laughs> You know, hey, uh, congratulations. You know, you, you guys are the ones that uh, brought the wolves into the hen house. Uh, you shouldn't be surprised when they start to devour you. So, you know. Oh, um, I, I just got a ding. Uh, and uh, thank you very much. Uh, Austin paid for the books. Thank you very much for that. And uh, to, uh, I don't know if I'm supposed to read off these kind of things, but thank you very much to Oz Hero. Uh, very nice of you. Thank you. Um, I appreciate it. 
I do. Uh, I do try to make it so I work for my money and everything. If you have a video or anything you want, uh, uh, just let me know. I'll, I'll get to work on it. Um, but I do appreciate uh, I do appreciate the gifts. It was very nice. All right, uh, let's get the uh, let's get the stop. Like I said, we're, we're we've got a lot of books here, and I've got a lot of books to go through. I just uh, I made a bunch of col like you know I always put them in like ten issue things here so they fit on the on the lots, and I just made way too many. So uh, I'm thinking if something isn't resonating, Jim has the Flash comics. Let's just move through it and uh, move on. Maybe there will be something. Or, and I'll do this. If you see a book, if you go go and go, even go to the pa uh, to uh, past lots, make me an offer. That's where I'm standing right now. I have negative sixty three cents in the uh, bank account. I cannot have that. I can't. Uh, I can't be a burden to Yale. So by all means. All righty. Uh, let's da, 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 da. But if you see something, you're like, you know, how about this for this book or something? You know, don't insult me, please. But, uh, yeah, I'm willing to entertain offers. Okay, let's go back to $2 books. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, kids, next up, do I have these in... No, I do not. 129, 148. And uh, 81. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4. We got 157. Okay. 183. 182. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, kids. Uh, next up, we have Battlestar Galactica. By the way, you want to know how awesome Gale is? I told her we didn't have internet, so we're going to have to watch some DVDs. You, you want to watch a movie? You want to watch a TV show? And she says, yeah, put on Battlestar Galactica. Yeah, that's that's hot. That's, that's hot right there. So we've been uh, revisiting the Battlestar Galactica. Not this version. It, it was the newer, the 2000 one. But still, I, I actually like the 2000 one better. Uh, here is Doctor Strange number um Number 45 from the 1970s. Next up, we have Iron Man, number 183. I'm surprised a lot of the uh, the race hustlers haven't gone after that cover. And here we have issue number 292. Next up, we have issue number 81. War of the Mind Dragon with Firebrand. Actually, I always like the look of Firebrand. We've got the Blood Brothers kicking Iron Man's ass in issue at number 88. And then we have the Dreadnought in issue number 129. And then we have, uh, well, this just says uh, innocent lives are at stake when Stark International is Central America's plant under siege. That's issue number 148. And then finally, we have issue number 157 with Spores. Bidding begins at $2 each as soon as LK says go. All right. Tom King, Tom Taylor are both smart. Yeah, they are. That was my foot. You don't have to yank about my foot. Uh, pistachio, whenever he doesn't like something, he goes, Rank. and uh, my foot rubbed up against the snow, and he made that noise. Rank. Rank. All right, some good Bronze Age Iron Man, some good Bronze Age Dark, uh, Doctor Strange, some Battlestar Galactica. Hey, guys, it's Universal's Star Wars. Got to check that out. Did you watch the uh, Battlestar Galactica show? Oh, yeah, back, you know, both the, I mean, the original and then the sci-fi, you know, follow-up. Um, yeah, yeah, you know, the first, the first two plus seasons, I think are really good. Um, then it sort of bogs down a little bit when, you know, suddenly it seems like every other week, somebody new is 
is coming out as a Cylon. It just gets a little weird. It gets old. Uh, um, they, yeah. And then, I, I do uh, I do admit that. Uh, well, actually, I don't know if it got old, but it, I do know where, which is I have seen it before. But when they do the big reveal of like a whole bunch of people, it's like, okay, so half the cast were Cylons? Yeah. And it's like, wait a second. These guys were tested, by the way. And you're telling me that they weren't like immediately they found uh, Sharon with that ball with Baltar's uh, Cylon testing kit. And you're telling me that all of these main characters, it's not that they were all Cylons. They were all tested because uh, Rosalind and, um, and Adama both said the people in high position should go first. So these people who were discovered should have been some of the first people tested and found out to be Cylons at the end. Yeah, and then the the series finale was the at least I, I didn't like it. I know some people did, but I, I thought it was dumb. Hmm. My first time seeing it, I did not mind it. So I'm curious, curious how I'll go about it to, uh, this time. The most insane thing I saw was when someone uh, the court of owls was anti-Semitic. Say what? <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing you meant to say that someone said the court of owls was yeah no no i know i know uh that and um but uh i'm just like i i try to make the connection you know okay let's see where their argument is where 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 is their rich argument people are controlling from? everything but are they rich jewish people they could be yeah, see, that's you got to do that addition in order for your theory to make sense, you know. Um, and that's one of those on you sort of things. It's like when uh, Trump says something and they CNN will go, "What he really meant was no, he said what he meant." That's Trump's character. Trump is not somebody who keeps his opinions low key. Uh, you added the extra. You added the what he meant was. You know, it just doesn't make sense otherwise. You're doing this yourself. But, um, yeah, I, I don't, ah, okay. All, all rich people are Jewish. All rich Gothamites are Jewish. The only, the only Goyan rich person in the entirety of Gotham was, uh, was Tom, Thomas and Martha Wayne, I guess that's the message there? Uh, no, Don, uh, Martha Wayne's Jewish. Well, her too then. <laughs> I don't know. What's, like, what's, the, uh, what's the real message you're sending by having that particular opin opinion? That is, yeah, I think that's a very bad take there, Undead. I don't know. That just, that's just kind of weird. Yeah, basically, uh, Bad Woman is seen, shown to be Jewish, so that means her whole family, including her Aunt Martha, are all Jewish. Uh, yeah, well, that's generally how it's worked for a long time. My, what I think is something, and this, this definitely, this happened with me. Um, when I was a kid, my mother was raised very Christian. And she had passed along to us very Christian ideals. My mom does not believe in God anymore. I think my dad, my dad convinced her that it was all a bunch of bunk. And here I am, I'm raised, you know, you never take the Christ out of Christmas. Never take, the, you know, that's, that's just how I was raised. Um, and now I'm dealing with like, okay, you know, I do believe in a, a divine power. I do. I'm more Buddhist these days because I believe in the self more. But it, there is no central uh, figure. I mean, you do have Buddha, but you're not supposed to worship him as a lord, although I've heard people call him Lord Buddha. And I'm like, wait a second, aren't you kind of missing the point here? But um, it's kind of funny when you are the person who has more faith and belief than the others in your family, especially when we Others in the family, some of them were responsible for your faith and belief. Oh, okay. <laughs> but that's my take on it anyway. Um, there you go.
<laughs> All right. Uh, let me get these down. Nobody's interested in these. So we'll move on. I've actually tried to pawn these Iron Man off. Um, another dead title. Uh, Iron Man used to, there used to be some excitement, and then it hit the wall. Like, I, it's just, I don't know uh, which, like, uh, uh, barring, of course, issue number one and, you know, the first appearance and all that kind of stuff. But it's just weird. It's weird to me when, when that kind of thing happens. I get it if it's like uh, the new Teen Titans, because the new Teen Titans, you only have 40 issues. If I have them here so often, especially the issues that I've had, it's like, okay, everybody who wanted one got one. But it is kind of funny to me how certain titles will be going well and then just hit the wall. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Speaking of Titan Teen Titans, eight, nine, and ten. All right, kids. Next up, I do recommend this uh, this mini series. I'm going to pop up here first. It is missing the first issue, but it is so good. And we're going to start it off at two dollars. But here's the prisoner. This is uh, the second issue. And then we have uh, the third issue and issue number four. As you can see, they're actually marked uh, B, C, and D. Um, I am trying to find A. But uh, once again, if I get it from eBay to fill it up, it's going to raise the price because it's not just, oh, you found it for a buck. You found it for a buck and plus $6 shipping, so you found it for 7 Here, Oh, this is Queen of the Dams from Innovation back in the 90s. That's issue number one. Next up, oh, no, I should put something different. Uh, let's go with uh, Moon Knight number one. This is uh, Moon Knight High, High, Str High Strangers by Doug Minch and Texira. That's issue number one. Uh, then we have Pokemon, I Choose You. This is a free comic book day. For, I believe this is from the 2000s. But we also have The Wizard's Guide to... Pokemon, you got to catch them all. And it really is kind of like a who's who of Pokemon. Next up, we have issue number 11 of the new Teen Titans. And we have issue number 12. Now, these two issues do make up one story. And we have issue number 36. Got a hush there, boy. Bidding begins at $2 each as soon as LK says go. All right. And it does like each and I does star, star one of my favorite Titans. Say again. Each and I does star my second favorite Titan because Nightwing is my favorite character. Like number two and the two number two is basically the one starring in each and I. Eleven and twelve. Yeah. Um, those are primarily a Donna Troy story. Yes. Okay. Did you say Nightwing or did I miss something? Yeah, basically, like it has been established that Nightwing is my favorite character. So, okay. Donna would be number two. Oh, Donna was okay. I missed that part. I was wondering, okay, I missed something here, but <laughs> that was the part I was missing. There you go. Yeah, I've always liked Donna Troy. Uh, when I talked to George Perez, I actually, a lot of my questions were centered around her. Um, I think she was really given a character with this book, not just these two books, but uh, she was really given a character with those, with, with the New Teen Titans comic. Yeah, basically, I think uh, Raven used to be my favorite because of the original coming of Trump. Galactus, not Galactus, uh, Trigon, Terror of Trigon story. Yeah. But then she just got boring later. <laughs> yeah. Also, if you're reading the original, like, take a drink every time Raven me mentions the fact that she's a telepath. Sorry, an empath. Yeah, she does say that a lot in the old, um, yeah. She does say that a lot. Yeah, it comes to the point of uh, Supergirl sister. All right. Oh, yeah, with the uh, I'm gay thing. Yeah. Yeah, she does say that a lot, too. <laughs> All right, we got $2 on... Uh, okay, never mind. 
<laughs> Jim was like, hey, I can, no. <laughs> All righty. So, uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, I'm. That's uh, the people you join, Tom King or Tom Taylor. They're both smart. Yeah, we're still on, on that. So, oh, and we have dropped a lot of people viewing. So, okay. So, you know what? Let's uh, let's just call an end to it. We'll, we'll make this the last slide. It's just, uh, here we go. All right. Let me get those over there. So, it is just as it is today. Okay. So there we go, because we've lost a lot of viewers on this one. Um, all righty, it is what it is. We got stop. Uh, Jim didn't order. Did. Nobody had anything. So let's go. All righty. So let's see. What do I have here? Um, let's. You know what? Okay, I'll do this. Let's remove the letters, and this is how we're going to do it since we've lost a whole bunch of, uh, we've just lost a whole bunch of viewers here. We're down to six. It's kind of sad. I mean, this, all right. Um, get rid of that. Okay, this is what, what was left. All right. I'm gonna move that over here. Uh, once again, I'm gonna honor uh, today's I'm going to honor today's uh, giveaway. I can't afford to do it. Uh, and if, this might actually be just marking the end of the auctions. Um, hence, in all honesty, the end of the channel. But uh, let's see. I try. You know, you give, you give it your you give it your best. You know, you you do something, and uh, for a while it's good. I fucked around. I found out. It just took me three or four or five, four years to find out, you know, I went against, uh, I went, I went against the Caesar and, uh, his soldiers knocked me the fuck out. So what you going to do? All right. So here's what's going to happen. Uh, this, these are the last of the $2 books. Um, it was going to be Batman issue number four or three. If, if you see something you like, just say something. And, uh, there you go, because we're basically an hour earlier than we normally quit anyway. Okay, we got Batman number 403. We have Batman number 411. X-Men Chronicles numbers 1 and 2. We've got uh, the Wizard Zero. Nine Rings of Wu-Tang. Next up, we have... Uh, this is the comic book, uh, comic convention cover of something called Tracker. There we are. Next up, we have Thunderbolts, Wizard Zero, number zero. There we go. Uh, this one, it, The Mighty Have Fallen, it's uh, typical comics and stories. Then we have Tarzan, Lord of the Jungle, issue number 16. If you see something you like, just say it in the... Uh, and it'll be kind of like a claim auction. Just go through. Uh, next up, we have Free Comic Book Day, Star Wars Tales, a Jedi's Weapon. Um, boom, boom, boom. What is this? this uh, there we go. And then we have Free Comic Book Day, Slave Labor Story, starring Milk and Cheese. And that was uh, going to be the last of the $2 books. Okay. Next up. Uh, do, 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 do. There we go. Uh, whoops, I just and deleted the comments. There we go. Uh, here we are. Uh, so uh, Jim Swarson Jim. says he'll take both Batmans. All right, let me write them down on your page here. Do, do, do. Yeah, if you see something you like, if you saw something in the past, in, in past lots you want to check out, uh, just ask. You know, make an offer. There we go. Uh, let's see. Both Batmans, and that was... Uh, oh, there they are. I sent them down over in a different place. 
Um, also, guys, if you don't mind, go on over to Ko-Fi, uh, drop a dollar in the till, commission a video. Yeah, put me to work. Put me to work for you. Um, let's see, issues number 403 and 411. Uh, and also, if you do start a uh, channel, go the fuck along. That's one thing. Um, let's see. 235. Right here. Okay. Do not rock the goddamn boat. All righty. Uh, anything else? No? Okay. These are going to be uh, $1 books. Uh, next up, we have uh, Fantastic Four X-Men, issue number three. And then we have issue number four. Next up, we have Fantastic Four, number 355. We have uh, the 1998 annual. Stop biting my head there, birdie. Uh, we have issue number 391. And we have Fantastic Four. This is, I guess, the uh, kid-friendly one. It's issue number 10. Issue number 13. And then from the Mark Wade run and the Warango art, we have uh, issue number uh, 67. Hey, Amy, how you doing? Okay, and then we have... Uh, Fantastic Four number one. This is the remix thing. So. Yep. And uh, Fantastic Four annual number 26. There you go. All right. Um, let's see. Next up. If you guys see something, say something. Um. We're fine. Uh, we've got flooding in the basement. Other than that, this is uh, it's good. I'm we're um, trying to get on our feet still. Like I said, we lost six hundred dollars. Uh, we're just trying to make it back. Um, there you go. Fantastic Four X Men number four to Jim. Okay. All right. Let me put that in the box there and right here. But uh, let's see, FF X Men. That's part of the dollars. Fuck beans. All right. Next up, uh, let's see. Once again, if you see something, just say something. Um, we got uh, Detective Comics Annual Number Two. And then we've got, that's ah, okay. I wanted to put stuff down there. I eventually wanted to do the show from there, but, uh, you know, what's going to do? It is what it is. Here we have Detective Comics 610. We're closing for the night, though, because there just was, there, uh, God bless Jim. He's He's got it. Um, I the, the auctions may be done. I can't do the giveaways anymore. Um, it is just... Can't do it, Barb. You're freaking biting my head. Okay. Yeah. All right. The uh, auctions, unfortunately, have come become unattainable. Um, I have, uh, unfortunately, I thought that was going to, because the hotel ones actually didn't do bad, um, but they're not anymore. So uh, I don't know what's going to happen from here. I'm trying to think as I'm, and in this part of, I think this is part of the problem tonight, because I've got a uh, negative in the bank account. Uh, not anymore. Thank you very much to uh, to Undead um, for putting uh, $5 in, and I, I was able to, to do that. Um, but I just it, it got hit because also uh, they, they're sending cards, and it's got to go through Florida. But I just don't know, guys. Uh, here we go, uh, Detective 607. Come here. Come here. Uh, no. Come here. No. Uh, no. 
come here. Okay, now on the shoulder. That's fine, not on the head. Okay, next up we have issue number 602. Uh, he's He picks, right, right? I get, he just, he crapped on my head. No, he's, he stands on the thing, but then he's picking out the hairs. Uh, and uh, what ends up happening is he's actually hitting the head. Uh, okay, so next we have Batman number 668. And then we have Batman number 728, part of the No Man's Land. Then we have Detective Comics 988, James Robinson. Next up, we have issue number 676 of Detective. And then 677. And Batman number 499. All right. Um yeah, I need to do something uh, here. I actually, I, I thought I would do better, so I ordered some books because I know I need to get some new stuff in, and it didn't work out. It just did not work out tonight. Uh, God bless uh, Jim, and uh, he's the main. Uh, Austin uh, ordered some stuff, uh, but we we had four bidders. Um, this right here. Um, represents the books that were one. I literally could pick them up with one hand. So not for long. Yeah. So it just didn't work out today. And uh, now I'm in a free fall because it's not just this, but I lost my bank account because they they changed the, uh, the card on me. I lost my phone because in three days they're going to try to get money from me to renew. Um, this is what I'm thinking about. And there's no other topic to talk about. <laughs> there's just none. Uh, so I'm, I'm actually, I'm actually, uh, uh, spiraling right now, right in front of you guys. There you go. Uh, let's see. No, uh, okay. Detective, uh, 602 from Joe Mark. Uh, let's see. Uh, I think instead of auctions, I'm just going to go back to normal live streams. We're going to talk about stuff. I'm going to have to go negative too, guys. Uh, I know I get a lot of this. I get a lot of people saying, um, look, this is where we go for uh, reprieve from all of that. But the truth is, is you guys are going over and, and watching those kind of videos anyway. I'm just the one that doesn't get the views because I talk about comics. I want look, look at this. Look at serious. Um, let's see. Let me, let me, let me pull something up for you. I love talking about comics. I really do. But in all honesty, when it comes right up down to it, you cannot, you just cannot have a comic book channel that talks straight up about the books. And, um, I think those are already taken. You know, um, no. and it could be because of uh, how I started. I started as a drama channel. You know, uh, I think uh, part of the reason why I lost is because uh, I, I don't want to be a drama channel anymore. Here you go. Like I said, I'm, I apologize for tonight. Um, we got 157. We got 262 for the goal. And God bless you guys. Thank you very much for making the Canadian superhero videos modern day successful because the rest of them 82 84 82 those are horrible numbers not uh, about and then okay one for 180 over 100 that's still bad for for 18,000 or 2,000 subs even but 48 33 i mean the fuck is that all about that is like why uh it just it, the videos don't do it now look at this uh I'll make sure that this is uh, Bangman, if you want to jump on and talk about something, that's fine. Uh, please come on. Let's let's talk about something. Um, let's see where where is I? Where was I? I gotta find the uh, gotta find it. Here we go. Uh, but then I, I switch over and you go live, right? And by the way, I didn't even monetize this uh, video. You look at the Ed Pisker stuff. Five forty-seven last night, and then three thousand. 2,500 for the last one. 
You know, whenever uh, if we go controversial, if we talk about the the or what it's called clout chasing, we get there's views and, and the views equals. Uh, and, and this has always been the, the way I've been trying to make a living here. So there we go. Um, anywho, uh, bird crap on your head, behind the head, phone bit. Oh, actually, uh, he sits right here. Um, and he'll scratch. I got the dandruff, but no, he didn't. Yes, he did. <laughs> you were trying to warn me. <laughs> there you go. Um, thank you. I got, I got off there. Give it time here between moving. Uh, let's hope. Let's hope. Uh, but it's not, it's not about, um, it's not even about that. Did who, who got a notification for this? Did anybody get a notification? You know, uh, it's uh, it's rough. It's rough. Okay. Um, I got you down for that. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All righty. Still at the dollars. We've got X Force number eighty-four. And we've got the flashback X Force. And here is annual number one. And we have annual number two. And we have, oh, and annual number two comes with a, a card, apparently. So, what happened? Okay. Uh, he's here doing stuff. Uh, here is Thor annual number 18, and we have Thor number 244. Hold on. And we have Thor number uh, 421, and uh, Mighty Thor number 7, and the Mighty Thor number 62, oh, it's Jerkis, and right? Mighty Thor issue number 61. Uh, if you see anything you like, by all means, um, there you go. That's Dan Jerkins on Thor. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, if you see something, just say something. Um, but there you go. Yeah, I got I got a notification. Um, I know glinzer has been having problems with, with with mine getting notifications. So the only way he gets notifications is because he follows me on Twitch. So yeah. I, when I stream, usually I, I broadcast to Twitch. Um, so he gets notifications on Twitch. So he's always watching on Twitch sometimes. <laughs> And they switch over to YouTube as well. And I'm like, who's the one person that's always watching on Twitch but never comments? And I, and I go in there, it's like, it just says, I'm by myself. So, <laughs> it's, it's weird. So, yeah, YouTube even affects me, though. EVS is just comic book Springer with a hundred, you know, thousands of views. I used to get, I used to get thousands of views. And I fucked around. Everybody was supposed to bend the fucking knee to EVS. The war campaign shadow banned me. I actually got hit because uh, I talked about, um, at, at one point in time, I talked about the over-sexualization of the Iron Fist because there was a big crotch shot on the cover of this uh, female virgin, and they hit me for that. Yeah. The and um, I got hit again recently with Ed Pisker. The Ed Pisk? The, we, we got it. You got a strike? Uh, I, I got complaints, yeah. Oh. From YouTube? I got, yeah, from YouTube. Well, because I, I, I because I, I said suicide. You're not supposed to say the word suicide. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I, my, my friend Jigs got in trouble for, for talking about Ed Pisker. That's why he's not talking about it on his channel. And he's like, yeah, because he's, uh, he's, you, he's get flat, you get people, people are pissed. Because I talked about Ed Pisker and I didn't say he was a saint. Yeah. You know, fuck it. You know what? I, I got to tell you something. Not a big fan of his art. Okay? I don't know Ed Pisker. Was it bad what the other people did? Yeah, but the fucker took his own life. And it's pissing me off that people are flagging because they read a fucking title. I got it again. I got it a fucking again. Two seconds into my last video where I talked about it. Two seconds. I said, you are a fucking moron for talking about only a title. Seriously, I, I, I did. And I, the, I got two comments on it. One of them was some guy fucking commenting only on He didn't watch the video. He's just talking about the fucking title. All right. 
a lot of people, a lot of people just see your thumbnails too, and they uh, they will not like the, their first one. You did oh, the groomer yeah. pile. Yeah, I thought that was fun. Yeah. So, like I said. Oh, well, then, yeah, and that's the thing. They comment. They don't listen to the video. They don't watch no, the video. No. I'm making fun. For fuck's sake, the last video was called I Killed Ed Pisker. Guess what? I didn't. But that's what people are saying about me, so why put that as the title? So, anyway, thank you very much to Amy. Uh, right now, I'm just kind of, I'm just, I'm stressed. And the bird ain't oh, And you had poop <laughs> behind your headband. Oh, I, I got rid of it. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I got to go wash my hands. Shoe bird, get out of there. He's he's being a pain in the ass. And, I put him uh, downstairs in his cage. I he's upstairs. Uh, he's upstairs now, but yeah. Uh, Spanner Galaxy. Put him on a little raft and put him in. I was actually place. telling people, hey, you should try something new. Thank you, Amy. Spanner Galaxy, number one. Uh, Coney and Giant size number ten. And. Uh, what was the other one? Uh, Star Hunter. So yeah, I'm kind of stressed. I thought you know the the hotel uh, auctions did better than tonight, and I thought okay, well even if I only make 150 to 200 dollars like the last two hotel auctions, I will at least be able to buy a new box of comics for next week. I'm writing on old shit right now, and. Um, this week is going to be rough. That's all. I don't mind eating ramens and chicken and stuff like that, you know, to, to fill that out. It's just that uh, it's kind of, you know, you got to make money to spend. And if I don't have the money, then, you know, you can't move forward. Um, there you go. I'm trying to get into a couple of businesses around here. They're like flea marks. No love for the Thors. Huh? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. All right. Uh, let's see. Next up, we have Warlock number one. And we have issue number 12. And issue number 23. This one looked fun and interesting to me. I remember it from back in the day, but it's Wolfpack, issue number one. There you go. Uh, Wildcats, number one. Warlord, number two. We have War, book one. Hawk and Dove, annual number one. Hawk and Dove, number nine. And Hawk and Dove, number 24. There we go. That's the next slot. And this is, a, this is more of a clay mesh it, uh, part of the auction. Uh, if you see something, just say something. If you see something in the past, uh, if you see something and you're thinking, yeah, I like that, but maybe a little less, make an offer. Um, make an offer. I need $200. I was thinking maybe doing, uh, I'll go out and buy a bottle of booze. We'll do a drunk stream, but I need $200. My big, uh, big dogs tonight were the Marvel Essentials. I've got uh, Moon Knight number one and two, run of 50. I'll do 40. Uh, Gail, God bless her. She's the only one making money. And uh, who's, on the, who's on the floor behind you? Nobody. Oh, I thought before you would go on a camera, I thought I saw someone sit behind you. No, those yeah. are comments. Because <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, saw, I saw like, is this just someone helping him? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Not a uh, chance. See, uh, Manhunter, Martian Manhunter, uh, starting at 20. Somebody mentioned Sea Devils. That was a 25. Um, these, are, these are really cool. Uh, the Rampaging Hulks. That's going to be 50. Um, let's see. We had the Batgirl, which uh, was starting at 20. Uh, Power Man and Iron Fist. We have uh, Power Man Volume 1, Volume 2. Iron Fist Volume 1. I don't think there was a Volume 2. Uh, then we have Power Man and Iron Fist um, Volume 1. There was no Volume 2. So it's four books, $100. Um, and then there was the Showcase for 25 the Rip Hunter for 25 the Sea Devils for $25. What am I, what am I missing? 
Oh, and the JSA, the complete run of JSA, all all twelve volumes for one hundred and twenty-five. <laughs> and then Glenn's like, he said, I, "I've been thinking that too." You see something, say something. That's a TSA slogan. All the TSA. <laughs> That's more. Like hey, uh, you know it works here too. So there you go. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, let's see. No love for. Uh, I sent my payment along with a postage. Job. Thank you. Say thank you, Jim. Yeah, I've got, um, I definitely think I got a small box full of books for you, at the very least. I appreciate it. Uh, let's see. Next up. We had, uh, this might not be in order, Classic X-Men number 39. We have Classic X-Men number 14. Number 24, number 27, number 31, number 32, number 44, we have number 45, 46, 51, and then X-Men Micronauts, issue number three and four. I also have uh, issue number one. So I'll put, if you want to get three and four, I'll put uh, one as a dollar as well, if you wanted to get that one too. All right. Okay, we got Glenzer with the Sea Devils at 25. Okay. Oh, um, let's say for 50 each, I do have, it's in storage, so you gotta, you know, gotta take my word for this. I have uh, Superman Omnibus Golden, Superman Golden Age Omnibus 3 and 4. Oh, nice. So, I would do 50 each on those. Actually, I would do 50 each individually if you buy both. Let's go uh, 8. Which ones are the, is there a four, volumes four and five? Uh, three and four is what I, three and four. What do those collect? Those I would collect? have to look them up. <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't have that information right at the, uh, the top of my head there, but uh, let's see. You have very little on there. That is true. That is, that is true, sir. Mostly just bird crap. Yeah. Um, but it looks like hair sometimes. So uh, not very often. More like a mole. Mole, mole, mole. Mole, 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 mole. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Um, uh, action Comics 48 through 65, Superman 16 through 24, World's Finest 6 through 10 on number three. And uh, let's see, do, 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 uh, Action Comics 68, 66 through 85, Superman 25 through 33, World's Finest 11 through 18 um, on number four. And I'm going to say uh, $40 each or 70 together. There you go for, for those. All right. Hey, Jay, what's up? What's well, everybody showing up now? <laughs> He's saying this is so weird because you're on screen and in, in, in the way you're holding the books up, it's like, um, like the, basically all the other YouTubers are doing like. Well, that's not the way I was doing it. This is the I, way I, 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 I know. I know. You know. I'm saying you you were doing it before. Now you switched to like a, it's a claim auction. See it? Well, well, yeah, because there was. I'm, I was gonna go through them quick because nobody yeah. was bidding on anything. Yeah. Uh, LK wasn't talking to me anymore. Evil Black Cat wasn't talking to me, so it was a, it, the oh. the entire thing was dead. It looks like LK I mean, like, I had nowhere to go, so let's just end it. No, uh, God bless Jim. He was the only bidder. Um, so it was like uh, this LK, is, LK this is uh, the worst. Black Cat, why do you want to stream if you're not talking? This That's this the, this was the worst <laughs> of the auctions for a long, I, you know. So. Uh, I was like, okay, let's. I guess it's time to end it. So, 
But I've got a well, lot of books Don't go here. that dark. I mean, we were reading Trigon, but you don't, you don't have to go that dark to end it all. Um, it was, uh, it was just, uh, I got a lot of books here. So if there is anything and every little bit helps. So, uh, oh, it's, a, it's actually, you know what? I'm in my dining room. Um, so Gail figured, you know, let's, this is, this is the, the dining room right now. She, she gave me, the, so, um, yeah, kitchen with all our stuff on the, uh, on the counter there. But uh, yeah, she thought, well, why don't you why don't you be down here until we can get the because uh, she doesn't want me in the bedroom uh, with the show anymore, so she can get some sleep. So she said, okay. I told her, so you know, you're gonna have to walk past a lot of crap, right? <laughs> so, um, yeah. I mean, I like I like the fact that there's an overhead light. I do need a little bit because uh, I notice, you know, like especially when I'm wearing a hat coming from the top, it just blackens the face out. Um, but otherwise, yeah, I kind of, I kind of dig it. I, I, I dig being down here. I like the lighting. Um, and maybe Zach will come back. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see what is next. But I, I figure I would do the claim bit since uh, it just goes a little bit quicker. Do um, you have any violent, quirky books that aren't really violent? I did have a couple of free comic book day Pokemon books. One is sort of a who's who where it tells you about the Pokemon, and one was a free comic book day, but it had a narrative. Um, yeah, actually, let me go. Let me, let me do this real quick. Uh, let me do this real quick, and then uh, and then I'll, I'll go through the older ones again. Uh, here's X, X Factor issue number 70. And we have X Factor issue number 73. These are the Peter David X Factors. They are an awesome. Here is issue number 74. And issue number 75. And here is issue number 84. Uh, yeah, Jay, I've been actually uh, trying to lose weight. My this is this was my dinner tonight, by the way. I've got a bowl of grapefruit. <laughs> so Oh. Um, whatever you do, don't what? put in the don't whatever you do, do not put in a toaster and play Jackie Wilson. They'll start dancing. Grapefruit. It looks like pink slime, bro. Oh, pink slime. <laughs> okay. Okay. Ghostbusters too. Yeah, I was just wondering the Jackie Wilson thing. We got X Men Alpha Flight number one, and then we have uh, this is a, an exclusive Toys R Us. Oh no, there's an offer inside. This is. Uh, Special movie prequel edition from Toys R Us. There you go. X-Men the movie. Then we have uh, Justice League 3000. This is Keith Giffen and J.M. Dem Demetrius. Whatever I you see. say about X-Men the movie, it had one of the greatest lines of all time. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Seems like a storm's coming. No, uh, everybody... Everybody goes off on the frog. You know what happens to a toad when it's struck by lightning? The same as everything else. But to me, the worst line was, seems like a storm's coming. Yeah. All right. Uh, then we have Hulk, issue number 81. Yes, that's what Black Panther says every night. Oh, wait. You know what? Uh, that is funny. Oh, uh, let's, just stick, let's just stick with the X Factor. There. If anybody sees anything, just say something. Black, um, she doesn't. Yeah. Black guy didn't say it. No, he doesn't, doesn't say it all because uh, that's why she left him. Oh yes, because uh, he said it too much. You wanted the Spinner Galaxy. Let's see. We have Superman Red, Sabretooth, Conan. Was your Star Hunters? Was Star Hunters one? Was this one? Star Hunters. Isn't that a uh, first appearance in some, that one of those issues? Conan, yep, that was. Yeah, yeah. It's a. Uh, it's the first issue thing. Uh, Cobra, Cyclops, Fantastic Four is a bigger badger. That is definitely not. I'm thinking, I'm thinking badger. of uh, Rocketeer. That, that's in a different book. Um, actually, Amy, if you do like the, uh, if you do like the Marvel Universe, this is all about a cop trying to survive the Marvel Universe. You know, being a, being a regular guy cop while superhero stuff is happening around them. Highly recommend it. Um, it's not a violent book. That's why I'm pointing it out. And it depends also what kind of violence are you talking about? 
like I have the first appearance of Clementine from the Walking Dead game. Obviously, it's a zombie book, but I have no idea about the violence. Oh, awesome power, Spy Who Shagged Me. Uh, let's see, non-violent books. Wizard Kiss Special. I'm a dude, so the non-violent books are not going to be prolific. Uh, Fantastic Four. We got Captain Canuck for you Canadian fans. Um, let's see, what else? Some Green Lantern, Fantastic Four. Corky, Corky, Corky. This was in the five dollars, uh, Amy. This is Batman sixty six, volume three. Uh, they are individual issues telling individual stories, but it is uh, kind of cartoony. It's a lot of fun. It's in the same vein as the nineteen sixty six TV show. Um, this I, I highly recommend. I really do. Yeah, it is good. We read a couple of those on the channel. Those are fun. Yeah. Even if you're not a fan of the '66, it's still a, it's still written with humor. It, yeah, it's a good. Time. It really is. It to me, it's like uh, the uh, what you call it the Batman Adventures, but for adults. You know, I think a, you get the storyline a little bit more. It's it's more hokey than the Batman Adventures. Batman Adventures is more aimed towards like the kids in the '90s and millennials. That was more in yeah. I, I, as far as you're saying, adults. Be like you yeah. guys in your fifties, you know, and well, yeah, uh, early yeah. 60s, you know. Yeah, I'm not, and watching. I'm not talking about. Uh, I've been trying to push this book on everybody, but this is about the Ant Man. Uh, he's traveling through time. Uh, it, it's it's a good quirky. Like the first issue is very much Silver Age, and it goes through uh, the different eras and everything. Um, it's You're not a very violent book. I was selling this for five. Uh, I could recommend that. I'm already saying, well, if, if Amy doesn't take that, I'll take that Batman 66 after a few tries. Uh, let's see. Oh, here's a very quirky book. Uh, two. Let's see. Um, number quirky Romano. Quirky Romano, yes. <laughs> um, there was never really any violence in she -Hulk. Sheena? Ooh, you got some Sheena books? Uh, this, is, this is fantasy. Let's see. Do -do -do -do. Well, I mean, with Sheena, it is fantasy, bro. Yes. No, yeah, no, definitely sure the She-Hulk number 10. I mean, that's... Yeah, that's uh, Last Castle, this is a, a book called Fables, and it's about all the, you know, like Cinderella, Snow White. They come over to our, our side because they're uh, fleeing the overseer or something. I forget what they call them. Uh, uh, this is about the last stand, like the last boat out of Fable Town into the real world. Um, it is an incredible story. It's, uh, written by Bill Willingham and, um, it's got some violence, but it's, uh, swords and sorcery kind of stuff. So I, this was in the $5 bins, um, as well. We had, this was a $2 book. It's She-Hulk number 10, uh, the sensational She-Hulk. These were always very, uh, comedic rather than focus on superheroing. Uh, this was in the two dollars, and, and, and it's it's just a strong independent woman, basically like you know, written, you know, basically written about no. today's feminist plots. You know, this is Might Fall. This was a three dollar book, and this is uh, just all sorts of uh, crazy. You want to talk about quirky? This is just all sorts of uh, craziness going on in the uh, Might that Might universe, and then this is Western violence. But it is quirky as freaking heck because they decided to make the rawhide kid gay, and uh, they do. They really do. I mean, it's stereotypical. It's a, it's a bad comic, but it is so much fun to read. Uh, but there you go. Those were some of the quirky books that I had up. Uh, let's see. Did we get anybody saying anything here? Um, actually, I by the way, the weight thing. I told Gail. I said, I hope this is because I stopped eating you know shit at midnight um because it would be like i'm I, I, like that i would get off the show here and you know i'm really hungry i'm gonna go to wendy's you know how much of the ant man she, she's saying uh five um but uh i mean i i still you know we go out and i still like chicken wings and stuff like that it's goodbye just, okay 
we were uh, we were talking. Have a good day, LK. We were uh, talking about stuff, and especially you know, RDVs joked about me so many times when uh, I would step in to make put the books up, and like my stomach enters the frame before the rest of me does. Uh, so, and no anger there. It's just I think it's funny. It's, it's, so. It's to me is when I when I know, when I start noticing you wearing pants uh, on the camera. That's because I'm going to start laughing out loud because you're a shorts guy. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm in shorts right now. Soon so. you'll be conservative. You'll wear pants. The shop swing of all this. I, you know what? It's been so fucking cold outside every goddamn day. I I've it's, been wearing pants outside. Today was the first blue sky I've seen in India. It's 61 degrees outside by me. You know. Yeah. Okay. Um, no love for the. Uh, for the X Factor, let's see. We got one. Two. I wondered if you were getting any flooding in your base because there was like, was it last week? You guys had like all that rain. It was a flooding warning going through. Yeah, we we did get rain, um, and it was actually not until about two days ago. And I told him, I said, there is a hole. I guess it's uh, there's a, there's a hole leading into hell, um, <laughs> and it's bubbling up. Um, oh, so, wait, oh, what's that sewer backing up? <laughs> No, it's not sewer. It's some, <laughs> some sort of bucket that's supposed to yeah, put water. I don't know. Uh, basements are weird to me. Oh, but yeah. somebody did. Here, here's the thing. You guys know uh, me and my family. We got kicked out of the hotel. We were homeless. We're like, we got to take anything. Guys, take anything. Thankfully, this was. Uh, we had a house we wanted, and we had a, a an apartment or a townhouse, as this is, that we wanted. And so we got this one, and. Um, the ba basement was a selling factor. We go down in the basement and somebody left a beautician's chair. I'm one of those with a lean your head back, wash your hair kind of thing. Uh, so I was actually thinking maybe Craigslisting that thing. Uh, here we have the Incredible Hulk, uh, the Bruce Jones version. This is issue number 51. Yeah, because I doubt you would not ever need to wash your hair. So so my thing oh, is... You know what? I got to tell you something. You are absolutely wrong there. I, for comfort, like if you are really stressed, get go to the, go to the barber shop, go to whatever, lay back and let them massage your scalp. It is uh, bald or not, that is just a great freaking feeling. We've got uh, Jim Ruggs Hulk uh, Grand Design, and this is issue number one. Sounds like uh, your sub pump might have went. Yeah, that's I keep hearing that. Uh, Hulk uh, Wolverine, and this is issue number four of four. And then we have the Rampaging Hulk, issue number six. And we have uh, Rampaging Hulk, issue number four. We have uh, the Heroes for Hire annual starring Quicksilver. This is 1996. Next up. Um, we've got this mini series. This is issue number two, three, and four of Gen Next. All right. Once again, if you see something, if you look in the back, uh, back lots and such, if you see anything you like, just let me know. Uh, let's see if the beautician chair is in good condition, definitely investigate selling it on eBay. Craigslist can be skeevy. I get that, but I, th there's no way I'm in shipping that thing. There's no way to ship it. It's gotta be somebody who can come and pick it up. Um, let's see, eBay put it in your shop. I guess I could, but it would have to be a pickup. So it'd have to be. Are you in a community area? Like where they have like Facebook marketplace and stuff run you? You, don't know. That. you know, there, uh, I was talking earlier. There's, um, there's these flea markets where you can rent a booth. Then I've been wanting to find one I could set up at. And I would just throw all the Disney, like all the Disney collections and such like that there. And, uh, no, no, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, I would, I would like to do that, you know, because it's not only this, but the toys uh, that we just, we just don't want a lot of stuff anymore. Um, I would put up a lot of the books. Yeah, I think Facebook Marketplace. Yeah. Because you don't realize, you don't realize they have to have a garage sale. You just had just take a photo, put it up on Marketplace, and then, uh, you know, they'll arrange it. They'll contact you, your number, and they'll show up. No. I'll give that a try. I mean, anything these days, especially now. Um, 
My, my, sold, my situation right now is is a desperate one. My brother uh, sold uh, rims from his old car, and this guy has been searching him because they stopped making this type, type of rims he had. And, and they, you know, so he was, he's like, he wanted an extra pair of tires for winter, you know, for his wife's yeah. car. You need to, okay, you know what? The last one did good. Okay, you're not doing good. If I bring you over to the shoulder, you're supposed to jump off, okay? There Can you we go. Just okay. Bring him, clear him closer to the microphone. That's what we all want. You are, you are no twiddles. You are not twiddles. I'm going to train you, okay? So hopefully one day you'll be like twiddles. He's not right? a twit, he's a twat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I do not have any Sheena books. I'm trying. I really am. Why? Um, I, I, the, the problem, I won, I did win a, a, an auction and I was hoping to get that and I was going to uh, put up a bid on the, another auction, but the, the first auction is just to get some new stuff, some new blood for next week, in which case I would pay for the auction that is in two days, which is just a bunch of bronze HDC. And uh, I, I think that would do a lot better. So I was hoping to kind of ladder, you know, climb the ladder on this kind of thing. So here's the thing. I'm going to ask you guys this. Uh, please go over to Kofi. Yeah. Um, drop $5 into the, uh, into the box and pick a video. You know, just say, hey, I've always wanted to see this. I've always wanted to see that. I'm right now I'm working on, um, I'm right now working on a cloak and dagger and I'm working on uh, a wild dog. So I'm going to have those out in just a little bit. Uh, and they, they, they'll get. He's also got videos on many cams. So if you guys want to see one of those, the that's what? $10. Many cams. It's another, it's another camming site for adults. <laughs> well, I actually, I actually have considered, uh, only fans, I, I, not for nudity or anything, but, um, to talk. Uh, I, I realized, and, and I'm gonna. Uh, I, I was talking to Gail. I said, uh, you know, I'm, I'm always joking. I'm doing this video. I'm doing that video. I gotta do these reaction videos. I see these people, and they're talking to, like they'll they'll see a TikTok. By the way, get the fuck off the TikTok, guys. You're you're driving yourselves crazy. But, and I see these young guys talking, and they're always talking to some OnlyFans girls, some whores, or something like that. It's just weird. But one thing I noticed that nobody's talking about these relationships is anybody who's been married for 30 years. I mean, you got some dude, some, I'm, I'm sure he's a gajillionaire because his videos get like 500,000 every fucking time he opens his mouth. But there's this, uh, there's this, I guess he looks Indian or, or something like that. Uh, they call themselves fresh and fit. Guy's a fucking moron. I, I've never seen someone so stupid with so many people listening to him. He's a fucking moron um and and i, I was like oh, who is he? I, i'm seeing these relationship videos and these guys have no fucking clue about how to run an, or, or be in a relationship and uh i thought okay you know maybe actually step in there maybe actually make comments that would actually help people these yeah. dumbasses every one of them i see this other guy and um this one i see more often because like Candace Owens and Michael Knowles was on it. But it's one dude, it's in a white room. You got some vacant Asian chick wearing a freaking Nazi helmet from World War One on honor. It's, it's some of the dumbest people. Um, and they're talking about, uh, yeah, right. <laughs> I ain't going topless. <laughs> I wouldn't go topless on this one. Uh, but uh, they, they they're idiots and they are they everybody is looking at relationships as if they're trans in Yeah. no yeah. anyway yeah did you monetize this fuck no <laughs> <laughs> i wondered I, I i thought about it but then it's like uh i was gonna change it but i'm like man you're you're down to six viewers at this point so you know I just, if, if you have six viewers viewing for three hours that's still money yeah 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 you're right about it you're right you're right I, I, just, I, I, I did. I forgot about it, that, and then uh, I was going to do it, and then I forgot about it again. So, uh, Amy wants to try that Ant Man book. All righty, let me put this down on your thing, uh, uh, and then I'll go through the last uh, last few here. Um, Ant Man. I just learned something. I was watching a guy who normally does magnet fishing, but he was going with this. He also does metal detecting, and he was in this house. Like this, he's like um, 
this uh, Dutch woman's, you know, backyard. She gave permission because she says her grandfather, who's in the war, said he had buried, hinted that he had buried something. So they're looking stuff, you know. And one of the people in the comments says, if you find like a uh, any coins, you know, you know, or, or it says a lot of um, American servicemen drop coins uh, uh, in remembrance of uh, whether their friends had died, you know, in battle. Yeah. You know, did not did not know that, but I thought about well, you don't have time to go back and pick them up, you know. So, because you know they take your doctors, but they leave the coins there as like a remembrance or, or paying your way into heaven. I don't, I don't, I don't know. It's like it all depends which religion. Was, but yeah, that's, yeah Are you I'm, freaking mind? What? 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 Uh, what? That's the new thing I yeah. see now. It's like. There was a van life, but now everybody's, doing, everybody's doing magnet fishing, though. They're taking a magnet, throwing it into the water, and then videotaping themselves doing it and picking up stuff out of there. And they, what they do is any metal they find, they take it to a scrapper. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Okay, next up. Uh, and this is the last. This is literally the last of them. Is that uh, Titan's book sold behind you? The Witcher? The new Teen Titans book? Is, is that sold behind you? No, no, none of them have. I'll take the the two. I'll take all the new Teen Titans if you have those. Okay. And that and then um, what Moon Knight is that? Uh, it is called High Strangers. It's issue number one. Uh, which which uh, who's our writer on that? Is it Chuck Dixon or is that? Uh, you no, know, it's uh, it's, Chuck, it's, it's Doug Munch. Doug Munch. Doug, Doug Munch. <laughs> yeah. Doug Munch and uh, Texera is yeah. the artist. Sure, I'll take it. Yeah, put me on this. Right. I'll put those down for you. Um, oh, and Amy, these were what I was talking about. These, thought, are, in the, these are in the one dollars. It's uh, a wizard special. Got to catch them all. It talks about it, the, all the Pokemon at the time, which is about twenty years ago. And then uh, this is the free comic book day from about twenty years ago. Pokemon, I choose you. Um, actually, I don't think I've ever looked inside of this one. I'm assuming it's narrative. Sounds like a Valentine's Day card. I choose. Oh, it's you. called Pokemon the Movie. I choose you. Um, so I actually have uh, no idea. Yep. Oh yeah. Okay. There we go. It's black and white. That's cool. See. Yeah. Yep. There you go. That's why I look at Peach Momoko's books right now. Her Ultimate X Men. It's basically a manga. <laughs> <laughs> you Which, know, I like, first it, I don't like it, but I like the second issue. You know, there I've you been go. enjoying it. I, okay. I, but I, I, but I, I agree though. If you're gonna do an ultimate X-Men, it should not be called that because you're starting off with one character, but it is an else world. So you know. uh here we have Legion number one, Legion 89. With Trump. Uh next. Oh, and it's got the crazy guy's notes in it. Sweet. Next up we have issue number four. Oh, that's nice. A lobo. And then issue number 23. We have uh issue number 40. I don't have these in order because oh oh no this is issue number ninety those were uh, that's Legion ninety because they did that as the years changed they popped it up here's uh, issue number thirteen Legion ninety uh, here's something called the Action Verse featuring Stray I have no idea about that one oh it's a Bible um, oh you wanted a quirky non-violent book Ambush Bug from the nineteen eighties this is a lot of fun this. Um, yeah, if it stays focused on any story whatsoever, it's usually just comedy and such. Have you read that book before, E? I have. <laughs> uh, then we have Aquaman number one from the 1980 miniseries and uh, 80s, and then Jack Kirby's 2001 A Space Odyssey issue number two. There we go. If you, once again, if you see something, if you go through the older stuff, um, yeah. There we go. Oh, and if you uh, really, really, really want to help out, uh, I've got – here you go. For 125, I've got volumes 1 through 12 of Jeff John's JSA. Say 120. We'll make it an even $10 pop. Wow. If you do get this, it would be sent in its own box media, because uh, otherwise, you know, uh, it's going to be. It's uh, one through twelve. Uh, or I could probably ship it in a short box with any comics or something like that. 
112, uh, how much? 112? 120. Uh, then we have uh, Rip Hunter Time Master. This is uh, 25. It's volume one. It's it's one of the harder ones to find. By the way, Glinzer for 25 got the Sea oh. Devil. That is also a very hard um, showcase. So, well, I should obviously you probably find thing on eBay. Also, right? Amy will pick the Ambush Bug. So, no, okay. So wait, we're paying you through PayPal or paying through Copilot? Uh, go through go to PayPal. I'm gonna trans. I've got a PayPal card that's active. Unfortunately, okay. my bank account turned off my uh, card and said, we're sending you another one. I was like, okay, yeah. Shit, did I change my address at the bank? No, I didn't. <laughs> so, I'll do the I'll yeah. do the 120 for the... For the ASA? Yeah. I'll have, to get a, I'll have to go tomorrow and get a card, and I'll pay you through Ko-Fi. Okay, hold on just a second. Oh, man. <laughs> Those are the old school trades, too. Like, yeah, yeah, they are. Which I like. Uh, some <laughs> of them are harder to find than others. <laughs> I imagine so. Yes, because yeah. now because now, like, now they're doing like the omnibuses, like you know, and yeah, they're I, I don't think they're ever going to reprint them back in trade. Once they go to the omnibus format, that's it. Yeah, that does happen. Um, and I know some people don't like the omnibuses, and I can understand why. These are a heck of a lot easier to hold and read than those omnibus. I know this one is a difficult one, right, uh, to find. And uh, there's a couple of others of these that are are harder to find. Savage Times, such. Uh, but uh, yeah, good times, good times. I mean, that's all. Do I hear one thirty? Don't let Venkman walk away with all the. <laughs> you know that is true. I would, you know, if anybody wants a challenge, I I will take a challenge. Even but, Black Cat, you were nicer when you're quiet. <laughs> right now, I'm not sure what I'm saying and if I have full control over my the English speaking part of my voice. Well, you're not brain. supposed to do that kind of stuff and then be in a live stream. Okay, now I'm trying. I, I need to at least pay. Yeah, alcohol is completely legal. Oh, okay. As long as you're doing that, okay. No, no. Within the next two days, I want to pay for the auction that I won uh, tonight. Yeah. Um, uh, it was only. I don't know if I should say because sometimes you uh, sometimes I have to pay a lot. Sometimes I get to pay a little, and it just happened that I was like, "Oh wow, that's going to be awesome!" Because. Um, there's this isn't it, it all, all told it'd be about oh shit no nope, uh, hundred billion so, bucks actually you're gonna yeah if you can yeah. Uh, get it. but um there's 150 comics uh it's we've got some Catwoman from the 90s some incredible hulk from the 80s and 90s um hey, Glenzer. let's see what what's what we're we going to five dollars uh, for traffic Glenzer. well thank you Oh, First, me... Indiana Super Chat. The one cent is my tip to uh, YouTube. It's more than YouTube deserves, but what the heck. Well, thank you very much, but YouTube takes 35%. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah. the, one, the one cent is yours, sir. Yeah. <laughs> YouTube sucks, by the way. Uh, uh, awesome. Showcase. I had Showcase Volume 1, uh, 25. Yep. This is... Um, issues what was it one through 11 uh, i mean it, it seems like it's not a lot but this is back when uh oh no this is number 19. also uh zach okay Phillips. well also you get the first appearance of flash and the first appearance of uh adam strange this uh, is one through 21 of of showcase it's nice and thick it was a 25 dollar book green Lan or uh, uh not green lantern but uh under quinn uh zach Gertie, he traded in his uh he his uh trades you know for the jsa and he bought the omnibus so zach yeah oh uh, yeah that's what he did um i guess i'm going to also because i'm selling you all of them uh <laughs> it, and that's a it's a spot of that like i said that's a desperate move um i was selling this as a set power man number one well oh, those are the essential ones black and white yeah uh i i love the phone books by the way here's power man volume two Dude, and this what? this is literally uh, one through forty-nine in the first annual and the giant giant size, like for the first one, is uh, one through sixteen. Uh, Power Man seventeen through twenty-seven. It changed. It was uh, Luke Hero for Hire, and then it was Luke Cage. I Power love Man, um, and then uh, one through twenty-seven or or eleven to whatever. I love then, how we uh, transition from talking about Zach to talking about Power Man. 
Right. I, I know, right. That's what started him getting his reputation. Then the Iron Fist, and Iron Fist is uh, is Marvel premiere 15 through 25, Iron Fist 1 through 15, Marvel team up 63 and 64, and then Power, Power Man and Iron Fist number 48 and 50. He's a nice guy. Anyway. He just wears his bed sheet on his head. And then uh, the Power Man and Iron Fist, which is 50 through 72 and 74 through My 75. Books. I make like I got the epic. And those four are 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 100. So there you go. Nice. All right. Um. Okay, I need to write down. You wanted the uh, yeah the JSA. Yeah, okay. Um. The Power Man books, if they don't sell here, put them up on eBay for a question. Um, I don't want to sell them. No. I need well, to sell them. Well, uh, I, <laughs> I know, but I mean, if you want to make money, you got to yeah, sell I, them. I, I, we're going we're, – we're, did you hear him go, eh? Yeah, I, I – I, Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Come oh, on. Three GSA, John. There you go. Good one boy. I have trained him to do that one thing. Uh, anytime I go, he either he either uh, gives me a kiss on the nose or he'll actually go through the mustache. Or he goes through your, your, your Good boots. boy. He's a good boy. You a good boy? Yeah. You a good boy. All right. 120. All right. And... Uh, Let's see. Okay, I should go through. Um, uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Let's go through these and actual do what is necessary. I think you, need to, um, you might have to start putting stuff on your walls so it's not as echoey. Yeah, yeah, I am. I, I don't. I don't know if I because I, I was thinking maybe just bringing in the green screen for the back. Yeah. Or do I want to do the shelves and such like that? I was going to say, put soundproofing or sound happening. So yeah. it that sounds echoey. Hey, or, on the or, other or, hand, the I, can, downstairs. I am not even within arm's length of anything, and you guys can hear me, so I'm not exactly against it. Would, would he like to be a basement here. bird? Uh, yeah, like, would, you like to, would you like to be in the basement? Would you? No. At least they're in the options. Right. <laughs> right. Come on. The options no. during the live stream. I can't like hear boy. you, Black Cat. You gotta talk much louder. <laughs> About the options and the live stream. Okay, so uh, we got Amy who has Spanner Galaxy uh, number one at a dollar, then Conan uh, Giant Size number ten. For a dollar, Star Hunter number one for a buck, Ant Man one through five for five, Ambush Bug number one for a dollar. That is a total of nine. I think I've got one other book. Um, that's a subtotal of nine. Uh, with shipping, that will be 18. All right. Uh, next up, and if you want me to ship, like if you, if you want to hold the comics for more, uh, you can. Uh, RDV, these are going, thankfully, they're. Uh, you can ship these media, so um, they'll they'll do that. You can just drive but here. It'll take you about three hours or more. Three hours to drive. <laughs> that would be about twenty forty dollars in gas. All of a sudden, shipping is a lot more. Um, there you go. Uh, let's see. Let's uh, go with ten uh, just to cover the bases there, and that would be one hundred and thirty. All righty. One hundred and thirty. Okay. Cool. Yeah, but I, I'm going to ship that media for you. Uh, let's see. Oh, I forgot. Duh. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is my spell? What is it? That's it. What is it? It's you want it on. It's kind of sad when I don't even hear that song on the radio anymore. They say it all the time. <laughs> And like, and like, I know it used to be everywhere. The classic rock song and the stations aren't even playing it yet. It's like they play Guns N' Roses, but they won't play, you know, uh, Faith No More. Yeah, I hate it when a, a song uh, gets so overplayed. Like you mentioned, Guns N' Roses. I used to love the song November Rain, and now it's like, oh, they're playing this again. 
I used to love her, but I had to kill her. That's an album song. They never put that one up. I've never okay, seen, so I've never seen Amy, uh, hey Amy, is there one more book that might interest you? So you could get a spot on the wheel. And let's see. Yeah, the great thing is that I'm still not going to win. <laughs> it's, that is it's happened laughing. before. Hey, can I interest you in a wolf pack? Um, the one of the Pokemon books. Uh, let me. I'm trying sure, to I'll go something. watch The Hangover. Hey guys, let's just create a wolf pack. Oh, well, I didn't even think Hangover when when you mentioned that. That's uh, what do I have over here? I I saw this. Uh, this is a one shot. It's Wonder Woman um, and uh, meets the Bionic Woman. I saw that, nice, so I picked nice. it up today. Uh, GI Jack Rabbits. So, the, okay. she has, make sure you got the Pokemons down for her listed. Oh, okay. Okay. So that puts her. I'm sorry, Amy. That is, uh, it's going to be 11 plus the nine. So it'll be an even 20. You okay. said 135 for mine. 130, but yeah. Okay. I, sure. well, I, only, I only get five bucks. So, so total will be 135. All right. Cool. Okay. And that puts Amy one over. So let me add Amy on to this. All right. Uh, let's see. RDV. There you go. Already one, two. Five. Can you not six, just control C, control V? Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. 11 and 12. Dude, you are the big spender today. So, good luck. I think it, you know, it might be one of those days where, hey, Austin gets another win. <laughs> but didn't he get like 130? No, no, 130 was shipping. No, um, he got like the J, the Titans and the. Oh, that's right. You did. Okay. Yeah, you did I had the Titans and I had the JSA. That's right. I, I but that would have been three dollars because uh, that's it, three titans. That's like twelve, and the the Doug Munch. No, no, no. The Team Titans were. Um, what, 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 like, what, 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 what were we? Right? No, we were two dollars each. We were two dollars each on those. Okay. Okay. Eleven, twelve, and thirty-six. So that would put them at uh, one hundred and twenty-six before shift. So it'd be did he get the Moon Knight? I did get the Moon Knight. Okay. Moon Knight, and that was two dollars. So that now you're at one twenty-eight. Want to right. buy something for two dollars? <laughs> two dollars. Yeah, everybody's got to say that, right? Jim says you can skip mine. Ah! So it's just me and Austin P. Who Austin's gonna win? Okay. Um, Let's see, Amy. Um, Jim says skip his. His was forty-one. Um, the win. other ones, it would have been uh, sixteen for shipping, so it is fifty-seven. Alrighty, uh, let's see. Uh, Jim already sent his in. Eric and Boyd have Legion Superheroes through twelve for two dollars. Um, Glenzer. Amy, I let you out of my stream in the readings, and you steal my win. Is this how you pay me back? Uh, Glenzer has uh, Buck Rogers in the 25th and a half century. Um, that's D Dodgers, by the way. The real hero of this story. Thank I you thought Doug Rogers was. Doug, Doug Dodgers Doug. is in the 24th and one half century. No, 24th. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, hmm. This makes me angry. This makes me very, very angry. Uh, the books today are the Archies with this awesome story with Jughead and the Call of Cthulhu for all of you uh, uh, Lovecraft fans. All right. And uh, let's see. Glenzer. Do, do, do. Sea Devils. Man, that, that's, that's a hit right there, Glenzer. But thank you very much for helping. 
I do appreciate you guys. Uh, 30, 35, 42. Okay, so it would be $42 before. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. That one's pretty big, though. Um, yeah, I think it could still ship in an envelope. I got to go to the storage shed and get all the envelopes. I've got uh, some boxes, and I can get some boxes from the uh, from the post office. But those envelopes I have shipped specifically, and they're in storage, so I, I will be pulling those out. Um, I think we are looking. Can we? Can you know that? You know what, Glenzer? I'm gonna I'm gonna go box on this one um, because that Sea Devils is a thick one. Um, so let's go 50, uh, 58 on that total. Okay. Uh, but 42. So you got 40 or four spots, not 40 spots. Oh. And four. And then Austin P. Had Batman 495 at a dollar, 500 at a dollar. Blackest Night Director's Cut at two. Fantastic Four 253 for two, 257 for three, and Green Lantern 192 for three. That is a subtotal of uh, 12. So you got one more spot, and you mentioned you're going to send shipping and all that next. And that is 21 total, though. All righty, which uh, gets you a, another spot on the wheel. You already are on the wheel once because you support on Ko fi. I already had my uh, new person. I don't know if you want me to use your full name on Ko-Fi since it's a different name than here. Um, but JL. All Original right. Winchester Field the third. <laughs> the Justice League is on your list? Not the JLA, just the JL. JL, yeah. yeah. The, the JL is the Justice all right, let's uh, shuffle these things up. And RDV has the most chances to win because uh, of the uh, JSA books. See, also, <laughs> if you don't mind helping out the channel, uh, you want to put me to work, go on over to Ko-Fi and commission a video. Uh, it could be uh, comic book origins about anything. It could be a uh, comic books are better about any year. Just drop a fiver into the till and uh, give me the tell me the video you want to make. Literally, Frag Minion skipped over everything and just sent me a message that said, "Hey, dude, do a review of Wild Dog, but this time make it a positive one." Yeah, uh, which is kind of funny because I already did a review of Wild Dog and it was See, not positive. So you, you should do a review of that anime series. Pay okay. him. Everyone pay him fifteen dollars and make him read hard, read modern comics. Uh, yeah, that actually you could do that too. Um, you know, I, I it is separated. So like, um, like if you want a, a single issue review, uh, that's five. But if you're asking me to do a maxi series, uh, that does change. Um, but uh, yeah, still you can you can actually put down some money to do the entire hot girl or the freaking Archie stuff. Other stuff. So is there Archies and right. That's what you And for laughs and giggles, you can do what Fragminian does and make him do positives on Riley Rosamo. Yeah, do a positive review on a book I didn't like the first time. So I thought that was kind of funny, but okay. But the thing is, I actually, uh, the hardest part was uh, coming up with, okay, what angle am I going to go at this where I could go positive? And then I started reading it, and uh, again, I'm like, yeah, I kind of like that. I kind of like this. So um, it's going to be kind of a list it, talking about the story and talking about these are, you know, the good things about this, uh, this book. All right, ready? Let's see who wins the, uh, the the books today. Glensler! <laughs> no, I'm, you know, I'm worried it was still moving. All right. <laughs> there you go. It is All right, RDB, you finally won, and you're probably like, say again? Yeah, I know, it's right? Uh, RDB finally won one, kids. There you go. Um, I only had the ricket. <laughs> 
and I, I, I think it's kind of like uh, it, it's when you when you win the lottery, but so does forty other people, and you only get five bucks. Um, I think Remember it's like, this. hey, I, 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 I won on a day I don't like the books. So, <laughs> I, I Remember the this book. moment, for people. Remember where you were when RDV yeah. finally won. Uh, this is a, this is Call of Cthulhu. This okay. is a science fiction horror horror novel. Um, Starring Dalton. Is, pardon. Starring, starring well, Dalton. Starring Dalton, yes. And then uh, then you've got this one, which is Modern Day Archie. They're written quite differently. They're drawn quite differently. Uh, the reason why I picked this up is because uh, Franco Vela uh, does the, these horror Archie books, and this is one where Jughead becomes a werewolf. Franco, it's, Franco V, and not Franco What did I Ayala. say? Archie. It's Franco Ayala. I, you know, because I was just saying vowels. I have no... Can glue how to. I thought it was And uh, this is this is where you get Moose's story, and that one's pretty good as well. Um, and then and the it is straight Moose. And then uh, yeah, it's straight Moose, not gay Moose. And this is uh, them just telling the story about the Archies as a band. No, we want straight so, Moose, but I'll, yeah. I'll, take the, I'll take the Archie. The Archie, I think good good call on that. This I will sing the praises of modern I'm day Archie. I'm not an HP Lovecraft fan. Yeah. It's, I understand there are people that are like that in, or into that stuff, but I'm just like, I want the happy stuff. <laughs> I, yeah. get I, I get I it. I don't like. I don't like his printers, but his barbecue sauce is on point. I, I mean, I'm not into calamari. There you go. Okay, let me make sure all the books are in where they need to be in. Okie dokie. After 84 years, I finally won a book. Uh, once again, thank you very much um, for all of you guys' help. Uh, Bankman, thank you very much for taking the JSA. That's going to be a big help in a couple of days. Um, oh, no, wait. Yours goes straight through, I think. There are a couple of them that go to uh, Stripe, so I'll, I'll yeah. see them in a couple of days. Yeah, yeah. But I think yours is one that goes through. Uh, like Zach... Um, Zach, I know, goes through Stripe. Austin goes through Stripe, so I'll see it in about two or three days. Um, but hey, at least at least it, it gets delivered. Yeah, I, I most certainly appreciate all the help tonight, guys. I apologize for that. That's my the way my mind works is I have to talk things out because it kind of settles. Um, my thing is when you actually yeah. have something that I actually want. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I can drop the money. <laughs> that's, hey, that's, I appreciate. I, it. I, I know it's it's. I'm I'm overly picky about things. I, um, I almost brought my Justice League uh, collection as well. I've got the uh, Grant Morrison. I I just call the entire run the Grant Morrison run. <laughs> it is. But uh, yeah, over there on the on the shelf, I you can tell I haven't gotten all my books in. But over there on the shelf where the JSA should be sitting, w along with those. I've got the uh, full run of uh, the Justice League, which is very much like the JSA. They're hard to find now, so uh, that would command another hundred or hundred twenty dollars. Um, I, I guess I could bring down. If hold on, just a sec. Hold on, maybe we're not done yet. I mean, obviously we're done with the giveaway and such, but hold on, just a sec. You know what? No, I'll wait for next week. But I could probably bring down the, the uh, Hawkman or the Flash for the uh, showcase. Maybe. Maybe. I wouldn't give up the Legion of Superheroes, the Aquaman, and the Batman for anything, though. Uh, and as far as Marvel Essentials, well, I didn't have to sell any of those, but um, I was going... I was actually thinking I need the money, but, man, I don't want to sell those Rampaging Hulk. Like... I guess Moon Knight would have been okay, but or the Power Man and Iron Fist. You can tell I'm a fan. I like Power Man and Iron Fist, man. Uh, both characters too. Some people but, uh, only like Power Man with Iron Fist, but yeah. Well, we 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 call them racist. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Zach is a great guy. We give him a hard time. Okay, fine. Fucking put your feet in my goddamn soda. You just did not wait, did you? Holy crap, did you see that? <laughs> Usually he lets me take a drink, but he is an addict, by the way. And uh, I think, have you, guys, have you guys tried this spiced Coke? 
I, no, if I think it's, it's not normal Coke, I just kind of go, you know. I am completely different. I love the flavors. This one's raspberry. I mean, who liquefies their Coke? That's just weird. It is. I know, right? This is <laughs> this is raspberry flavored Coke. And another this rant, yeah. bird is freaking addicted. I'm thinking because you do get a raspberry uh, odor to it. And I think when he smells it, he becomes very uh, ravenous. Because and, he's not yeah. supposed to drink that stuff. It's like crap. No, well, he's not really drinking. He's licking the sugar off the side. Basically, that's what's going on. So I will be pouring this into a cup. Because <laughs> he, as soon as he puts his feet on it, it's like, yeah, well, this is yours now. <laughs> Yuck. Yeah, that's what I say, too. Look at that. Say hello. Say hello. But come on. You got to admit, that's kind of cute. <laughs> All righty, boy. So. Okay, I got it. I got it. you. You don't think the bird's cute? No, the raspberry. <laughs> oh, raspberry. Okay, I thought you're not thinking. Yeah, I, I haven't. It is it good? Yeah, actually, I really, I really like this stuff. But um, yeah, I don't drink caffeinated sugar water. Um, I do. It's called tea. As a matter of fact, my favorite kind of tea is peach. So this is Granny's peach tea. Uh, not the Lex Luthor recipe, no. But actually, uh, that's not Pips. Uh, well, in the jar was, but he says you can't uh, serve Granny's peach tea, uh, or can't piss in a jar and call it Granny's peach tea was the joke. Uh, let's see. Sure it helps to process quick getting things out. And then, yeah, I appreciate the, uh, I appreciate it. I was, uh, I didn't even mention I said I am spiraling here. Like what to do? Because Dale has a job. This is my job. Uh, has been for the last seven years. Um, and thanks to RDV for coming up with the auction. The problem is um, I I haven't been in position to buy new stuff. So you guys are seeing all the same old stuff roll across. Um, and usually infusing you know, new books and everything does keep it moving and such. But I have been noticing, and I was, I, was, I guess I should ask, um, you know, are you guys losing interest in the auction? Um, it's, if you guys could share this out, please. Um, it, it would really help. I'm trying to get past that shadow ban. Uh, and maybe that would bring in new, some new people. We have had some. Uh, there, there was a guy just showed up at the hotel, at the hotel auctions. Uh, his first round of books were out. I've got books for him now. Darkness uh, was wondering why I'm late. Darkness, fear listening. Your books should be uh, getting sent out and everything. Um, but yeah, I was just wondering because it seems like uh, not, not so many people are showing up for the auction anymore. Uh, it will be Saturday nights at 8 o'clock. Uh, that's the old time is the new time again. I, said the, the I think you thing. should advertise the auctions more because, like, I literally had to ask the, you know, in sports ball whether there was a thing or not. Yeah, I get that. My my thinking in my head, uh, unless I say there's not, there will be. Are you still driving people, or is Gail? Because only one oh no, no. Gail Gail works until four o'clock in the she works uh, morning shift. Now. I would say start scheduling them then. So if you don't want to be anywhere, start scheduling them so people ahead of time, so people know, like a day ahead. Yeah, um, I'm gonna. And, and by the way, like tonight, I something about the um, the. Uh, the thumbnail. I, tonight was the first time I put a character on the thumbnail that had nothing to do with the auction. Yeah, like uh, really. And I thought, wow, that's kind of freeing because I don't have to know what books are going to be the big dogs. I do have to apologize to you guys. This will be the last giveaway um, until things get until we get back on our feet. Because tonight, like tonight, we spent uh, about twelve, fifteen dollars on the uh, giveaways. Um, and that just raises the cost of the books and such like that. And it, it, if it works as an incentive, if people are like, oh, and I, I get it, these might not have been the most exciting books or anything. Maybe it's a case of I should, you know, I, I guess the big thing would be uh, put a big book up to see if it does work as an incentive. 
But if I put a big book up, I'm thinking, why don't I just sell the big book? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. No, I'm not sick of it at all. My collecting interests are in uh, on retro games at the moment. Gotcha. I can only afford one hobby at a time. And it is what it is. I'm down to 192. I don't know what my weight is. I, um, I'm not interested in knowing what my weight is. Uh, <laughs> uh, the last time I weighed myself, I was, I think I, I found out I was 220 pounds, which was a surprise to me because I thought I was 240, 260 because I looked fatter than I guess I was. Uh, I, I, the big problem is going to be getting rid of the belly. I noticed that, um, Gail noticed as a matter of fact, because she grabbed my arm and she goes, where's your muscles? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I did not like that. I didn't like that at all because I yeah. used to I used to go to the Y and I would work out and I would swim. So even if I had the belly, you know, I, I had the pecs and I had, you know, I never had those big bulging arms or anything like that. But at least I was muscular on top. Say, so, so you left the muscles in Brussels. Yeah. Uh, but when Gail grabs my arm and goes, where'd your muscles go? That that was like a slap. She didn't mean to hurt my feelings or anything. Um, she just she goes, I you know what I did, haven't noticed that you've lost weight. And uh, my first thought, and I was really worried because I don't know if you guys remember, I was complaining like uh, I had kidney thing. I'm holy shit, do I have cancer? What's the you know? <laughs> no, I don't. Or at least they haven't found any yet. Um, but yeah, yeah it's just I mentioned cancer is busy looking. Looking for the real killer, so O.J. Simpson. Yes. Um, by the way, it, it sickens me to hear people that are like, oh, and he was such a hero to the big... No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. He wasn't a hero. The guy no hero. guy joked about, he did an interview saying, oh, if I did it, this is what I'd do. And he laughed about it. I know, it. right? He wrote a book. He wrote a book, If I if I Did It. Yeah. So don't, tell me, don't tell me that he didn't do it, because anybody who loved their wife... Would that be insulted to even at they even write something like that? Uh, yeah, that that is absolutely, especially his his now deceased wife, and he's writing a book. If I did it, um, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's disgusting. So I don't know. Uh, so would you guys watch videos like that, or should I just try to separate like where I'm talking about all these and dumbasses on TikTok doing reaction videos and all that? Oh my gosh. Uh, I, I don't know, you, but I, I, I think, think you'd I, need to create a new channel for the reaction. To oh, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't do it here. I, I, did, um, he, I did hear, though, that the, uh, there was a speeding white Bronco heading towards a cemetery. Was Al Robbins driving? <laughs> right. Three sets of long box presses every day. You know, I used to do that, by the way. I, I would fill up the long box and... Because my when I was losing weight and I, I was really into it, uh, working out in that, uh, it was around 2010 and such. I had done damage to my body, got really fat. What what happened was, uh, it started to rain and, and I needed to check the mail, so I ran to my mailbox at the end of the driveway, and and I was went up, and I was like, "That's it, <laughs> I'm, I'm losing the weight. I'm working out." Um, and one thing that I, that I, um, I've watched all the, Hey, if you need to lose weight videos, I've read some things and one, and, and a couple of things stuck out to me. One, never tell people you're losing weight because if you, everybody's an expert. So I, I don't like to, I don't like to tell people around me I'm losing weight. Well, what you should do is, and what you should do is get on the, the, what I liked was, um, Always be moving, you know, even if it means you put down the remote control and you just move to the TV. Uh, uh, I mean, if, you're, if you're sitting and watching TV, you have time to do sit-ups, maybe even push-ups while you're watching TV. Here's my um, thing. If you're going to uh, – you say you want to go to you want to go Arby's or whatever you want to go for fast food, walk mm -hmm. there. Well, you can walk to the fast food restaurant, yes. Uh, but the thing is, whenever I did did stuff like that, that's what I did. And I kept getting told this. You don't need to do that. Because one of the things I would do is um, every time, like I, I set uh, I set one of those timers for an hour and egg timers, you know, and it's uh, uh, the cooking things. 
And at the end of every hour, ding, okay, I would go, I would do sit-ups and push-ups until I couldn't do them anymore. And, oh, you shouldn't do that. Couldn't do, yo, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Do, do this, do this, do this, do this. Eat this, eat that, eat this, eat that. And here's the thing. If it works for you, keep to it. That's all I say. I'm not a, a nutritionist. I'm not a specialist on any of this. But if you're moving around and you're feeling good about the way you're moving around, do it. And don't listen to people telling you no. Just keep doing it. Uh, Rip Hunter was 25, Amy. Also, everybody has difference, you know. So what works for you is not going to work for somebody else. Yeah, yeah but w what will, will really work for you is cutting down the soda. Yeah, going to the soda, cutting off yeah. a lot of the sugar. Um, I mean, if you have to drink more water, drink more water. You know, if, if you like a flavor. I found water, this, by the way. This was in the back of our car. It was filled or earlier today. It was. It was just. Uh, it got dropped when we were moving uh, from one hotel to the other, and uh, I thought it was kind of funny because. Uh, it's not flat or anything. Like if it sat in a car in Florida, even if it had not been my, um, it my opened, mom, it would my, be. My mom's doing the Weight Watchers diet, and that works for yeah. her. You count how many calories you're taking in each day and stuff. Mm -hmm. You can still you can still eat what you want, but you go it's just you eat in moderation. You yeah, know? well, that's what and, Gail believes too, and Gail's been losing weight also. And just this uh, the the, the most important thing, no matter what diet you're on. Is that you're moving, you're constantly walking, doing something, you know. Gail, uh, Gail's been losing weight. I've been losing weight. I've been pissing Gail off because she's looking good. <laughs> here's, here's my next dress. Would you get off me? <laughs> she's, she's slapping me away a lot more. <laughs> she, no. <laughs> you know what your problem is? You're like the Superman with Santa Claus scaring you. So you're losing weight. <laughs> Maybe. I, you know, I, I married the. I, I married a woman I'm attracted to. That's all I gotta say. She's she's a, she's a good looking lady. Yep, uh, and she should be. So, uh, but I think it's kind of funny. Is you know, it's like okay, let's. Uh, also, the fact that we're feeling a lot better because her freaking evil evil mother. I, I have an evil stepmother, by the way. Yeah, what happened to her? I don't give a fuck. The total after shipping, Amy, um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yikes. Um, Amy, for now, I would recommend this. Um, wait to, because right now, uh, because the Rip Hunter is so thick, uh, I'm not <laughs> sure. Amazing. Um, I'm not sure this would, this in your comics would fit into a, uh, a, a bag. So, Right now, you've got. I know I'm. I think I'm holding one one book for you, which would be two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this, this, uh, you, you do have room for more comics in a box. If you want to send along, that would be uh, three, four in the box would be uh, for fifty dollars even. If you want to hold on and see if there's anything in the next auction that you might like. Um, you can, if you want to send the 50, it's fine, but it's going to go in a box. Um, let me see, you know what I'll, and I'll put on, I'll keep it in mind that you want quirky and fun. Oh, um, oh no, I sold them to Glenzer. Today I had some Disney and some Popeye. I, I found a, a good, uh, good, uh, booth that was, they didn't know what they had. It's like, yeah, nobody reads funny books. You know, so it's like, whoa, holy shit. Yeah, that's How great. dare you, Glenzers. Um, but uh yeah, if if you wanna you if you wanna uh keep it, it's thirty if you want me to hold on and, and when you get more books into the box, it's thirty four, if not fifty, it's up to you. Okay. Uh on top of the twenty. What twenty? Oh, no, 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 50 total, 50 total. That's, yeah, that's it. That's, no, that, I was, I was marking the new thing. You probably you read it, your number first and then, and then you gave you the tax, the shipping costs. Uh, yeah, uh, that's it. it. It's, it's, uh, it's 25 for the rip hunter and then every, uh, $5 for the, uh, for the Ant-Man. And then it was a dollar for Spanner Galaxy, uh, Conan, <laughs> 
ambush bug Pokemon Pokemon. So it's uh, oh, actually, yeah. Whoa, whoa! Quit with the Jason knives. Wee wee wee. So yeah, it's third. It was uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, eleven, and twenty-five is thirty-six. Okay, and that's the before shipping price. And then you add 16 and it's 52. Um, that's what I was talking about. Cleanser just wrote a book, says, you know, I didn't do it, but if I did, this is how it's steal the book. Yeah. But maybe. Okay, how many more can I fit in the box and ship at the same time, do you think? Um, with, with that, it's about, the box is about yay wide and you've got about yay comics so i would have i would probably say about five five or ten to be hey, safe he uh, almost we were this close he almost squished the bird <laughs> Give me a he's a good boy is, the, he is, is your special good alarm boy. still going off i can't tell anymore <laughs> he's a good boy I, I i can't tell if your smoke alarm still going off he's a good boy thank you, thank you for that. there you are <laughs> I I don't care, guys. After um, after I I lost Twiddles, I told Gail. I said, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna baby this one. <laughs> my, my thing is here, that it's loud for me in the microphone. I can only imagine how loud it is in there by you. Um, sometimes he actually hurts, uh, but uh, for the most part, I get used to it. And now I'm wearing headphones, so it's not as bad at all. Both but if I don't have the head foot, there's been times where he's landed on me. It just goes tweet. I'm like, God damn it. No. Oh, that hurts. Yeah. Uh, so you guys are in a townhouse or like a separate house? We're in a townhouse. Yeah. Um, hey, the, the neighbors have dogs that bark. I get a bird that screw, uh, squeals. So that's fine. That's fine. Is it, are the dogs barking because of the bird? No. No. <laughs> the dogs bark because they want to eat me. Um, yeah. It's a good boy. Is it a good boy? Ah, not not feet on your bones. Too skinny. <laughs> the um, you know, birds preen, right? They'll go through their uh, they'll go through their feathers and everything. Um, but I I don't know what possessed me to because I, I did it as a joke for Gail, um, just to, for her to laugh at me. I I gave myself this uh, was this the Van Dyke or whatever, and. Uh, it's so uncomfortable now because oh. um, we moved and I I can't find my razor anywhere. <laughs> it's a, it's called the goatee. Uh, I thought the goatee was just the uh, was the goatee just the, is the mustache and the little chin. Yeah, that's. Uh, I, I thought it was just the chin thing. Yeah, yeah, no. But this this guy, oh, no, no, no. This guy goes through the beard. He'll he'll like, you know just well, two times again. Everybody hurts sometimes. Yeah, I could talk about this all the time. It's the it RGJ just... Stark goatee. <laughs> yeah, except for uh, he colors his. I'm convinced. So the yeah. rumor is that he might be coming back. Yeah, I heard that. Um, okay. You know, he's fun to watch. I mean, if so. they're hurting for money, you imagine, you imagine they, they brought him back. Just to get the actual okay, but let me ask who's who's going to be writing it? What's the story going to be? Because it, it, are we just going to get a woke Tony Stark now, or are we actually going to get stories told? You know, it's it's it doesn't matter if RDV comes back if the script still sucks. So when I heard that, I was like, Woo! it's like, no, if you guys why, haven't learned, why do we want class, RDV to come back? We want I'll never come back. come back. Do I say RDV? <laughs> yeah. There you go. Okay. Um, yeah, if, if we have uh, RDJ come back, you know, it doesn't matter if the script's still or, or woke shit, so, you know? So the way I would write it, though, if they had to Tony back, it'd be a past story. Like, you know, before the events, you know, Endgame and all this stuff, you know, Infinity, you know, and but having him do, actually going and actually fighting criminals. If you do that, though, then you lose the tension because you know how everything ends. I hope for real Mandarin versus RDJ. That would be kind of cool, except for if they do the Mandarin, it would be the Shang Chi Mandarin. Uh, honestly, I'd rather have the real Mandarin versus RDV to be a lot better. There you go. Most of us would. RD RDJ versus Mand a box of Mandarin chicken. He can't open it, and he's using all his <laughs> yeah. to try. 
That'd be kind man. of funny. Uh, and I want the manor to say, aren't you glad I'm here? Oh, <laughs> Gail, Gail must have been really tired. She crashed the hell out. She goes, uh, she, 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 driving? she says, she, she goes, do you want me, do you, do you want breakfast for dinner? Which, you know, what man is not going to say, please cook eggs and bacon, you know? Uh, she offered, she goes, uh, I'll, 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 uh, I'll, I want to take a little nap and then, then I'll make us, uh, I'll make us some, uh, bacon and eggs. And, uh, she is, she's not coming. She has been asleep straight through. Uh, and yeah, I think that's, um, she gets up so early now to get out to work, but, uh, you know, what you going to do? Disney is becoming WWE, bring back the old stars because the new stars suck. Is that why The Rock's wrestling again? Nobody gives a shit about WWE? Will Saturday Night Live do that? That would be fun. No, Can no. Can we get funny TV? No, no, but Glenn's there. Glenn's there. The WWE stands. Thinks it's only okay the WWE does it. The AEW brings back some older star there. Oh, they're just poaching with talent, old talents because they're desperate. Yeah, it's it's weird. Yeah, Eric and I are talking about this online. When they have like a, like a Instagram have accounts, they have their dedicated to AEW, and all it is is WWE people fans, and they're just complaining about AEW. It's like, why are you doing this? Go watch your own product. It's like if you're a Marvel fan, you're complaining about DC Comics. Why are you complaining about DC Comics? You have Marvel comics. It's, it's mind boggling. Oh, how social media works. You know. Apparently, I had two people join. I thought one was just a, uh, one was just a, a what to call it. So Oz Hero should have been on that as well. I apologize. I'll make sure that you're on next week for sure. I thought there was no next week. Pardon? I thought there was no next week. Uh, if I, if I can keep it going, I mean, I've got a. I did order a new box of comics. I've got to. Do something. I meant the so. giveaways. Oh, the giveaways. Oh, that's right. No. That's one of the incentives. Shit. That's one of the incentives to be a Ko-Fi um, to be a Ko-Fi uh, member. One of the incentives is a, a Now you will receive uh, topless photos of E or in variant bathing poses. There you go. Yes, yes, yes. Topless. I, I want trading yeah. cards with E in different costumes. There you go. Uh, I think actually that's not a bad idea, trading cards, but of the England team. Um, so we just have – we each have our own thing. All right, uh, well, how about this? You get a discount on your shop for Teesprings. Yeah, that would be I, – you know what? I'm, I, I'll take gosh, 5% I just, off. Just gotta, i got to take a lot more stuff seriously. It's quite a few books to fit in the uh, box then. Betty and Veronica and the other books would fit in there too, right? I'll send you one. Yeah, they should. They should. Um, and, uh, yeah, we're going to go to the storage either tomorrow or uh, Monday. And I'm going to start pulling out all the comics, all, all the comic stuff and then the, the long box, the short boxes, and turn this room into something. And I'm still wondering, what do you think? Should I do green screen for, for videos or should I do the shelves and the statues? I would I'm, say. I'm leaning green screen because it's more uh, green versatile. Screen, green screen and then put on the. Use the green screen to project the shelves and the statues. <laughs> that actually isn't a bad idea. I thought about doing that. Um, Wait, you want to Already, make just like in the, in the last or... house? I thought about doing that. Say again. You basically just want to be copying Puppetteen, where he took your background and made it his own. Yeah, uh, you know what? Actually, I will take a picture of uh, Puppetteen's picture of my background, and I'll put that behind me. So. He doesn't use it anymore, sadly, though, because uh, because he said he moved. <laughs> yeah, I moved. It, it's no longer relevant. Yeah, um, I've got the white wall, but that's a bit. Uh, that's a bit nostalgia critic. So, what you just do if you get a giant green screen behind you, make yourself small, and then ha you could have uh, Lizzo attacking the city behind you, like a Godzilla. Um, actually, Moranya, that's what we were doing for most of the evening. I I had it set up so um, the the camera was actually on top of uh, this box right here. Yeah, and it was behind me. 
I was, or it was in front of me actually, because I was sitting off to the side over here and I was just feeding books onto the, the, the boxes and it worked out. I do need, um, I do need to get my stands because as you can see, I had to put box lids down here to so raise them up a little bit. How many boxes? I mean, you could just do the whole wall. Could just be all, you just go down the line. You get the laser dollar and this, you know, go down. <laughs> um, oh, go ahead. Sorry. No, I, I'm just saying you can go, you, you can do those. If you're already doing, we're doing the claim auction, like, like that and just be like, you're walking down, you know, or you could have if you if you got the shelving in there, you could even put even more books up on the wall for your auction. Yeah, um, yeah. Ah, screw it. This have get a good it, night, Amy. Just get one of those display shelves they have from Walmart. <laughs> yeah, um, maybe I don't know. Uh, like the the old style. Remember when I had oh, that you cardboard box? <laughs> I mean, get pegboard. Take care, Amy. Get pegboard and hang them up. No, me and Gail aren't into that. Well, I, I wasn't talking about anything else. I mean, that's 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 your it's your own personal preference, you know. Uh, that, that, that's that, somebody that's, that's behind the Ko-Fi. You get access to that. Um, but no, uh, seriously though, did I, I somebody think, confiscated Jason? Get uh, they did some sort of porn with that? Oh, uh, hmm. oh yeah. I, um, he sang a Christmas song too while he was getting it's Preston Poulter. You know, you wanna you wanna combine hobbies. Yeah, uh, I I thought um, EBC went full AOC saying that there was uh, the world was ending next week. Yeah, I, I was guess, wondering. I guess you could say that Christian uh, Christmas came early. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, let's see. Uh, have a good night, Amy. Uh, he is saying it will make the geeky pistachio show, and then copyright battle will ensue. There you go. Yes. <laughs> Like whenever, whenever a bird is all fluffed out like that, they are incredibly relaxed. Yeah, he just shit over the back of your computer. That's why. Oh my gosh, the the back of the computer, he didn't do the damage to my computer. Um, Twiddles did, uh, and we threw out a TV. You know, it was uh, one of those that was up against the wall, and occasionally Twiddles would go up, and we. Uh, it down and the whole freaking thing it was just, it looked like a new york statue <laughs> pegboard because hey i was never in the mood. <laughs> That's good. but um, yeah um there the, are one of our tvs that really did uh, twiddles did a freaking i was like how did how has this not exploded already because um said. yeah it was it was really bad but uh unfortunately we, we did clean it up and uh, we were moving it, but unfortunately all three T we, we had three TVs, one in the girls room, one in ours and one in the living room. And uh, the big one, which was the one in my bedroom was on the bottom. So by the time we get home, the, or get here, the other two would just crush the freaking screen in. And I was like, I am so glad these are only two hundred dollars rather than the two thousand dollars we spent our if our only, last flat screen. If only you were hand first. With, with lumber, you could build your own like little display shelf. You know, I haven't been handy in that in forever. PC is personal computer for EPC is pistachios crop crap. Yes, yes, that yeah. You can also get shelves that fit into pegboards that uh, can hold up to five pounds. So I've seen I've seen people do that with their um their slab books they hang them up on the wall. So yeah, yeah. But I imagine, see imagine, but imagine that. because you get those bags that have the little tags on them sometimes, little for hanging them up. Yeah, uh, there's a dude called Swaggle House who has a background like that. Um, he's one of the he's one of the people I discovered when I was doing the video. Was did Comic Tom ruin uh, comic book collecting a little bit? He did. Um, and I noticed after him, I noticed there's this new style of video. And hold on, here we go. Hey, how are you? Oh, guys, we got to talk about this today because it's like, really? Is is that the thing you're, you're locking I'll, I'll, into I'll, frame now? I'll um, just say this though. 
how many views is he getting? I know, right? I, I joke about it. That's he's, the thing. He's definitely like, kicking my ass. Yeah. But it's every video. There's another one. She's a she's a cosplayer. And she starts off in, in a costume. And it's always her walking from the corner up. She, she, you know the thing about this that bothers me is, and then she'll sit down. And like, okay. And now you're just sitting and talking. Uh, I don't know. I notice things like this. And you're right. They're, they're making a hell of a lot more views than I am. Um, Swaggle House, though, he's he talks about comics, though. It's like... Uh, uh, buy this yeah. book because it's going to be worth a thousand dollars because there's going to be a movie in six weeks or something like that. That he's one of those. So those those are definitely books that uh, are, are comic book channels that make more views. Hit up Home Depot, Lowe's, and uh, Walmart for shelving units. Think outside the box. What are, I was going to put up a green screen. <laughs> so uh, as far as the. Um, I guess shelves would be better than the comic boxes, but it's always been comic boxes for the auction. So, um, yeah. I, and by the way, yes, I can Ooh. build shelves. What if you actually uh, made overlays and you actually put the books in order on them and then people click on the letter and you just take that overlay down, put the next overlay up. What do you mean? So you could just have a picture of the, of the books on there, the covers and the letters next to them. So when he, so basically when I do the overlays of the letters, imagine having the books pop up too with the letters. Oh yeah, and you know instead of uh, instead of showing the actual books, we show the overlays. Yeah, and if someone wants to see that book, well, you'll have. We that can book. actually pop up, and here it is. Yeah, that is ingenious. I uh, that is that, that is that is one of those simple ideas. It's like why the f have we not been doing this? Because people can see, and especially if it is a picture of the, like, don't take a cover from Comic Vine or something like that. Take a picture of each book. Holy shit, that's 200 pictures. Well, no, put them, well, how many are you going to fit in the actual screen? You're going to have your screen on screen. Yeah, I would, I would, um, I'd be able to put up 10, 10 books still. I'm pretty sure we could fit 10 in the, uh, in this. And like I said, you know, maybe um, we would have to cut it down to eight to make it a clear spot. I would be losing 20%. But in all honesty, that can, let's see, 20 lots. I'm losing two books. So we're going to four. I would have to add on five more lots to make up for how so many books I would be losing. Let's look at it right now as far as the letters. You have the letters here. Um, where is the one you're using? So this one. That's the one you're using, or is that the one you're using? Now that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, that's too five, close, seven. though. I don't like. No, 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 no. But I mean, like, if you spread them out, though, yeah. you could go, yeah, and you could have maybe uh, twenty books. Yeah, twenty books. You know, 10, yeah, you know, but the uh, yeah, you're right. The overlay is uh, wear a metal mask, get a voice changer, and call yourself England Cock. What? Yeah. So if you uh, oh uh, oh for <laughs> dumb dumb cock, yeah. So if you did that, though, like I said, you had and you had to cross screen. And that's all you. It's, and you could have your wall behind you if you want to, or or whatever, or, or you could just, you know, just have a black screen with the thing. And like you, look, just take the photos from off like DC fandom. I <laughs> right click save yeah, it. No, I would want I would want the photos to be of the books. What the? Fudge I mean is that, that that might be a little more harder. You have to crop them. You Your know? insects, by the way. Your northern insects are weird to me. There's well, a bug crawling on. What, describe it. What does he look like? Um. He looks like a freaking uh, manta, but with legs. Manta. Like oh, manta. shit. That's a flyer. Fuck. I mean, what the hell? Okay. It was on the ground. Usually. We have, we have flies, and then there's mosquitoes, and then um, gnats, little guys. I will say this. I, I don't mind the trade. Uh, we didn't have a, a big problem, but every house in Florida has palmetto bugs and roaches. Just, done. I mean, but you gotta control it so you don't have, uh, so you don't have an overrun. Palmetto bugs are gonna come in from the garden. That's gonna happen if you got the Asian uh, roaches and all that kind of stuff. Um, it's disgusting. But I, I am so glad to trade palmetto bugs for stink bugs, which yes. apparently is a thing in Indiana. I they're looked up, it up. They're up here too. Yeah, stink bugs. They're big and they move slow. Don't step yep. on them because they stink. 
Yeah, I we mentioned that, but look, we've seen two in the house. If you see two roaches, you've got a problem. That's because, the thing with here. You yeah. just hear because roaches pretty much die in the winter here. Mm -hmm. So if you have roaches, it's be because you're leaving food out. You've created a, a, a space for them. And you and number one thing, you never want to step on them because if it's pregnant, you just track all billions of eggs into your yes. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, well, that I, I hate, actually I hate, yeah, I hate when it comes to roaches, kill the pregnant ones and stomp on the egg. Uh yeah. Florida has mean red ants that will bite you uh, big time. Yeah, they're, they're fun. Um, in Tallahassee, I saw an ant that big. Yep. Not kidding. Uh, and all I thought is, yep, I do not want to get bit by that. But it wasn't like uh, when you get them that big, they usually aren't thousands of them, like, uh, no. like with the smaller ones. So at least there's that. <coughs> uh, have you did uh, – have you did vid Roger Rabbit comics? I haven't. I've never done a video on Roger Rabbit uh, comic books, which is uh, that is kind of weird for me because uh, did, if I were to line up the Disney movies, Roger Rabbit would have to be up there. Have, have you done New Teen Titans and Tag Teen Titans Go? Because that's what I've been doing, and we've been getting views because Teen Titans Go is. is it's popular trending. as hell. Yeah, I know. So they come in there and they, they stay for the New Teen Titans readings. Those are big hits for us. That's that's one thing to do. Yeah, I, I uh, do. I do want to. I've, I've for a long time now, and I just haven't pulled the trigger on it. I've been wanting just to read a series. You know, maybe even if it's like uh, I change the series every month or something. But I have wanted to do like Teen Titans one, two, three, four, five, and you know, just do the storyline or Daredevil, uh, Batman, starting with issue four hundred. You know, something like that. What what if you did comic book retrospectives every Friday night? He wants to talk about comic books. So, he, so if you want to do if you want to do your retrospectives like you used to do, yeah, even Black Cat is a person to do with. He's been wanting to do those. I, I really, I, I'm kind of like that too. I I I know the the freaking um, the drama gets clicks, but God damn it, I want to talk about comics. Yeah, 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 that's why I started this. So we were doing on uh, Friday, Thursday nights, and Friday nights, but then you know, it got to the point where it, you know less and less people wanted to do it. It was me and Black Cat, and I was running out of time for other things. So, um, but yeah, retrospectives are pretty cool too. Yeah, I like talking about the older books. There's not a lot new that um, I'm interested in. Um, uh, uh, so sorry about that, guys. You did the origin. I know, I know everybody here is disappointed. You did the origin of um, Hal Jordan uh, or Sinestro. Um, like I said, the, the most popular videos we have on our channel right now mm -hmm. has, has been uh, Hal Jordan. Number one, you know, our first appearance, Hal Jordan, uh, you know, the Silver Age. So You're doing comic period. book origins? No, we're not doing origins. These are readings. And they just seem to take off in views because people, right now, Hal Jordan, because of Jeremy Adams, people are liking that character. You know, um, like I said, Teen Titans, you know, doing, the, doing the, the new Teen Titans probably would get you some views. Hmm. Yeah. Um, I started to edit the uh, first uh, yeah. live, uh, the the one with, that we did with Nova, uh, kind of bringing stuff together, getting rid of the dead spots, because yeah. um, I want to re-release those as uh, videos, but a little bit tighter. Who since yeah. Roger Rabbit was comic in 1981? It was a book, by the way, uh, that is nowhere near, I, I've read it, it's nowhere near as good as the movie tell you the truth um i just i didn't like it because i read the i watched the movie before i read the book i was like really this is this is the book y'all y'all made that awesome movie about this sh shitty book go big uh, i want picard's cousin <laughs> <laughs> you know that that did not do well that video did not do well at all um, I, I would redo it this time and say how stupid this book is and just do a bad comic beat down do a bad comic beat down on it. It and was. It, I don't think it was that. It, I don't think it was bad enough. We're um, going over the best comic book or best, this Star Trek books you didn't know it existed. You know. 
I've done over 100. Um, it says I only got 191 here, but I've actually done 108 of these comic book origins now. The uh, Captain Picard. Starfleet Academy got 59 views. Nobody gives a shit about that. Surprisingly, I, I thought this was, this was uh, something. Um, but as far, far as characters that ended up uh, getting interest, you can the do Four Bush you. Man, the Four Bush Man, Marvel's greatest hero, 867 views so far. That's that's old numbers. I'm very happy with that. I, I thought people were would be tired of Bloodshot from Valiant. Do uh, 407. I think it's a really good. Um, I think it's a really good thumbnail with the Punisher here because it says Bloodshot, a Valiant attempt at Punisher. And uh, yeah, I think that's what helped it. The Justice League with the An Justice League Antarctica. Justice but League. here's here it is. Uh, I don't even know how to title this. It's a Christmas video. It's a it's a Christmas comic book. It's uh, Picard's first appearance. Picard's brother. It only got forty five views. N not a lot of people give when a shit do, when about do, that. When did you release it? Do the uh, uh, oh, oh, you, oh, you, oh you, okay you did again. I thought these are older ones. Okay, so you did try this them. is January second, twenty twenty four. Um, I, would, I would go. I mean, the next thing I would do, I would just would just do like a just like Europe and why it didn't work out, you know. You know. Oh, this is a Justice League. What a Europe. Do something, do yeah. like a, do I actually, back. I actually thought about doing uh, not just like having a Justice League week and doing like Justice League and then Justice League uh, International and then Justice League Europe. And then Justice League Dark, you know that. Oh, ooh, Wonder Woman. Why Wonder Woman will never be a, a popular selling uh, comic book? Wonder Woman is a better back issue than she is modern. Uh, she's never. She, uh, she, that she goes is. without saying. I've seen her back issue. Four Bushman. He's uh, obviously straight. Disagree with you. E. Who sent a Roger Rabbit? The novel is pretty solid. It's much darker take. Hey, if you, I'm glad you liked it. Uh, I, you didn't waste your time. I did. I wasted mine. Um, Com comic Armageddon, Comic Apocalypse, Death of Comics, New Comics, Bite the Big Fat One. These are video titles that get clicks. You know what? Fine. Uh, I, I, I can do that. I can do that for sure. Uh, especially new books. I, I, I got. I, God bless you guys for doing that video every week where you actually read new comics. But uh, yeah, not my scene. I, I, I just I'm. I've got a whole bunch of comics ready to read, and I just can't pull the trigger on it. Hey, what's going on with you? What's what's up with you? You need to pull on every. What, what, don't no, don't be cute. Now is not the time to be cute. Have you done Selena Kyle videos? No, not yet. The I don't movie. think. Have I ever done cat? I don't think I've done the first appearance of Catwoman. Or, you, the you don't even have to do that. You can just talk about uh, the '90s, uh, the Joe Duffy. Mm -hmm. the jo the Joe Duffy series that no one's no one's read today, or people you may have forgotten. The about. problem with modern Wonder Woman would be a good video. Um, I I started reading that one series. I was going to do it like a bad comic book beatdown series. I just I got lazy. I think uh, there was a there was a moment there. Um, it, it started from being punch drunk. Uh, recently, I re released a whole bunch of. Uh, uh, the, those comic book origins on this channel. And I, I, I released a whole bunch of them. A lot of them didn't make it over a hundred and that was kind of a slap in the face. And it's one I'm wondering, um, okay, you know, did I make a mistake? Is this, a, uh, is the comic book origins really a series that you guys like? And the thing is, is when I go back and I see older ones that, uh, that had failed, um, it's kind of like, uh, Comic Book Origins is kind of like uh, uh, The Thing or uh, Adventures of Buckaroo Banzai or something like that where they come out. They don't do anything at first, but over time I go back to them and it's just – it's gotten hundreds and hundreds of views. What about a three-part video series, A Problem with Modern Comics? Uh, I tried that. Actually, I did that. And I, I would be – I would. I'm absolutely willing to do it again. It would be uh, – Me and – me and Eric, uh, we started doing the problem with modern comics, and we 
would talk about no side characters, no uh, uh, well, modern art. So this, being is what that. I this is what I do. It, it's, it could kind of be, it started off as a history comic books. The first part talking about history comic books and then like, you know, things they used to do. And then as you get towards the end and you, and you guys kind of like talk about like, you know, the things that aren't you know being done today, you know, and with, with, uh, with current writers, policies, social media coming in and basically kind of also put a damper on things. No. Shush. Yeah, I, I like the idea of doing that. I really do. Um, it's like a, a, a lot of yeah. the, the weird thing is I thought about I thought about do I um there's a lot of stuff that's relevant now that I've covered. It, it's it's it was a joke that I was telling a long yeah. time about Wes. Wes uh, doesn't do any original videos. I know this because I've done all the videos Wes is doing right now. But uh, that that would be a joke, right? Uh, and and that is a joke, by the way. I'm not I'm not criticizing him. It's just that uh, it's also something that I've looked on in my oh. own in my own library. I was wondering, do I do I want to repost or do I just want to re-record? Which I think, of course, doing a live stream or something like that would be kind of cool, because all the stuff I've done videos on in the past is still relevant, or is sometimes uh, more relevant than it is now. Uh, there were things that I had called out. Uh, just the fact that you're going, the, the fact that we are going to lose a large chunk of the audience because they're going to be brought up woke. Um, that was stuff that people got mad because I, I was sounding uh, a pie. I, I, what about um, the history of comics? I was not positive about it. The history of what? The history of comics, starting with, starting, you know, um, you can start, go by decade. Oh, um, yeah, I, I'd, I'd love to do the history of comics. I'd love to do more chapters to it because I do have a playlist here called the history of comics. I have the very first one. I talk about, uh, um, I talk about, uh, I've done a couple of them. God damn, why can't I think of anything? I talked about the yellow kid I, and I, Hogan's I, alley and all the kind of stuff. Um, try, I would try to work with the, uh, with maybe getting Joe Corallo or Paulo on it, on the channel. Mm -hmm. And you maybe. Friends. And maybe not call not call the creators of Common America the Yellow Kid. Uh, um, yeah, uh, but yeah, I did. I love doing the. the um, oh yeah, Mike Barron just put a book out. Mike Barron's put out uh, another Nexus book, apparently. Yeah, I heard about that. He's going to do like a. He's also going to do an omnibus of some sorts. Uh, Austin, I know you weren't here, but you didn't win because I won. <laughs> RDV finally won one. Yep. Um, yeah, I like I like talking about the history because there it, it is. Uh, it's just absolutely amazing, you know. And there's little stories. There's little talk about dramas. There's little dramas all over the place, you know. And there's little stories. There's uh, one of my favorite videos I did, I think I actually have it here on this channel, was uh, how Jack Kirby became the king of comics. Um, because I, I, and I may get the name wrong and I apologize. It wasn't Jack Kirby who was the, uh, who was the king of comics. I'm sorry, but the name's escaping me. He ran Fox Comics in the uh, 1930s, 1940s. But um as he's hiring people, he told him, Hey, I'm the king of comics. I own this publishing. I own that publishing. I'm, you know, I'm doing, I'm the king of comics. I'm the king of comics. And, uh, well, Jack Kirby and Joe Simon, uh, they were employed under him while they were employed under him though. They actually would write and draw stories because they figured they should have a backlog just in case, oh. like if somebody could use something right now, they could pull it off their I shelf. Guess that, so, I guess so oh, hold on, I'm not done with it. Victor Fox, thank you very much, Eric Green. So Victor Fox was, he was not a good guy. He uh, he actually got ended up getting sued because he created a character, Wonder Man, who was way too much like Superman. <laughs> um, so he appears in like one issue. So anyway, um, I do believe it was uh, Kirby, and I'm, I'm wanting to think it was Harris, Bob Harris. I could be wrong about that, but they're joking around in the in the Marvel bullpen, and uh, they start making fun of Victor Fox and you know doing the cigar thing. And well, I'm the king of comics. I'm the king of comics. I'm the king of comics. And once again, I'm sorry, the name escapes me. Somebody walk, walks in, and they were like, uh, "Oh, that's great. Yeah, Bob, you're the king of comics. We're gonna put that in there. Bob the king. Blah 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 blah." And Bob said, whoa, 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 hold on. No, no, no. 
Jack's the real king. And uh, boom, it stuck. You know, that's a, that's a, uh, a shortened version of it, but I do have a video explaining the whole thing on this channel. I love doing the history of comics. It, it is, there is so much, uh, so many little tidbits out there that we, we don't even know. The stories behind the stories are freaking awesome. Um, I, part of me wishes uh, I, I didn't, I wasn't, I didn't nuke a lot of relationships uh, being, uh, being the guy I was in the beginning. Um, I don't want to say I, I, you know, if I wasn't part of Car Comicsgate because being a part of Comicsgate is what introduced what you're not getting on this, Bob. No, no, no. This is my peach tea. You're not getting my peach spiced Coke. You can have, you ain't getting my peach tea. Okay. But I would like a, what is this? What is it? What is it? No. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. That's mine. But um, I would love to talk to some of the comic book creators uh, of the past. I have reached out to Mike Grell. Uh, he mentioned when I met him that he would love to be on the channel. I would love to have a conversation with him. He is one of, he is history. He is comic book history. Uh, I would love to have a sit down with Mark Waite. I know he's a douchebag and he's a dick. I would like to have a conversation with Kurt Busey. Same thing. But what they also are are freaking comic book historians. I would love to have a conversation with them. Um, but I think that would never happen. Not because of me, but because of them. Even if uh, even if they weren't douchebaggery, even if anything, you know, they would look and they'd go, nah, yeah, you, oh. you Trump supporting Comics Gate, blah, blah, I, blah. So, I, had, yeah. I had heard that the reason they won't come on because they're afraid you, you know, that you're going to ask them who's going to take over their stuff once when they die. Right, right, right. Yes. Yeah, but um, he doesn't have his own stuff. He has other people's stuff. There you go. <laughs> uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. I agree. I, read Gone with the Wind. Gone with the Wind is a great movie. It is a good book. I like the like book. I, like I said, if you get Paulo and you're to get Joe on and you just talk about history comic books and then whatever you're talking about, like say you plan it out and then Put your voices to a slideshow. Well, yeah, that's what I used to do. By the way, my yeah. uh, I I actually thought about doing that, going back to the going back to the slideshows. Uh, for fuck's sake, Comic Perch, uh, he puts one picture on, he talks over it for the whole fucking thing. Yeah. So obviously, it's not the visuals. It's uh, these days. It's and I hear, hear it anyway. The podcast is coming in, so it's all about the voice, not the uh, not the pictures and such. Anyway, so. Um, it is about the visual when the visual is horrendous to look at. I mean, he is he is right in some things and all. Um, YouTubers are like they're popular today are like are kids. Once they get older, those kids that were watching their diagraph, it, it was usually like they were around, around their age. Like you're gonna see uh PewDiePie and Jack Septikai start the age out as they get older. Once they get close to the 40, you know, they're just like mm -hmm. models <laughs> after a while. Like people move on to the younger person, and that's 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 sadly that's how it goes. Um, so you kind of like have to like change up what you're doing, you know, you know. Oh, and by the way, I'm not gonna get I'm not gonna get a lot of uh, people interested in talking to me on my channel if I've got and, thumbnails that say I killed Ed Pisker. Well, the other the, the other thing is that um, comic books is such a small niche a topic yep. as it is, and there's so many people that are trying to do the same thing you're doing. Yeah. So, you know, uh, the biggest, like I said, the biggest thing that helps out is the word of mouth. You know, do your content, you know, and you have people. Please share, you, kids. <laughs> and, and it's crazy. You can put out like a, um, like talk about one thing and people are like, oh, yeah, I love Big Bang Theory, you know, as, as, as example. It's like, you know, but then those people will not come and watch your other content. By the way, I binged Big Th Bang Theory from beginning to end. I've actually, I have actually recently binged Big Bang Theory. I started on Young Sheldon, and it's just boring to me. Um, I got problems with Big Bang Theory. Uh, the one thing I could say is like the first three, maybe four seasons, actually really freaking funny. But then as it got bigger, it got ridiculously condescending to the group it was once courting. You know, uh, if you go to the, the beginning, yeah, they do some stereotypes, but it was a lot more respectful to the geek culture that they were obviously living in. But uh, 
as it uh, as it progressed, it truly does become disrespectful and in some cases unbelievable. There's a character played by Mia Balak, um, Amy Farrafalla, and she is Sheldon's girlfriend. She's a scientist. She's an intellectual, and she has no idea about geek culture. And I was thinking, you know what? I don't buy it because it, it's like she she wouldn't know simple things about geek culture. And if you're in that kind of environment, there's no way you're not picking up stuff just through osmosis in the very, even if it isn't your cup of tea to read Superman, Batman, yada, yada, whatever. Um, she would still pick stuff up just through the fact that she was around people who did, you know, uh, I've known quite a few double book baggers and I'm not saying every nerd is a geek, but or, or or every geek is a nerd. But there is a lot of overlap. And I, I just can't. Yeah, I just can't see you being in that environment and having a, no working knowledge. Yeah, basically, the show started going downhill right around the time her character was introduced. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and it, it wasn't for her. I think she did fine. No, in the, it's as, not her, character. but it it's basically. The they started changing the dynamics when they started fitting them in. So, like, the original premises went away. So yeah. instead of them being socially awkward and everything, like, they're having lives outside, going, like, Howard went from the really, really socially awkward person to having a wife and kids. And a hot wife at that. Yeah. You know, it's like, what? really? You know, I mean, <laughs> go figure. Um, even me and Balak, who they dress down, isn't an ugly person, but she is more the person and she is a, an actual scientist, but she's more the person that they would get. Many scientists grew up reading sci-fi fantasy comics playing a lot of, yeah, that's where a lot of, um, uh, find inspiration. You know, there, William Shatner had a story about how, um, he went to speak at NASA and, they were enamored with him and he's like, well, why? Because you guys are actually making rockets and I'm playing a space captain, you know? Uh, so yeah, it, 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 there were funny moments. I'm not going to lie all the way up to the end. There, there were just things I laughed at, but uh, I got to tell you the first four seasons were a hell of a lot better than the last, but it ended up being a seven, it ended up being what, 11 seasons. Um, I don't know. But I, I did. I, I kept saying, you know, okay, yeah, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. And then I realized, really, I only watched less than half of it. So I, okay, let's watch it. Let's see how it is. But yeah, it's no Brooklyn Nine Nine, that's for sure. Or Scrubs. I do like Scrubs and Brooklyn Nine Nine. That was, that's a good comedy. Brooklyn I don't know. Nine anyway, unwatchable. Scrubs is hilarious. Scrubs is yeah. Scrubs is awesome. Like that, that gets me all the time. I Many actual scientists what? trained in the hard sciences wrote classic science fiction. Star Trek classics had actual scientists as story consultants, and Shatner was high as a kite by then. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, his thing. By the way, um, if you haven't done it, you got to listen to yourself some uh, William Shatner spoken word albums, man. Uh, he, he's got some good albums. His uh, obviously he did you know Mr. Tambourine Man you know that one, but uh, he he did I think one of them actually won an award. But he actually does good spoken word albums. I, I recommend you, you search him out. And if you haven't heard it or watched it, by God, you got to get a hold of Leonard Nimoy's Bilbo Baggins. That is uh, that only, is just it's the only version that doesn't put me to sleep. I can't talk about the rest of it. Yeah. Uh, wait, what? You can only it's the only best that's the only best version of, of anything that has to do with Lord of the Rings is that is oh. Bilbo Bilbo yeah it's, it is ridiculous. Uh oh and uh yeah Austin's bringing up that he did Rocket Man. I think it's gonna be a long, long time. Yeah, it, he he goes over the top of those things. But they're freaking brilliant. Um it, 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 even the 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 bad is just brilliantly bad. It's like how can how can you fail upwards so well, Bill? Seriously, can you answer that for us? Shatner doing the uh, cramps garbage man is fun to listen. Yes, 
My favorite line in Big Bang Theory was when Penny explained something about Star Wars or Star Trek and then asked, why do I know that? Yeah, uh, I do like the fact that that character, at the very least, that character, uh, the character of Penny, did learn things through Osmos, through just hanging around with these guys. Um, and that, is, you know, her realizations that she was doing that were sometimes funny because she was, this is, you know, this is not my life. Why am I, why am I living this thing? Um, and that's the way me and Balak's character should have played out. My favorite line uh, comes with a little setup. There's an office that's open in the building. It's this episode. And uh, Sheldon and his rival, uh, Kripke, who has a very good speech impediment, um, they're fighting for it. And they figure, okay, we're going to uh, we're gonna have a contest for it. And Kripke straight away says, no, everybody knows Sheldon's smarter than all of us, so we can't have it do that. And they go, well, what's something you guys are equally bad at? And they say sports, so they decide to play basketball for it. And um, they're not good. So Leonard, who's supposed to be refereeing, says, okay, here we go. I, I want to go home. So the next person who, who makes a basket wins. And Kripke goes, well, that's making it easy. He goes, no. It really isn't. And the way you said it just kills me. I love that line in it. Uh, two of the best Twilight Zone episodes and two of the best thriller episodes star um, William Shatner. Uh, well, yeah, 20,000 feet, obviously. And, you know, there's a thing on the wing of the plane. But also the one where they go into the small town and there's the, uh, you got the devil head. Uh, it's supposed to, it's a fortune teller. And he becomes incredibly uh, obsessed with learning what's going to happen in the future. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, once again, uh, please, yeah, go on over to ko can drop a dollar in the till. Uh, $5, you tell me what video to make. Serious, uh, let me work for my money. That That's that's fine. A good way to help. Thank you. I want to uh, see a fat man cooking bacon. Just give me that cooking, well, I'm actually thinking about it. I'm thinking it's time to, to drop off so I can cook some uh, bacon and eggs. So, yeah, that's a good that's a good stopping point. We've been going on for five hours. It's it's an official uh, it's an official uh, auction now. Get the tomato, get some of that lettuce, get yourself a nice BLT sandwich, toast the bread. Yeah, now I wish I had tomato and lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we haven't done an official gr uh, grocery store run, really. It's just been, we'll pick up this, we'll pick up that. Dude, dude, if I ever get married and we get like, I'm going to make myself a BLT. She goes in there, where's the bacon? Well, I didn't think you wanted any. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. I, I took my mom to a, 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 um, a restaurant out at Disney. It was called the 50s Primetime Cafe. And it's very much like older style stuff because it's supposed to be around the 50s. And there was pot roast. My mom, my mother goes, oh, I would love good pot roast, you know, which is supposed to be, you know, the roast with the carrots and the onions and the gravy and the whole nine yards. They brought her a big, huge piece of meat with a sprig of a carrot, like one strip of a carrot and just a sprig of, uh, of broccoli. Like, you guys really paid attention to the beef and not the stew part. Oh, Speaking of, uh, I did pick my books before I left earlier. I'm going to pay for this. No problem, Austin, and thank you very much. Uh, it, I saw it. It says it's going to be in because uh, it's going through Stripe. It'll be here in three days. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, seriously, get Goya seasoning packets relatively cheap and add a lot of flavor to food. And yeah, usually I just go to the McCormick's. I'm, I'm A-OK -okay with buying. I buy a lot of spices. And such. Just, just All right, guys. Um, what do we have going on, uh, RDV? Tomorrow, uh, well, I'm not going to be here tomorrow, but on the Geeky Puppet Show, uh, Puppet Team will be hosting it. He was talking about doing X, the next X-Men, number 16, Classic X-Men. Mm -hmm. And then for the next rating, he wanted to do uh, Champion, number one. Old school. So Old school for those champion. reasons, yeah. I don't know if there's going to be anything for Extreme Movie Show. I know Rob was out of, out of state or on vacation. So. You know what? I would love to get together and uh, do a collaboration, you and me and Dalton and uh, LK and such, and come up with some of these lists or tier lists or something like that where um, we can actually... Oh, you mean like on, on the stream yard together like that? I was going to say, I don't think Dalton can... Um, 
like it might take a little while to get there. Right, right. But yeah, I was talking about on StreamYard where we can actually really do a ranking, like going through like Steven Spielberg movies or horror film, whatever, um, and really come up with a good ranking. Because when you're doing one or two people, eh, uh, something in the old older style like we used to do with the covers and all Have that. Have you kind of watched stuff. Fallout yet? What? what? Fallout? Oh. No, I haven't. Oh, you mm -hmm. can um, you can watch uh, for those who don't have Prime. You can watch it all eight episodes. They drop them all once, which is really weird for Amazon to do that. But uh, you can get watch all eight episodes on Freebie. Oh, okay. So, so um, they're basically Freebie means you get the pre there's a 15 minute like or, or not 15 minute but like you know there's 20 second 90 second ad like Hulu. But if you watch it, if you watch free V3, like just like Hulu, watch it through your PC with an ad blocker, you know, you can just pay for the cheaper version of most sites and get no ads. Yeah. So uh that's one way to do it. I'm watching Civil War now, and uh let's see. Oh man. The they still watch the second one. Right. Yeah, Civil War two sucked. <laughs> All right, well, there you go, guys. Uh, I'm going to try to do something. Yeah, tomorrow. Zach wasn't a fan of the and, the and how the results of the first one. Uh, and the only person who could say they watched Civil War was Eric Breen. Yeah, but he was on a hill and he was drunk, so he doesn't remember. <laughs> um, there you go. Anyway, guys, thanks for stopping by tonight. Uh, pay attention to the Geeky Puppet Show. They're doing their readings unless I've got a video over here. And then, yeah, don't pay attention to them. Pay attention here. Uh, and thank you very much for hanging out and to help out. Uh, once again, go on over to Ko-Fi, drop a dollar on the till. Please share. Share the videos. That's That will help immensely. Uh, try to get uh, some new blood in as well for auctions. Yes, and stuff especially awesome. for those who are on Instagram. I mean, there's a lot of uh, I noticed a lot of YouTubers are now on Instagram as well too. Yeah, the comic stuff. I hate Instagram. I don't. I don't like social media anyway. But yeah, I know it's it's a useful tool. It's a useful tool. Uh, but there you go. Oh, by the way, do you hear? It? Smoke alarm? No. We've got a train track right outside. You hear? It? Y'all don't hear the train? Uh, choo choo. I, I told Gail, I said, I noticed in the, in, in the early music. morning, there's always a train that comes. She goes, Really? I say, Yeah, it's beautiful. I Maybe. love the sound of a train. <laughs> well, you too can come in the morning with Blue Chew. Yes, there you go. All righty, guys. Once again, uh, see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for making everything great. And as always, thank you very, very much for watching. Have a good night.